his shot here at top eight, trying to take out a beast in gen. Yep, and of course the last match on the loser side is Mars versus Jackal. So we've got a wait, nice wait. little tri-state and New England. Mars and winners. Oh. Raffi, Raffi, Oh, I'm Jackal. sorry, sorry, Raffi versus Jackal. Jackal. Yeah, yeah, the, the bottom was cut off, and I was like, wait, you know what? I think I just saw Mars <laughs> at the bottom of the screen. Damn, the tablet deceived you already. We haven't even yeah, started Yeah, the, the tablet's playing with me, man. Nonetheless, but. folks, we're getting started here. Loser's top eight, HO3K Gen going up against Timor Esports. Uh, DM, like you said, Actually, DM had to play light earlier today. I know, obviously, this is Jen's pocket box, and definitely not the same as, you know, light's box. But uh, Jen's a very good player, but DM played light and lost 3-0. So uh, maybe maybe a little bit of note. Maybe, uh, you know, Jen watched that set and saw something. So either way, I mean, Fox is a powerhouse character. Uh, a lot of good hitboxes, and can KO can get you super early. So offstage. Yep. Oh, there we go. DM already. Sticking it to Jen here, and he's been trying to make this box work. He's been using it at a lot of locals lately, but I think the real big guns here are that uh, is that Palutena. Well, it's interesting because his Palu is so sick, and it kind of it got him all the way here. Do you have any idea why? Like you know, he would switch the boxes. Not, I'm not doubting Jen. I think Jen is so good, like obviously, but. I don't know. His Palu is what I really want to see here. Yeah. I don't know why he's not doing it. Pikachu is just really good against those characters. Like, Pikachu keeps such a low profile. Like, mm. characters like Palutena or her hitboxes are very specific and stuff like that. So it probably makes it really hard to hit Pikachu. Right. Uh, but nonetheless here, uh, DM continuing to put the hurt on right now. Like you said, uh, did lose Ooh. the light, but this is definitely a fox of a different color. Both figuratively literally, and literally. Yeah, literally, literally, yeah. <laughs> yeah we got the Busted. New York fox with the Tims, those yellow <laughs> shoes. Of course, that's a To Kill Sage classic. So. Shout out to the OG oh, shout himself. Shout out to Sage, man. Shout out to Sage. I wish you could make it. But right now, Jen putting Sage to shame. I've been telling him, Loki, I've been playing with Jen a lot, and I'm like, dude, just, just <laughs> why Fox, man? Just, just save the time for Palutena. Um, of course, I'm just playing with him. This Fox is pretty good, but you see right here, DM, no shortage of experience being from New England. If you don't know this matchup, then yeah. you are out of luck. Yeah, there's yeah, almost no reason to play. Like you, get, like, you don't have a shot against Light. Like, I don't know, man. I mean, not many people do, to be fair, but... Either case, so he's sitting at 119%, gets a grab. No KO yet, though, to be found. Jen on the hunt, though, for it, but it's going to be a nice drag down into a forward tilt. Ooh, nothing yet. Hold and on. That drag down there just opening up Pandora's box for Pikachu's combo game. And the auto cancel back air, too. You can see uh, out of a short hop, he'll have no landing lag for that, even though he hovered off stage, so it didn't show through there. Yeah, and this is kind of like snowballing away from Jen at the early start here. Like, obviously, Fox has the kill power and the buttons to like down most comebacks. The upstairs, there we go. Coops or Domus just coming do it, through just do it, right whatever, away, man. folks. And that's like, I mean, you think of characters who do well against Pikachu. I always think of Mario, like, and he's kind of in a similar, like, character style. You know, he just has really big hitboxes, especially on the ground. Like, I think of his up smash. He's a lot of power, a lot of mobility. Fox is kind of the same way, you know what I'm saying? So it makes sense, but, like, I don't know, man. One thing Pikachu gets to exploit on Fox that he can't on Mario, though, is that wide open recovery. We already saw Jen lose the first stock to that super quick in the match, but not going to pan out there for DM. Still a little bit on the hunt here, but he's taking his time. He knows he could play with this lead for quite a while. Jen, so much work to do, and Ooh, a dash man. attack from cross stage just going to take him out of there. So they gave Pikachu not only a spike off stage with a down air, but a dash attack that kills. Yeah, they gave him that in Smash 4, but now it's even stronger. Yeah, right. For exactly. Some yeah, reason. Right, can right, I see exactly. can I see the EVs on this Pikachu, please? Yeah, it's all into oh, attack. Attack <laughs> attack at speed, attack at speed. Dude. Oh, then this trainer has no idea what he's doing then. <laughs> wait, no, that's, wait, no, that's right. What would you do? Oh, special attack. Yeah. Come yeah, on. well you you could have a physical Pikachu, I guess. Volt tackle. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. That's special. That's right, yeah, yeah. I'm with it. Anyway, game taking two. all that recoil. There you go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. The thing that, like, when I'm playing against Pikachu, like, people have been talking about Pichu a lot, too. Pikachu's quick attack hitting you, I think it's one of the best things about him. Right here, off to a way better start. Jen, 72%, 73 actually, unanswered, basically. This is what I wanted to see, man. I love this Palutena. I turn into weeklies just to watch this thing, so it's very cool uh, to see what Jen's doing now. Yeah, a character that a lot of people give flack for being kind of boring and cookie cutter, Jen really has trademarked his own style with. And we're seeing just this scramble from DM trying to get a word in edgewise, but Jen looking too tight right now. Oh, up tilt loops. Yeah, there we go. Up tilt to Nair. And then when he realizes he can't repeat because the percents are too high, he's just going to go into some more aerial chains off of it. And exactly what I said about Pikachu's low profile kind of making an early appearance right there. That's kind of helped DM escape that jungle situation. But nonetheless, like you guys said, uh, you know, just a lot of really good pressure coming out from Jen in the early uh, starts right now. Counter kind of a... Uh, you know, unwarranted right there. Yeah, DM, DM was definitely looking for it. Another Ooh. forward smash to set the pacing of this game. DM, man, 
I really like the way he's playing today. He's amazing, dude. He kind of like, in Smash 4, he had a hard time finding some consistency. Like, he had high peaks, but then, like, he would just, like, kind of go two and two sometimes randomly. He's found more consistency in, uh, you know, Smash Ultimate. It's good to see him make this top eight and have a good set right now against Jen, who tied it up. Jen gonna kill him by way of the blender, though, that neutral air, and you could see it make another appearance here in these early percents, generally leading into at least another neutral air. <laughs> Maybe some other aerials to follow. <laughs> like you said, cookie cutter, right? <laughs> like, yeah. Well, hey, man, even the creative Palutena has got to do what works, right? <laughs> no, no, absolutely. You know, I've been talking about Palu a lot. Like, it's interesting the people who are maining her. Because you look at someone like Nairo mains her and DeBuzz mains her. Those are two very yeah, opposite yeah. players. And then you also got Jen, who I, I think Jen, he was a sick player. If you guys don't know in Smash 4, he was a Ryu, but then he also picked up Sheik. And he was a player who, like, I feel like he was another, like, hit or miss. Like, he would either be super confident and defeat anybody in the world, or he could, like, go 2-2 two two with those characters. But... The thing about Ryu and the thing about Sheik in Smash 4, they're super inconsistent characters. Palutena, yeah. super consistent character. So I think that's why we're seeing more of Jen, you know, in the New York region. Yep. All right, and just having this mid-stage neutral battle here, it's going to be DM coming out on top, but still behind in percent. He needs to make these exchanges count. No, misses the up throw to Thunder, and Jen going to respond with back air on the way down. Yeah, that's DM okay. back to the wall. What's he got? Yeah, I mean, you want to talk about good hitboxes that and consistent hitboxes that Palutena has. That back air is going to be a go-to thing more so in this matchup. But the up smash, good conversion there from DM. Very nice. Again, keeping his lead fresh, dude. He's been playing so well with the lead. Like, that's something he did in game one, and he's doing it again in game two. Yep, just baiting out those options, man. Aaron, hey, you gotta here watch. we go. It's yep. Pikachu. It's like a documentary. Like, you just sit there, you just watch it for hours. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> learn, a, learn a thing or two. You see Jen a bit pressed for the kill here. How's he going to make it Ooh. happen? There we go. Yep. Dash attack just crushing through anything that may have been there, but right. fortunately, nothing was anyway. Yep, so last knock game here. Uh, this is obviously a huge game right now for Jen. You never want to be down 2-0. That Sunder oh, no. Jolt could have been disastrous right there, but able to find respite, gets back to the center stage. But DM, once he, uh, making good use of that quick attack to break zone, yeah, kind of like the, the big difference we brought up between Pichu and Pikachu is that added hitbox on quick attack. It makes, so, it, yeah. makes it so easy to break zone on these, Ooh. like, Oppressive characters like Palutena. DM fighting his way down with buttons every time, oh, too. Oh, oh there what? we go. The dash attack sneaking right underneath that forward air. And that's exactly what you guys were talking about, how the low profile of Pikachu can so be good. such a thorn in the side of this character. I feel like there are a lot of matchups that have been decided in Smash history, really, but especially Smash 4 and Ultimate, it feels like, just by the size of the hurt box right. on the opposing character. Yeah, man. I feel like, like... Even though Jen still lost that game too, I like what he's doing with Paolo more than the Fox for sure. Like he just looks more at home with the character. I think he like he's gambling his tournament life right here. I definitely think he should stick with the Paolo, and he is. So that's good. Yeah. So DM putting together an impressive losers run, uh, actually beating the uh, the hero, of the story of the tournament, other than him, uh, Kofi to get here. Oh my God. So, uh, you know, I think DM's a spectacular player. I'm so glad he made top eight. But Kofi, man, I wanted to watch more Kofi do. The Kofi show's over, unfortunately, for today. But it'll be back. Yeah, that Falco is something nasty. But yeah. either way, not a bad trade-off. I mean, oh. we get to watch these two players who never get to play. True. Meanwhile, Kofi and Jen, both from New York. That's true. I think Kofi just did it for the fans, you know? Yeah. Really a <laughs> true crowd yeah, favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kofi. bro, you guys can catch us at Aeon or Xena. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate he was marketing for Zeno. That's what it was, actually. He was like, you know what, Devin? I got you. Like, this is ridiculous. Yeah, you guys want to watch this match so bad? Why don't you tune in? Wednesday is around 7.30 p.m. That's right. That's the ultimate Same homie channel. Show. My God. Jesus. Get a friend like Kofi, you guys. That's right. Kofi rules. Anyway, but we're going to talk about these guys now. Jab pressure. Ooh, I like jab the, pressure yeah. back. <laughs> okay. Dash to jab, man. Sure. That's that ultimate stuff. The dash attack, once again, finding respite. Jen has himself a lead here, but kind of boxed in the corner. Haven't, hasn't really been able to get uh, control of center stage the last couple of exchanges. Yeah. I like how Jen recovered high there. Like, DM's been catching him up the ledge so much, and sometimes it's just smart just to bypass that ledge. Good recognition. He parried there, but did, but he, drew, he put his shield up after he recognized it was a nair. He didn't want to try to parry the whole thing, so he's like, all right, you know what? I'll respect it. He's back off. So. Yeah. Smart from Jen. We still lost the first dog. Jen was one of the first players I saw really start messing with parrying even in the opening days of the game. So Ooh. good to see that even not just for counterattacks, but also for blocking, like you said, that recognition between the hits of uh, Pikachu's, what was it, fair neutral, that he did? Neutral air. Neutral air, okay, okay, yeah. The new air. Yeah. That. New and improved. <laughs> new air, that's what yeah. it stands for. <laughs> Either way, man, As even as these guys have looked for the openings of these matches, Ooh. it just seems like DM Ooh. comes out on top when it comes time to take the stock every time. This is this Jen. is super DM right now. I, I watch him play every week, man. Like he's definitely playing. Uh, he's on. He's on it right now. He's playing so well. This is Jen. Like Jen is so good, dude. Like for those of you who don't know, he's he's mad nice. So he made top eight. So that's good. 
Yeah, it's a two-tier event today. Yeah, and he's doing a good job just like applying pressure, like not even just hitting buttons, but just being in a space to occupy, kind of forcing Jen to think a little bit quicker. Ooh, Ooh. that down tilt setting up either a tech chase Ooh. or just a really low landing trap. Yeah, he hasn't got hit. DM hadn't got hit until that very moment. Like, he'd been running around so much, and he was like applying pressure, getting in Palo's face, like Koopa said. But now here we go, it's a Gen show time. Let's see what he's got. Not a whole lot. Pikachu just gets out of here. He's, <laughs> he's tiny, man. It was a short show. Commercial break. Definitely like the usage of down air there as well, just mitigating the low profile from Pikachu. You've seen back air, forward air all go over his head so far. Sour spot of the dash deck looked like. Oh, he's just doing it again. Why not? Sure. Yep. Goes for the back throw for the stage positioning, but again, the high recovery from DM gonna intercept whatever edge guard uh, Jen had in mind. Oh, lets his guard down just in time for the getup attack to go through, and DM taking it with a raw up throw. No follow up necessary. That definitely is a little stronger <laughs> than Smash Four, man. Dude, I'm right? saying like they gave him a lot of interesting, like more powerful options. Like it's just weird. Like I don't know why they decided. It. I think there's like a reason that you know a lot of people are like Pikachu might be the best character in the game. Oh, how does Pikachu hold on to you? He has no, he has like stubby fingers. Hold on, what, the ledge? Yeah, but he's a tiny, he's a tiny guy. Right, Suspend you your disbelief, okay? <laughs> it's a video game. Wait, Chill. I know what you're is. talking about. Right, <laughs> wait, this is a video this is, wait, <laughs> not, <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Ooh, so close to that KO right there, but DM gonna keep hanging on. Pikachu, very light, but not the lightest. Sucks. Not as light as his cousin or his nephew, Pichu. Yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Jen having a hard time securing this uh, stock, and the longer DM uh, you know, lingers around, the more dangerous does he really get for him. Yeah, Jen trying to get his Captain America on, trying to bash with the shield. Instead, he goes with the staff, man. Getting the neutral air, and again, I mean, this is the third time in a row we've seen this where Jen, he's behind, and he starts coming back in the last stock. Look at that, 33% is so much on Pikachu. This character dies early. As hard as he gets to hit, once you start hitting him, he really feels it. That said, Palutena, a big body and not very heavy in her own right. So we'll see just how able DM is uh, to capitalize on the openings he gets. Not a character who's great out of disadvantage. I think it's one of her biggest flaws. And it's not so big. It's one of her few flaws, right? Yeah, and she right, also has right, stuff right. like ledge cancels with warp to get out. Yeah, she's definitely got interesting mobility, like a lot of different things. So, ooh, down air defends himself. Oh, my God. That could have been really, yeah. really dangerous for DM, but able to escape. I like that neutral air. Even though I, the Thunder Jolt didn't come out, I'm pretty sure, it would have just eaten right through it. Those repeating, long-lasting hitboxes. Ooh. Oh, God. That poor Pikachu, man. He just stuck his face out there. Palutena whacked him right in the nose with her shield. <laughs> I imagine that hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't feel good. It's some percentage. Oh, the weak dash attack. Hold on. DM on the hunt here. You're seeing Pikachu's very versatile recovery come to his aid greatly against Explosive Flame, too. Oh, yeah. A lot of characters sometimes have no choice but to face that head on. Pikachu can be very tricky with where he's going to fall, where he's going to rise. Uh-oh! Oh! oh uh, Jen! Oh, my God. The second breath of air here. Oh, what? What? Oh, okay, no, that should do it. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. If it sent the opposite it's not direction. Peaches. It always yeah. said, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold up. I'm so jaded after seeing that move <laughs> kill it, like, 10%. Oh, I knew Dude, he did a delay dash back, uh, back throw. Uh, Hold up. The toss. Oh, oh, my God. DM still alive. He's got to make it back. That's, uh, the thing. That's the thing about Quick wow. Attack. You're right. You have a lot of different options. You have a lot of different angles you can go at. But your hurt box is enormous while you're Quick Attacking. So yep. Jen was like, what am I going to do here? I'm Palutena. There's a big hurt box flying at me. Uh, there. A button. There. Yep, there. Okay, yep. I choose there. I'm in the air. I'm going to press that big green button like my big green head of hair. Hair, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's Maybelline. Maybe it's neutral air. Maybe. It's definitely neutral air, he as you see him. right there in the replay cam. Yeah. I like how he went back onto the stage, too. Like, the way he scooped him up was really, that was yeah, really no. good coverage, actually. And the big thing that killed DM there is that he started getting, like, very trigger-heavy with the dash attacks, and Jen just started turtling and shield and punishing that. He was, like, he was fishing. He was fishing. Wait, how many, dash attack kills? How, many, yeah, how many dash attack kills did he get, though, yeah. the other two games? He like, got drunk with power. Like, 14. <laughs> the poor Pikachu is so concussed from ramming his head into Palutena. Like, he just he can't do anything else. He just, he just keep doing it. This is the Pikachu at the beginning of every anime okay. season that's bad. Pikachu's evil, right? Because if he does his back air, he turns and smiles at the camera. What a jerk. Like, yeah. when he hits you, watch, man. Watch when he does it next time. The Nair is cute, though. I'll give it to him. Pikachu has a grand old time going to town on you, man, and all. Oh. So he's a masochist. He, he what? <laughs> no, he's a sadist. Okay, yeah, there you yeah. go. Yeah, the other one. Yeah. Needless to say, we are here in uh, the. He's a, he's a satyr. Yeah. No, wait. No, that's the other wrong one. No, that's in a couple months. That's the way. Hold on. Oh. Anyway. We, I can't breathe. All right, we're down to a dual cast again. Yeah. <laughs> Temporarily. Yeah, so we're here at the uh, Catalyst Pokemon League. Let's see if the, uh, you know, the wider area. Uh, in the middle of the stage, uh, it makes a uh, difference here for DM. 
another dash attack on the shield, man. I'm telling you, like, no, truly, like, that is definitely just becoming a, a habit that Jen is avoiding and then punishing uh, properly, so. Good yeah. use of the Nair there, too. Because yeah, I, I feel like he's just willing to, like, eat the grabs, because, like, outside of that one kill throw and, like, you know, the early mid-percent combos, he's not really getting eaten up too bad by those grabs. So he's like, okay. Oh. Getting pinned on that platform in that situation was so scary. Props to DM for not losing his mind there. I definitely would have. Oh, so Ooh. up throw to Thunder, and now it's going to be Jen's turn. The drag down up air so clean right there. We're going to see what DM has. Throws the Thunder Jolt just to protect himself, maybe hoping oh, to clip the wall. Instead, going to clip his face on Paul the shield right there. And that trade again, we've seen it, and like it's happening more often. And that In that instance, that trade, uh-oh, hold on. Palutena show. There it is. Wow, a quick 40%. 40, 41, 57, dude, that is so much on Pikachu. Like that, you you got to be feeling the pressure right there. If you thought DM was kind of reaching for a kill before, I have a feeling he's going to be doing it again very quickly. Wait. I love the adaptation of the combo, though, to throw in the up airs. A lot of Politanas, you'd either see attempt more neutral airs or a forward air in that situation. Jen just pushing the meta a little bit. DM, though, looking still great, even though he's down in this match right now, sitting up 2-1. to one. Kind of has a game Ooh. to play with. Obviously, the pressure is much higher on Jen right now. I don't know. In this game? In this game, certainly not. Yeah, in the yeah. grand scheme of things, though, he's Ooh. still got to build from the ground up in game five. That was almost another dash attack whipping into a KO. Like, had Jen hit that back air, it probably would have been a KO. I mean, there was a lot of rage on that Palu. I don't know, man. But either way, I mean, DM able to take a stock. Now they're tied in terms of stocks. And let's see what DM can do uh, playing from behind in the second stock. Yeah, like, I feel like you can kind of start to feel oh, and kind of slip away from DM there, there for a second. But that's up, that's up a combo a little bit. Yeah, he got a turnaround before his grab, or maybe he just wanted to turn around up tilt and somehow drop the input in a big way. Ooh, get up attack oh, making a rare appearance. Scoop, man. I like that preemptive strike there from Jen. Just anticipating that he was going to throw a quick attack out because you've seen DM do that a lot from the corner, either to escape or to start applying pressure. I'm telling you, man. It's Captain America's Ooh. shield, man. Looking like an Avenger. Stars and stripes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh... So you quick attack on the middle of the thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. All right, man. Let's see what Jen can do with his lead there. Oh, you know what he's going to do? He's going to nair a couple times. I like it, too, because like the frame trap afterwards, he went for the up air, but then he could have potentially got a follow up anyway after DM fell out of it. So. Good coverage. It's just like good option select, even though you can get it. Oh god. Yeah. I feel like Jen definitely smells the blood in the water right now. Dude, he's like, playing so well though. Like the adjustment has been so good. And like don't don't forget, like the first game that he lost, he went box. So yeah. like, he really only lost one game with Pally so far, and right now it's one to one as far as things go with with his Palutena, so. Oh you see DM with some awareness on the parry too, not trying to swing on the multi-hit forward tilt. Just respecting and blocking. Oh, charging star! <laughs> <laughs> Zenit. Oh, yeah, get on over there. Jen, you've been hit by that too many times now, and they both mattered a lot. I yeah. feel like it's just the opposite of what we were seeing earlier. You know, in in the set, in the set is like, DM was so evasive and just moving around Jen, and now Jen's just doing the opposite. He's throwing out these awesome hitbox. Oh, God. He's throwing out these awesome hitboxes, moving all around this Pikachu, but here we go. DM on the hunt here. He needs this KO. Those platforms, I feel like, have been helping Jen out more, too. It's the advantage of wearing a church, man. Come on. Yeah, but it's a Pokemon <laughs> church. Have some respect. Yeah. <laughs> This is, this, is a, never mind. this is a house of Arceus, <laughs> this is not okay? Arceus, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Forward air, not enough, man. So close. Ooh, oh, just tickling him with the early hits of the forward air. That move actually kills That's now, a, too, so we would have seen Jen lose his stock. Instead, yet another dash attack from DM. What kills? Tickle? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. The defense has been lowered, Charles. I'm the real man. I'm the most ticklish person in the world, so no, that no, probably no, no, would no, actually know, kill man. me. <laughs> Oh god. Ooh, oh, yeah. Oh god. This platform not a, a safe place for DM at all. But the thing is, like, he's been uh -oh. using quick attacks so well to get out of Jen's pressure. See how evil he just smiles at the camera, man. Look at it. Whoop, right there. It's a freeze frame, dude. Man, the sure. auto cancel backer is so huge for this character. It just makes it a combo starter. And you saw DM almost get something big going right there. Yeah, Couldn't dude. turn it into too much, but still this comeback is very possible. Yeah, crowd coming to life right now a little bit too. DM. Trying to Oh god. That's an agenda, right? Avenger, Agen, a Avenger, Avenger, Avenger. I don't know, man. We're almost the, there. We're almost, we're we're almost there. Yeah, we're living man. on a prayer. We're living on a prayer, you know. Everybody, please go see Captain Marvel. <laughs> True. <laughs> but anyway, two two. Immediate run back. Oh, is this? Are they gonna choose the song? Yep. It might be the best song that we have in competitive basic uh, stages. Which one? This one that we're playing right now. What's the title? I forget. <laughs> I'll tell you right now that you're wrong, though. Okay, what do you mean? Because it is objectively Dual Zone. That's true. Oh, Dual Zone is very Best good. Best song you're right, in the game. You're right. Nah, this song is, dude, wait, when this song kicks in, man, you feel it in your chest. 
Either way, these oh, guys. Oh, it's a Sogaleo and Lunala. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I know is when Dual Zone kicks oh, in, I want to start spitting bars, yeah. man. That's a fresh beat. Anyway. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the roost myself. <laughs> uh oh, get out. Get out. This, is again, this is a dual cast. Yeah. <laughs> we're out. We're out. Can't confirm we're, we're I'm, voting I'm people leaving. off the I'm island. I'm leaving. You can stay, but I'm out. Oh, DM, though, trying to vote Jen off the island. Trying to be the sole survivor here. But no, just going to have to reset back to center stage. Couldn't get anything too meaningful going off stage. Down throw into what? Ooh, nothing. Ooh, Two wow. dodges. Yeah, the, 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 that was double team evasion right there from DM for sure. Up air and connecting with a forward air. Good reach on that, actually. Wow, Ooh. DM using banned moves out here. <laughs> <laughs> Does this set count? This isn't tournament legal. Yeah, can we? Like, you got to lose the stock for that. I've, Jen's been getting a lot of mileage out of that downer, oh, uh, like you guys brought up earlier. It's been really uh, key for him here. And now DM on the ropes once again. Oh, dude, this down tilt is so good. That's two in a row. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, God. He ah! just keeps catching that extended hurt box from Pikachu, either from Quick Attack or from a not sweet spotted Skull Bash. If he's just the slightest bit above the edge when he's cruising over there, then it's an easy pickup for Jen. Oh, oh, oh excuse me. Oh, that was the shield to the shield, man. Her holiness is here, ladies and gentlemen. That was hypercharging star right there. That was dope. That was dope. <laughs> All right, let's see. DM, what do you have to make this comeback? Yeah, charging easy, smashes easy. at the edge every time in this game. Fully invincible get-up attack going to eat through it. Yeah, easy, easy call. Oh, no. Yeah, in what world? world? <laughs> okay, so, like, if I'm Jen, oh, never mind. I was going to say, if I'm Jen, I'm feeling really confident after he whipped that thunder like that. Like, he's missing putting like that. I've got to be feeling good. But either way, DM goes, I'm going to dash attack you again. Let's go for it. Oh, we, haven't, we have not seen the reticle come out, actually. Yeah, maybe just a bit worried about Pikachu's size and mobility. Yeah. Probably not the easiest character to hit with it, for sure. Yeah, you take the free damage. But hey, if there's any time to start game. busting out tricks that you haven't used yet, it's in Game 5. We've seen so many Game 5s throughout this bracket, by the way. A lot of very evenly matched up competition. And Jen oh, and what a Thunder Joel! Are you serious? That was nuts. I wish he got the down air afterwards, though. That would have been really sick. But either way, Jen is living. Center stage, both these players. Neutral's been pretty even, actually, between the two of them, which is interesting. Yeah, Dan's been kind of getting, like, steamrolled in the early percents uh, the last yeah. two games. It looks like he's kind of, like, slowed down a bit and, you know, readapted to Ooh. what Jen has been doing. It was a weird reset after that forward air. You see that? That was weird. Yeah. Either, either way, down tilt. Oh, I, I feel like he could have jabbed. He could have jabbed, I feel like. And you go for the forward smash at the ledge. Oh! oh another Speaking one. Speaking of the forward smash at the ledge. DM going up in terms of stocks. Uh, this is more looking more like games one and two than three and four. That's for sure. Jen staring down the barrel of his tournament life right now. What has he got? Oh, that yeah. was a great explosive flame. Yeah, it's just so tricky to hit it on Pikachu. He can dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge all the way through <laughs> it. A double dodge for the double team. Double back air, evil smile on his face the whole time. Ooh. Hold up. Oh, I love that corner pressure. Just back off a little bit, make him whip, and then pick up the grab on that scared shield. You know what's cool, too, is he was facing backwards. He bit back air. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Hold up, hold up. Yep. We got a game five situation. Last stop. Yo, tell me why I hear more cheers in the crowd for Jen than for local boy DM here. We travel very well in these streets, Max yeah, yeah, yeah. Ketchum. I yeah. feel like there's something special about going out of region. You know what I'm saying? Like, when, you, when you're That's the true. invader, when you're in the invader, you're in there. Like, you, your boy's got to support you. But now DM's squad coming to life. He hasn't been touched yet either, I gotta say. Yeah, the house is being oh, slightly uh, defended right now, but Jen getting uh, that first initial hit. Uh, Jen trying to defend house of 3,000. We've got a, these guys are both the home team right now. Jen, <laughs> all right, he's cooking. Only 40% down now, but DM looking so Ooh. good, looking for the jab reset. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. We've been so good right there. 69% on this Pikachu, gets a quick attack. Uh -oh. Such a good tool. Thunder, Thunder. Yeah. nope. The air dodge, though, getting a forward air, hold up. DM on the hunt. Oh my god. Oh, you can sense the panic. Not even the panic, Dude. just the urgency here from DM. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Finally whipping that down till at the edge. Hold up. DM's gotta recover here. And, and Jen uh -oh. has been so good at the ledge. Jen has been so good oh! at the ledge. Oh, That's what I'm talking go. about right there. Ralphie coming up, picking up his boy. Another back air, so good. Jen clutching that one out. Reverse 3-0. -oh. Reverse 3-0. -oh. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. What a set, man. That was a oh, the alarms are going off. Uh, it is weirdly bright in that camera angle. That was amazing. There's Jackal, too. He's got a set to play very shortly. What a set, though. What oh, he a dropped way. his glasses, though. My what God. A, oh, no. Are they Can't okay? see without his he glasses. He doesn't need them, man. He wasn't He's wearing got them. He wasn't wearing them. He wasn't wearing them the whole time. Like, that's the twist. <laughs> he was not wearing his glasses. He's like, which character was I? Well, this now is we where have he proof won. that he was. Yeah, I love how he bobbed and weaved underneath that Thunder Jolt. That's a mistake I see a lot of um, Pikachu and Mario players make, by the way. When they're coming back or when they're mm -hmm. high Fireball. up, they'll throw the 45 degree projectile. Yeah. Jen read that 100%. And the big, big, big difference of what clutched that set out for Jen 
His edge guarding in the fifth game was just so good. That no, down yeah. tilt is so active, and Pikachu's hurt box when he's quick attacking, so big, man. And Jen just threw it out, kept working. Great job, man. That's what only a set. The, that's only the first. Ever, Rob. One of the best heavies in this game, that's for sure. Like, he's right. an incredible character in this game. <laughs> let let <laughs> us reiterate this. Rob is a viable character in the game. He's meta, super folks. good. He's, dude, he's better than all the characters I play. That's for we sure. think so, for now, you know. For now, he's right. good. That's true. That's a good point. I feel like all the Rob mains are just ready to jump off the boat, and they're just like, wait a second. So, <laughs> Rob's going to get comboed ultra hard in this matchup, but at the same time, Pichu dies at like 30, so it's it's pretty okay. Oh my god, off the easy. He bounced him right off the top, man. He just kept comboing him. <laughs> I mean, look at his head. It's a basketball. Sure. Why is his head bigger than his body? Pichu? Yeah. <laughs> Know, you know what, if we're going to get into Smash character anatomy, we've got way bigger questions than Pichu's head. <laughs> yeah, why, why, is the toy, where going, man? <laughs> why is a toy for the NES have rocket boosters? <laughs> That's how it came, dude, out of the box. No fuel, <laughs> no fuel not included, though. Here we go. Uh, you know, and at this point, Jackal is essentially ready to lose a stock. Yeah, that will definitely do it. The Rob, the Rob full copter. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Never, I know, I'm sorry. All right, man. now this is a solo I'm cast, so, guys. Sorry. All right, <laughs> I got this from here. I'm out. Yeah, I'm done. Sorry, we have the sole survivor in that Oh, God. Wow, what? what? Dude, but Pichu is such a powerhouse, too. Like, I don't know, man. This, this matchup's kind of crazy. Because, like, Rob's weight kind of falls apart pretty quickly uh, against Pichu's might. Yeah. Which is hilarious to think about, really. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like they did it just because. You know what Ooh. I'm saying? Because you wouldn't expect it, and you got to make this character Ooh. have something. Oh, oh, how he falls out of the arm rotor. That was actually ridiculous. And now we've got Rafi yet again trying to come back to the stage, but you can't recover too close to the wall on a oh, stage like oh, this. Oh, Jackal! Oh, uh, does he have enough gas to get back? It's going to be close, man. This is I near mean, the end. Oh, it's done. It's done, maybe. He's, done. He's got air dodge. That's it. Yeah, yeah. no. Yep. Oh, oh, that was kind of sad to watch. That's like the, what was the moon rover or whatever that ran out of the <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that's what happened to Rafi right it's there. Cold, it's cold, and I'm running out it's of It's getting fuel. dark. It's getting dark, yeah. <laughs> For me, that was like yeah. uh, Buzz Lightyear yeah, in Toy Story when he tries to fly, <laughs> yeah. Oh, years of academy training <laughs> wasted. You are not a toy. <laughs> you cannot fly. Oh, oh my god! Yo, hold up! Jackal! Oh. Three stock, baby. That's another Oh, god. Nobody puts baby in the corner, guys. He is back with a vengeance, and Jackal, a guy who's got a pretty good track record in New England, like you said, has yeah, yeah. great finish at Shine 2018 within the top eight. I think he got fifth place. Yes, he did. Yep, made it all the way to the winner's semis after taking out MK Leo. And Void. And Void, yeah, yeah I was gonna say, that's, that's not where it stopped. I gotta, yeah. I, if you guys wanna know the secret to Jackal's success at Shine, uh, we watched both of the live action Scooby-Doo movies that weekend. <laughs> All right. I don't know what to say about that. But anyway, uh, three stock. You say no, nothing. <laughs> Jackal could not have made a better statement walking into this top eight. He said, you know, Raffi X might be kind of the favorite just in terms of history. You know, in terms of playing a you know really heavy character, Rob, he's had a lot of good, in, uh, consistent results in region. Not only that, but Raffi's teammates, if you didn't notice the uh, sponsors, with DM88, who plays Pikachu and Pichu. Ah, okay. So, so For the bad matchups. Yeah, for <laughs> Great showing by Timor Esports, by the way. Yeah, two yeah. top eight contenders, man. Down throw, let's see what he's got. Uh, I mean, a read here is a kill, 100%. Absolutely, and Rob, of course, his down throw with the shortest berry time, at least of the moves that I can think of off the top of my head. So you're not going to see too much devastating follow-up kind of stuff off of it. Ooh, but that move, yeah. you want devastation. Ooh. Oh! Rappy X with Sniped. A, that's, a, yo, that's a response right there if I've ever seen one. And he's only got 46%, but here we go. This is where it can get kind of out of hand for Rob. Like His disadvantage is bad. Getting comboed is so yeah. crazy bad for Rob, but... A wise man once used the term combo dumpster. That's right. That's what he is, man. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. I'd rather not think about that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got Rappy trying to use that vertical pressure, throwing the, the gyro down. Landing on him with an air. But I feel like this keep away game could be so strong for him right now. For Pichu to even think about throwing out a Thunder Jolt, it's going to cost him some percent in his own Ooh. right. Then you've got tops, you've got lasers, all kinds yeah. of fun stuff to work with. That's the thing. Like, I mean, Pichu only damages himself like a little bit when he does Thunder Jolts or electric moves down there. Hold on. Raffi's got to recover, and he has not had a good time recovering against Jackal so far yeah, in, this, in this set. That's for sure. Yeah, his miles per gallon is trash right now. Dude, but it's the platform. Like, this counter pick's working out. He was able to retreat to the platform instead of trying to go to the ledge. It helped him out a lot, actually. So I feel like if this was the first game, he already would have lost his stock. Right, without a doubt. Yeah. Jackal just relentless under and on that platform. See Ravi throw the That's gyro down kill. for, for what? Though? It's silly powerful. It is so, so powerful. Who let this baby get away with this? <laughs> baby <laughs> boss baby, man. It's Alec Baldwin. Baby there. driver is what I was going to say, but okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go. Anyway, he's in the driver's... <laughs> Never mind, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I refuse. Back Old air. lightning loops? No, I want some lightning loops, bro. Yeah. We already had the Marvel references oh! before. Let's bring him back. But he's all of a sudden winning this you. match. I'm telling you, man, like... 
Rob's weight is just nullified by the power of Pichu, which is so hilarious. Think of that sentence you just structured. If you told me that six months ago, I wouldn't the, believe it. The P.O.P., man, the power of Pichu. Pop! Yeah, Pichu and Rob both being good in this game certainly <laughs> would not have believed you Disappointing. either. Disappointing. Yeah. Uh oh, oh you're there dead. we you're go. You're dead, bro. You're so not, dead. Oh, yeah, definitely. I wanted to believe, but the max definitely. rage on the side of Pichu Jackal. with max rage. Let's talk about that for a yeah. second. That's, Gets himself there, too. That's crazy. Dude, How okay. much of that damage was self-inflicted, you know? I. I think we're going to need to That's have a ref step in. Someone do the math. I don't know. <laughs> You're asking me to do math? Come yeah, on, man. somebody has got to do math. I, I wasted all left of what was left of my brain cells trying to find parking today. This, so. is, this is all Jackal, by the way. This is impressive. Except for that first stock game, too. Jackal's yeah. been in complete control. Yeah, so we what could, a show, man. Yeah, so knock on wood, we could see a potential 3-0 here. R Rafi fighting on his tournament life right now. But we shall see how things work out here as uh, Town & City is the stage. And KK Slide are working, uh, you know, effortlessly on another Saturday night for our viewing entertainment. Yeah, I was going to say, man, when is that gyro about to hit the floor? Because it's been thrown <laughs> up there for a while. Smart by Jackal, though, just not even entertaining going in that spot that it was going to fall. Yeah, you, it's weird. Like, usually you'll see people, like, pick up the gyro and, like, try to use it against them. And in an earlier set that Rafi played, uh, he seemed to kind of struggle, like, being able to maintain, you know, you know when other people used the gyro against them, he kind of, like, had trouble adjusting to what to do. Down, down throw. throw, what do you have? Up air, no. Rafi oh. playing it safe, catches the air dodge instead. Yeah. Taking that first stock. Even though he's down 2-0, he still looks so sharp at the beginning of these matches. Jackal just seems to figure something out midway through every time. You know what's cool about Jackal's Pichu too is like the one move I see people complain about Pichu more than anything is a forward tilt. Jackal really hasn't used it. Oh, you know? like, no. he, just, he hasn't needed to yet so far. Like he's just been landing these bigger hits, which is crazy. Yeah, like that last hit of back air that just ever just kissed Rob on yeah, the exactly. on his frame right there. Wow. Yeah, man. Oh, there like it is. You fly exponentially further when you're just a little bit off the stage than yeah. even when you're right on the oh edge. Oh my god, Jackal, let's go, man. 61 percent 62 basically. Remember that dumpster I was talking about? <laughs> Oh yeah, same Rob, dude. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Brady, man. <laughs> You're the way he just. <laughs> I'm a chuckster. Yo, that that animation is so. I'm a chuckster. <laughs> man, Pichu's weak nair just sets you up perfectly for a down tilt follow up. But yeah. what seems like almost any percent. I mean, Rafi got hit by a near a hundred and it still worked. Oh <laughs> my god! Wow, dude. If he up smashed or something right there, or back aired, I would have given him the tournament. It's over. I would have let him drive home. No, I don't know. Come on. Man. That's not joke. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah. Jackal not stopping, not letting up at all. Still Jesus. trying to hit Rafi at all costs, and it pays off. The man what needs to secure the kill. There's no reason to just be taking these risks when you could forward tilt him from on stage and take yeah, it. Yeah, he's definitely like heat checking himself like hard right now. Throwing what? up nothing but three pointers at the Oh, at the, there it goes. Here's, line. Here's my analysis of the set so far. What a fun matchup for Pichu. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, Pichu's just having a ball right now. <laughs> Seriously, man. There, let's see what he can get, man. Off yeah. stage. Despite all that, Rafi does have himself a lead right now. So I don't know. Okay. Not it's anymore. It's what I would well, say. Well, not it's really. what I would say. <laughs> Dude. And there's a forward tilt, man. I'm telling you, like, he held onto it. He didn't really need to use it games one and two, so now it's going to come in clutch game three. Uh-oh. I know. I see Rafi off stage, and I'm like, that could just be the set. Pichu's down there, man. Just one yeah. of the most savage edge guard tools in this game. It's Haven't like, seen that play much of a factor either. It's like a Ganon power move on a baby Pokemon. <laughs> You're like, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it really, aside from that. It's like he's using an even crazier version of the light ball. <laughs> putting those attacks that's through the roof. Three times, man. Oh, shoots the thunder drill oh, the wrong way. Dope. Rafi not reacting uh -oh. in time. And there I love that. The oh. pillar combos. Pichu pillars. That was you know what that oh up there? Are you alive? Yes. Great adjustment there by Jackal. The hold to the right. Oh Excuse no way. Me? Wow. Okay. He was, he was behind him. It literally showed it in the clip, but you know, I like Jackal. He didn't really react, man. Hold on, hold on. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, that was, getting... that was silly, too, by the way. That was so much damage. Down air to up air. What happened? That was, was it the hurt box? Maybe, yeah. Because obviously the big difference is that uh, it even says it in the name because Pichu uses agility and not quick attack. Fun fact for you guys oh, nice. at home. Thank you. Appreciate that. And for me right here. I just assume. I'm sorry, man. I shouldn't have You know what happens when you assume? That's right. <laughs> Could be wrong. There you go, Jack. We'll take a breath, man. But you know what? If I'm Rafi, I gotta be feeling pretty good about taking that game because it was really a slobber knocker there at the end. Uh, especially like Jackal was coming out with these other combos, like we said, Pikachu, Pichu pillars, uh, yeah, all man. sorts of all sorts of crazy electricity flying around. Yes, and that was also the first time where obviously Rafi took that big lead and he was able to capitalize on it. So let's see if the stage choice here, uh, you know, makes a difference. I think obviously 
when you're a character that juggles so well and you're, you know, your opponent doesn't ban FD, you gotta go there. Especially against a big character like, uh, like Rob. Yeah, and Peach is just so mobile, and not only that, but like the Thunder Jolts are so good at covering not just the stage, but the little area of air in front of Pichu. It just creates like a hard wall for uh, Rob to get around. But Rappy doing a great job so far. The spin cycle, not enough yet. Oh, oh again. again! Nowhere is safe. Rappy X, man. Sniper. If you get hit with a laser in space and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? It definitely takes a stock, I'll tell you that yeah, much. Nice. <laughs> does it take a stock? Up throw, yes. what do you have? Yes, one fair, not a second. And now Jack will gonna show you how it's done some of these throw combos. Goes for the high recovery again. Raising the roof, man. Rob looking like he's having a great time up there. You know what's the best about Rob is that he dabs when he drowns, dude. What a guy. <laughs> like That is absolutely incredible. Oh, here we go. That's mental fortitude right there. Seriously, man. <laughs> Make the best out. of a bad situation. Oh, oh I thought we were going to see the jab into forward Me too, smash. Man. Me too, for sure, man. Good little uh, sniping action. Uh, returning it. You know, here comes Jackal forward mm, tilt. Yep. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, nothing really can really do there. Really? Pichu looks so dang cute holding that top in his mouth, man. Oh, yep. You got to be careful mashing that air dodge, because Rappy, that's the second time he's done that. Wait out the air dodge, wait for Jackal to land, then just up smash him. That up smash from Rob is going to kill Pichu super early. And now, I mean, the set has taken quite the turn. What was what is sure to be Jackal set is now looking to be Rappy's. And this counter pick of FD, Rappy's been doing a good job of it. He can't escape these loops, though. That's, that's going to be a problem. Yeah. Is this about to be another reverse 30? I don't know, man. It's definitely possible. Rappy's putting the idea in everyone's heads, that's for sure. And Jackal can't think about it too much. He's got to stay positive. He's got to remember those first two games, man. Channel that energy. Just remember Rob when he's drowning yeah. or when he's recovering. <laughs> no, that's distracting. I couldn't hit a guy. Just remember when you're in the subspace because, you know, the good guys win. Yeah, Rob was a bad man in subspace, wasn't he? <laughs> he was possessed, dude. He was noted. Oh, he was, oh, he he was, was noted. Okay. okay, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> I was not paying <laughs> Subspace lore, a little lost of me, but here we go. Jackal trying to recover. Rappy trying to snipe him out of a jump up the ledge. Look, he's just back airing everywhere. He didn't even need to do that. Yeah, this is looking really rough right now for Jackal. Yeah, man. I don't know if it was a counter pick or Rappy's just making adjustments. It's hard to tell. There's a couple different potential variables. Forward tilt, not enough. You know, Jackal takes a sock, though. He's really got a shot. Oh, God. Oh, there we go. Well, there you go. Hazmat's blessing right there. But Yo. tell me how Rob has spent, like, a good half of this match recovering, and he's still in such a big lead. Air dodge, dude. Oh, oh you gotta get you? off of there. Skull. You gotta get down. You that's gotta a, get up. That's a huge hitbox, dude. <laughs> Rob's got Rob's got some junk in the trunk, dude. That is a big hitbox. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb thick. Oh, uh, Pichu couldn't handle it, yeah. man. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that that wagon is, is crazy. <laughs> Thick okay. thighs and lies. Wagon. Ew. <laughs> 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 wagon. No, I'm taking a sip of my drink. That's it. That's it. That's I got it. an expensive headset we're inches done. from my mouth. You bro. guys, we're, we're <laughs> done talking about Rob's wagon, bro. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Hazmat Rules. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, okay, both these players locking it in. We got to do the same, guys. We got to give them the respect. Game five, Rafi X. Reverse 2 0 so far on Jackal, trying to finish off the hat trick. And Jackal Jackal's making its first appearance in a set. Okay, I like this pick a lot more from Jackal. I feel like he can control so much of the stage. Like, if he camps underneath that platform with Thunder Jolt, I don't know. Actually, Rafi's doing the exact opposite. Yeah, he's, yeah. Steal he's stealing the show. I was going to say, by the same token, Rob can put a gyro in front of you, force you to come in at that aerial angle as long as it's spinning and creating a present threat yeah, man. on the ground. That's always been the awkward part about fighting Rob, is that he has, like, two, like, really good projectiles at his disposal but also so you can't like camp him out but you also have to play in that really specific range in front of him right. you know because he can also get grab combos on you uh, so, oh, oh. Uh, okay sure that was almost really cool but uh Rafi I guess just not believing oh, enough Jackal. to throw the up smash oh my god that was actually really cool these guys are slugging right now, not even a minute into the match, and we've already seen so many cool oh. little exchanges between them. And also that gyro being able to keep the thunder jolts is really good for Rafi. Oh, wow, so light. Yeah, dude. I mean, he's the lightest character in the game by a pretty significant margin. So Yeah, up to six <laughs> units under jigs, man. Up to Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I can't. Nope. I got nothing. I got nothing. No, no idea what's going on right now. Anyway. Oh, God. I, I do like the... The high recovery there from Rafi. I think Jack was making it obvious he was trying to sniff out the low recovery. Right. Yep. Rafi just going to adjust on the fly. Rob's recovery, even though it's not that threatening because it has no hitbox, it is very flexible. Ooh. What's he doing here? Mix him up. Oh, God. Okay. Jackal, what do you got? Hit by an up That's okay. happened multiple times where Jackal like, preemptively air dodges down to try to like mash out of an option, and he's almost killed himself uh, before that time. I'm getting shades of DM versus Jen here from Jackal. He's just 
really trying to peel the stock off, and Rafi denying him those Ooh. opportunities. Forward throw might do it. Nah, he's, he's this so is going to be a little man. more damage. Pichu's so cute, too. Let's give it to him. Okay, okay. he's going to take that. He'll Dunks. take that. Good start. Take the top two, throw it up. Throw it up. Oh, oh yeah. Well, instead, he's going up. That's the problem, dude. When you have the top, like, and Rafi's on top of you, you have to throw it. Like, that's your only, it's your only, like, offensive option, basically. You can't grab, you can't do anything, dude, so. Okay, good parry right there. Oh, God. Hold on. Yeah, it's fine. Nah, oh, he, oh, bonked, he bonked, bonked his head. His head dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Applying for uh, Paper Mario party member status. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's coming up. Uh, yep. I don't know why he Rob, wanted to go all the way up there. He there. just wasted so much fuel. And Jackal oh, going to capitalize man. on the opportunity. Okay, he's got enough drift to do this. Yeah, air dodge. But, oh, I think, did those pummels just give him enough time to refuel? I think I might have. I don't know, bro. I think 90 frames no. on the oh, ground on, is what no, it no, takes. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, he's, he's out of here. Oh, okay. my God. Maybe when you're in okay, a grab, it doesn't Okay, can we talk about count. that sequence from Jackal? We're in a last side yeah. situation right now. Yeah, Jackal's only at 28. Me. Oh, my God. Excuse the hell out of us. That was incredible. This has that been. Was, uh oh, that was some of the best counterplay I've seen in a matchup in a while. Oh God, Rappy X. Woo! How are you gonna finish it though? Get you so light. It's not unrealistic to see maybe an up smash come through. Maybe another 10, 15 percent before he needs to, or oh. before it'll actually take him out. But Jackal, has got to be sweating at this bench, at this juncture here. What a great defensive there too, hitting the top on his way back. Here we go, Jackal though. Goes for the high recovery Rob, again. Rob going up on a Tuesday. Uh, oh, down tilt. Oh, God. Grab. Oh, no. Don't air dodge. Oh, up air. Okay, good DI this time. Yep. You'd well, rather, rather take times. that hit than, than air dodging into the ground. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Somehow sneaks through that. Jackal's life probably oh, flashing ah! before his eyes, and Raffi's too. Oh, no invincibility. Oh, You're going to get scooped for that one. What a back air. He wow, did that man. again, man. I mean, I love when he did it the first time. The remix in game five to end it, super good. And they're both out of here. That's it. Oh, yeah, man. What a set, man. That and was after, nuts. And after an crazy, you know, second sock that ref that Jackal came back from and an explosive end yeah. that set. We've had two really good games so far. Guys. Ten really good Both games. Both involving <laughs> one ten out of ten. Pika or Pichu getting reverse 3 0 That's a fact. So can we get an Alolan Raichu assist trophy or something? I would love Raichu. Let, let me get some of those magic pancakes, He's in a pokeball. He's not an assist. Yeah, yeah. Can I get some of those magic pancakes, please? What's up? characters really suffer in this matchup, if you ask me. You think so? Uh, I, 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 I think, think so. so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> it's just like, I feel like the, the formula to be good against Zero Suit Sam, it's like even going back to Smash how about How about 60% in five seconds? Yeah. Is that a thing? That's what I mean. Gone, like, in, gone in 60. No, <laughs> gone in 60%. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. I, yeah. Try, I try, bro. I feel like Zero Suit is one of those characters who, like we were talking about in DM set, struggles to hit tiny characters. She yes. suffered against Pikachu in the last game. And yeah, all of our man definitely among them, especially because he's keep away based. Yeah, even some weirder characters like even in the past, like in Smash Four, Nairo struggled against like you know little Mac players, like those weird like small fast characters that can uh, output a lot of damage. And right out the gate, uh, you know, all of kind of like being in a war trench. He just kind of explodes sometimes, and the buzz could not have asked for a better start than that right now. Now nah, here's the thing though, I mean Mars can take a stock right here. You know, if he gets if he gets an air flip kick, that's it. You know what I'm saying? The, bu the buzz obviously. Playing Omar is super light. Zero Suit is a powerhouse character, but the buzz, like the reason he's so good at Smash is just the way he's so calculated and his spacing is just so immaculate. Finding that Nair into Flip Kick is going to be next to impossible just because the buzz never wants it to happen, you know? Yeah. Obviously, it's, it's not going to look pretty to everybody, but the buzz does not give a hoot about what you no. think. He's such a good player, dude. Does it matter? This is not a player who lets you hit him very easily. I mean, I know that sounds yeah. kind of generic, but of course, this guy is the master of defense for now three games in a row. Yeah. A lot of people have lamented fighting him, sometimes <laughs> even watching him just because of that. And now we see him really playing that style to a tee. Is it just me too, or in, the, in this game, I'm having a lot harder time getting rid of Pikmin when they're on me. Like trying, like I feel like my hitboxes are, I don't know, and I've yeah. kind of noticed it in this in this set in this game so far. I think they are a little bit more durable from what it seems, but uh, like evasively, like you can't. Oh wow. Yeah, I need to see the science on that. Yeah, I need it too. <laughs> but I would, ooh, ooh, I'd be inclined to believe it. Yeah. Up, yeah, up smash, wow, okay. 111 yeah. though. Yeah, the French tickler, man. That is now yeah. a, a kill move. Yeah. Shout out to TK, who I believe is yeah. the one that coined that. <laughs> that is so funny, man. When the first time I heard that, I was like, what? Literally one of the best. He is, he is one of the best heard. commentators at naming moves, like 100%. Remember the Simon Belmont back yep. in the day? It was yep. another Zero Suit one. That was TK, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I if think it wasn't, so. then my bad. Yeah, well, you know. Woo! Props to whoever it was, and props to the Buzz taking yet another stock off Mars here. So healthy, only 24% at the time. Now 35 and two full stocks to work with. That purple Pikmin so irritating to deal with. The only one that doesn't latch, but still extremely useful. 
Lamar's continuing to put on the fight right now. Yeah, he's dude, he's looking super sharp in this last stock, actually. The jab strings, too. DeBuzz dropped the shield of that twice in a row now. I'd be surprised if he did it again. And it looks like Mars is just kind of flailing, trying to get these Pikmin off him, trying to hit the buzz at the same time, almost trying to manage where he's trying to strike, what he's trying to do. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that Pikmin bit it, dude. He got whipped <laughs> right in the head. And you know what, man? Let's the reason it. that Zero Suit struggles against tiny characters, and a lot of characters this can be said about, because they sit so low to the ground and her aerials are, like, very narrow. Like that, Think about, yeah. like, her back aerial. She yeah. has to wait for so long before it's actually going to connect. Yeah. Like, that fastball aerial is going to go through, and it gives Olimar a ton of time to react. And especially a character like this guy, he can just preemptively up smash you. Oh, yeah, without oh, a doubt. Dude, yeah. I agree. That was a very good analysis. Yeah. And, uh, yep, the whip is not going to get rid of that yellow one. Oh, hold on. Woo! Yeah, he's... he's Got the buzz on the on the moves I right now. You're gonna say schmoovin'. Nah, I gotta keep you guessing. Let's make schmoofs. Let's make schmoofs, man. Make, <laughs> let's make schmoofs too. We're all commentating that, right, Max? Um. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, playing into the ground. Should be okay. I'll be sure. Why not? Okay. Well, you know, Mars got a shot here. That's for sure. It's gonna be really tough, though. I feel like, again, like it's just been a game of responses. Mars. I mean, he's got 133. Is gonna be a lot, yeah. and, and he's gonna eat a lot more damage. I mean, he's just got Pikmin. Oh God. Yeah. Down tilted. These are just expected. bonus hits for DeBuzz at this point. The blue up throw is already going to kill. Right. All his actual kill moves are already do the job. But now he's setting himself up for maybe like a straight hit to just take him out by chance. Uh-oh, oh, but man. Mars with the chance. Of course, this is not Smash 4. That combo is right. not as potent as we're used oh to it being. Uh -oh. No way. No way. Ah! I love it. I love okay. it. I love that I he love went that. for that. I, love, I that. love that he went for that. He knew that if he right. <laughs> DeBuzz's <laughs> reaction was godlike, dude. He was just like, what the hell? That was such a Mars play, dude. Can we see that again, please? Thank you. Yeah, so, dude, this so one he more knew time. opportunities against the Buzz that's, um, don't happen very often. So he, he just really, really went for it. Like, that's such a Mars versus the Buzz thing right there. Like, 100%. Like, Mars seeing one opportunity, like, I can do this, you know, eight-mile yeah. stuff. Like, Mar you only get one opportunity, <laughs> one shot. He went for it. It didn't work out. But yeah. now Mars, I mean, it's a best of five set. Which is tough, especially when you lose the first one to the buzz. Uh, so he's got a couple. He's got another Ike, you know, another character you can go with his Ike. Yeah. I don't know if he's gonna want to though. Like Ike isn't the fastest dude in the world. Olimar tends to struggle against sword characters though. Characters that can outrange him, but tend to give him, you know, fits for years. But yeah. Mars gonna stick with, uh, you know, the Chozone one as he's made his uh, his in-game tag before. Mars, to this day, still has some of the best like, controller tags of all time. Hamster's my favorite. Hamster's Hamster, great. Hamster's so good. Dude. That's, that's what his brain is. That's what he yeah. said. It's just the hamster running on the wheel. Host, like a hostile god on that episode of Billy and Mandy. The what? I'll, anyway. I'll show you later. Okay. That's all right. I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> game two, going back to Battlefield. Mars, I mean, his last stock was definitely the best stock of the set, which means he's the one that's adapting and doing well. If he made, like, the best play of all time, he could have won that game. Well, he could have stole that game one, but he didn't. So we're here in game two. The buzz is up. These he jabs. Oh, my God. The pressure from the buzz so good. Oh, that poor white Pikmin <laughs> did not make it. <laughs> he just yeah, threw him man. right off, yeah. dude. One, one, one like, one prayer for the white Pikmin. <laughs> These parries are great from Mars, following in the footsteps of Light, or maybe not necessarily following, but echoing Light's play, and that he's really good at that. In New England, it's called the Hasman. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm glad we could get that out of the way. You're welcome. <laughs> Put your client Don't worry, on I'll, I'll, I'll bring it back up, dude. I'll bring it back up. Don't worry. Do you get royalties on that? Or, uh... Yeah. So is it. your shield just your hazmat suit? Is that what it is? Ha! Ha! <laughs> and back on the solo, Captain. <laughs> uh, Koopa, take it away. All right. So the, the good thing here for Mars is that he's at least keep this game, like, much closer than he did out the gate uh, than the last one. What a tricky situation to be in. In the corner against the buzz like that, you know he can react really quick. He can do a forward air. He can just smack you away. He can up smash. He can grab you and kill you. Like, look at this lineup that he's working with. Purple. Yellow, too. Yellow is really good against Zero Suit, just ignoring all the electricity that she's got. Oh. Look at this dance they're doing, man. They barely exchanged blows in the past 10, 20 seconds. And you can see it's just because ah. neither of them wants to commit. <laughs> Olimar's big fist coming through, dude. It's like Bayonetta's up smash, but up B. Ooh. He did it. He really did it. He took the lead. Let's go, Mars. That was really well played, man. What, wave, and he flexed with the wave land on the platform. Did he do that? Yeah. Is he allowed to do that? Oh, God. <laughs> <And First>. no <way. laughs> hey, as we saw in Genesis on the Meta Scouter stats, which, by the way, is pioneered by Shi Deng, who is a uh, yeah. large part of this uh, this venue here, Balance Patch. Yes, sir. The first stock determines so much in Smash, right? And Mars, he took, what, like 80 damage right out the gate in the first game. Pretty much the same thing in this one. Being able to close that out means so much, but the Buzz already firing back. Got to 
make those moments last as long as you can, build the extra credit. Especially against a character like Almar, who's not going to be able to Ooh. break your zone, approach you with anything threatening. See the buzz weave around the neutral B from Mars? That was really good, dude. Yeah, that's the first thing he's like overshot the ledge and like gone for a high recovery like that. So definitely yeah. a good card to uh, save right there. The jab has been the go-to option after a nair on shield from Mars, and the buzz has been dropping shield a little early afterwards. I think he's scared of getting grabbed, which obviously I don't blame him. But at the same time, it's like, I don't know, man. Yeah, what Zero Suit's going for nair? Oh my god! Paralyzer F smash, though, they'll definitely be looking for that. And it oh. seems like there's a little bit more of a um, of a window yeah. to combo off the Paralyzer in this game. Well, not only that, but he ran up and he stopped on a dime perfectly. Like, the way he, the way Mars spaced it out was amazing. He just, he just knew exactly yep. what he was doing. That down to be able to smash attack after uh, a run. What's up? He keep yep. that to be able to cancel the, uh, the run with the smash attack. So. Good recovery by the buzz there, actually. That'll be a way floated. It's nice. Just outside of Mars' reach. Look at this too, like Mars using the most, you know, all the battlefield platforms, just kind of waiting for a good opportunity to go in and fight Jeez. against the buzz. Yeah, that was yeah, a great map. And this is where I feel like, because I was just going to say that it's definitely not out of the woods yet for the buzz, because Olimar just racks up so much damage so quickly. It's just a lot to account for, especially dude. when you're a character that, like, if you miss a grab, you're just asking to get punished for right. it. Yeah, dude, and the purple Pikmin just hits so hard, too. And the grab kills, obviously. Like, Omar, Omar's very, very scary. Yeah, strangely equipped for comebacks despite being a zoning-based character, which and normally isn't their strong suit. And super light. Like, it was just a lot of things that kind of you wouldn't think it was up. Uh, oh, okay. okay. That was definitely a Mars up B. Yeah, skipped a couple floors on the elevator right there. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but the buzz still hanging on. Ooh, ooh keeping the pressure up. Forward tilt saying, get off of me, man. This is he my game to take. Oh, you know what, though? Omar's tricky because you can air dodge, and then you have the whistle anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. it's, like a, it's like a backup. Uh, it's like an emergency plan, you know? And the order in which he's going to use those Ooh. things Ooh. remains ambiguous. Two wow, stop. that move restor stop. restored to its former glory, man. That's right. Well, 150, he's working with the 150 Rage, too, so that really helps out. But, man, what a response from Mars. I mean, running it back not only to the same character, but the same stage and uh, making a two-stock statement. That was huge, dude. It's, you know how hard it is to two-stock to buzz? He's... Buzz a monster, man. Yeah, man. He's one of the best players in the world throughout yeah. all of Smash 4. That's right. And still a beast in his own right, obviously, in Ultimate. And there he is, the Thinking yeah, Pose, Yeah, has man. not placed lower than fifth place at any of the events that he's gone to. So. Ooh, the Thinking Man. pretty Here impressive, yeah. Of course. Especially um, in a game that's, like, obviously still very fresh. There's a lot of turnover amongst yeah. the top. Uh, the Buzz being that pillar of consistency. He's always been great at figuring out games, too. That's why yeah. you'll always see, like, new games. It's like Kid Icarus, Kid Icarus Uprising. Uprising. Did you see the synchronized headset put on? That was sick. That was no, headset. but we're definitely going to have to replay that. Can you play that again, Devin? I know you can, Devin. You got the technology. Ready? Synchronized, 100%. Ready? Whoa! Oh! That, that's like the, the starting screen that we're about to see now. <laughs> like when, uh, when, when Como and Zero both took a sip out of their water at the same time, I felt that. Out of the same water bottle? <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, here, 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 okay, yeah. here we go. Game, game three. <laughs> Nair. Oh, God. Oh, it's Palutena. There she is. Making her grand debut. That's 43% on the board, super quick. It's crazy that that one game that Mars got, I mean, it wasn't two stock, but still, not the, the most dominant game I've ever seen. It's enough to scare to buzz off Almar. I mean, maybe it's a stage that he likes. Maybe he's just like, you know what, I'm giving Mars the respect. I'm gonna you know, try out the Palu, see what happens. This game, it's a five game set, so you know you can you can gamble on a secondary, or a co-main, I would say, for, for him. I feel like he's just matchup dependent. He doesn't really favor one or the other. Yeah, I think we're gonna see a decent amount of that here Ooh. in top eight. We actually saw a good amount of it in top 48 as players had a lot of games to mess with. People were trying different counter picks. I just think just the, way the, stages. the way the tethers interact with shields in this game was oh, so God. funny. Oh, man. Great catch right there with the up air. That was amazing. I mean, being all the way up there with Zero Suit, who's a pretty light character, like, you're just kind of, you know, getting caught like that, you're going to lose the stock very quickly. Did Buzz go for the parry there? I feel like he could have just countered and sent it back at Mars, you know? Just reaction, counter. Sorry, I think he just charging. maybe didn't want to deal with his shield. <laughs> he didn't want to. <laughs> yeah. A B. Okay. Ooh, he continues to chase. I love when he does the reverse up, up air, too. Just phases the other way. So why not? Yeah, it's also good for certain follow-ups because the uh, ending frames of the move obviously come out much closer relative to the back hit. Right. So Ooh. you get some things you normally wouldn't. Oh, jeez. Uh, he's swinging, man. Those boots, luckily, they never run out of juice like uh, Rob's. Get your girl a pair of heels like that if you want to impress her. Uh, Valentine's Day, man. Maybe next year. <laughs> They're on sale now, probably. That's true. Maybe after I become like the CEO of Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
some space age yeah, I fashion said, right I there. I said next year, Max. <laughs> All right, yeah, you're right. I'm glad you have such high hopes for me. Elon well, Musk, hit I me believe, up. I believe in you, man. Oh my God, the bus though. I'm telling you, this stage with Palu was so good. You see the way he just comboed and pushed Mars all over those platforms, used them to his advantage. Look at this, man. The bus yeah, again, mm. just being a wall. Like that's just what he does with every character he plays. And looking like Shades of the first game, where the bus gets the lead and it just kind of starts to snowball away from Mars a little bit. Yeah, I mean that's like combo. Oh God. Combo like the way DeBuzz plays, the characters they're playing, and the way that Mars plays too. Like that's just kind of the way things will go, especially Zero Suit. Like things can kind of just get away from you if you uh, just don't start hitting your stuff. But Mars has been working on his consistency a lot. He leveled up a ton. Uh, like we said last weekend in California, playing against Leo a lot, playing against a lot of top players in that region. You can see the the fruits of his labor here. Yeah, it's always been a confidence thing with Mars. Like okay. when, he's, when all cylinders are oh running, he can beat anybody. Ooh. It's crazy to think that a player as good as Mars still can like level up a lot. You know what I'm oh saying? Oh my god, yeah. Especially in a new game like this, just expand your brain, start thinking of things you it's, never had to before. It's funny, you guys are both players too. Hold on, wait, okay, back. Oh. Yeah, it's a oh god, jeez. Not like that. But anyway, you guys are players, like sometimes it's just like one bit of advice or one friendly or like one long session and you're like, wow, I learned so much. And if you're yep. doing that, imagine like going out and like going to California and playing with like all the top players like all day, every day. You know what you're gonna level up no matter oh god, what the buzz. Me? Yeah, that was amazing. By the way, if you wanna see Mars do that. You can. Vote for this man for Summit. I'm saying. Yeah, you, you guys got to do that, okay? Please. Thank you. <laughs> anyway. That's our pitch, yeah. That's our pitch. Man. Yeah, that's, that's what that's this whole that's tournament that's has been based around, actually. That's why it was hosted. <laughs> Woo! It's just a Did Mars fundraiser. Oh, my God. DeBuzz threw out a forward air, and Mars said, nah. And he just back aired him and took yeah. away the stock. That was eat, sick. eat these heels, baby. Yep. Ooh, got that Zare into a forward air, but nothing much after that. Mars <laughs> so close to evening this up. So the thing about Zero Suit, like obviously she lost a lot of stuff that she was really good with in Smash 4, but she still has really, really good burst movement. Like her dash, her short hop, like everything is so quick that she... Oh! Jeez, oh, man. Could have God. burst the buzz's mind right there if he managed to land like, bubble. that. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. no. Burst his bubble. Anyway. <laughs> I almost did, but I was like, you know... I would have liked it, man. <laughs> I said it for you. Oh, hold on. Where's Mars going? Yeah. Back onto the stage. The buzz. Oh, God. Whipping that forward tilt. Mars, Ooh. oh god, if that nair hit, it might have been it. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, it looks like he's starting to catch on a little bit, so. Forward air too, that forward air has been so good. Oh, oh. where is he going? Oh my god, good job by the buzz not getting hit there. Yeah, Zero Suit Sam is like one of those characters that does have the liberty to do that. <gasps> oh! oh. Look at Mars, a little fist bump pop up, man. The buzz was playing so well in that game. I can't believe Mars came back and took that, but like we said, Zero Suit such a momentum based character. Like, she could be behind by like two stocks and then suddenly, oh, whoa, she tied it up. She just hit two nairs, two flip kicks. A couple <laughs> Wait, of I'm, I'm dead? Yeah, right. Uh, good game. Mars just needed to get his head on straight and. He ran away with the game immediately afterward. I saw about 20 seconds, maybe even less, before the end of the game. Mars finally took the percent lead. Yep. He had 75 damage on him. He put the buzz to like 80-something off a of forward air. And I was like, oh, this might be the turning point of the match. And we're going to see him go back to Olimar. Yes, very sensible here. I like that. Playing a tall character against Zero Suit, especially a tall character without great landing options like Palutena, right. very dangerous game. Olimar, obviously, his landing options aren't great, but at least you've got Whistle plus Air Dodge. Kind of a tricky combo to juggle. And then you've got all that residual damage from far away. This character not the best equipped to deal with that. The, like you said, she does have good burst options. She can break the zone. Yeah. But what do you do after that on a tiny character like Olimar? Yeah. You've got to take so much time to wind up to swing those safe aerials. That's right, man. Yeah. And what was once, like, uh, as we see Town and City here, what was once a breathing ground for early kills for Zero Suit Samus, oh, uh, yeah. probably not going to be the case anymore because it's both this character and Zero Suit. I thought he was just about different. to prove you super wrong. Dude, right? I, I thought that was going to happen I, so Reverse bad. psychology did it on purpose. That's right. Don't yeah, me. even though it's a high ceiling now, he's still just trying to psych him out into thinking he could die at any moment. The bus was kind of in a sticky situation there. He only had a purple Pikmin, which obviously purple Pikmin's very powerful. Mars only at 20%, though. He, he needs some other soldiers to get in line here, get some grab combos, get some aerial something, because I don't know, man. Something that's so powerful about Olimar is like having a diverse lineup, using different tools in different situations. So if you only have a purple Pikmin, Mars knows exactly what to do. But just like we're seeing, the buzz now going to work, making full use of the stage that he's picked. Yo, I definitely just saw Zero Suit kill a uh, yellow Pikmin with the Paralyzer. Did that yeah, happen? that was wild. That just happened. I seemed it. I saw. So it maybe, too. maybe they just resist damage in this game. Maybe. Or anyway, I don't know. No, yeah. Talking well, about whatever. Well, can we get a botanist to explain how this works, please, or something? <laughs> yeah, some kind of nerd. Um, please come we'll through. Take, we'll take any nerd. <laughs> Comic books, oh, whatever you got, bro. The what, buzz, what a though, stock from that, the buzz. Yeah, all the hit lag from Mars kicking the Pikmin just gave, gave the buzz ample time to run in, react to that, close out 56. the stock. 56! Did, did you call it a Kickman? 
anyway. Yes, uh, only because I was stumbling over my words. <laughs> Kicking a Pikmin, you know? Pikmin. Give me a break, Matt. All right, fine. <laughs> And back in the solo cast with Koopa. Needless to say, uh, the buzz coming out the gates, once again, very, very strong in this game four. Maybe that Palutena just kind of refresh his mind a little bit with Olimar. I've seen, you know, players do that where they'll, they'll switch off to another character, just kind of like hit yeah. the reset button. But sure. but hey, you don't want to put yourself on game point either way. No, so. regardless. Yeah, not the best reverse psychology or psychology well, in any aspect that I've seen. I wonder if Mars's bands were different too because he thought he was going to stay uh, the buzz was to stay oh, at Palu, maybe. so he Possibly. got he got Town and City and he's like fine I'll take I'll take Town and City and I'll go I'll go Olimar. Like that's definitely possible. That's the thing like we're going to see that a lot more in Ultimate because so many people main more than one character. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, There's absolutely. Everywhere, man. There's going to be 80 characters at least at the end of this, man. And all of them are going to make top 8 except for Piranha Plant. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Piranha Plant is trash and dumb to play. It's a fun character, though. I like playing as Piranha Play. Hold on. I wasn't going to pay for it, though. I'm going real. Anyway. Anyway. So kind of a, a, a rough hill for Mars to climb right now. Oh, God. Just kidding. Piranha Plant's great. You see that down angle forward, though? I love when he does that stuff. So good. Yeah, the, the, the kicking the mud off your shoes when you walk right. in the house. <laughs> Just polite. OK. Man, Mars fighting from behind at this point. Not sure how much I like his odds, but oh, oh yeah. OK. Oh, oh, no, the eggs. Pikmin. Yo, that yellow Pikmin, poor one out, man. <laughs> it got dunked on super hard. <laughs> that yellow Pikmin was a red herring right there because I certainly thought Olimar was dead. Is that Olimar? They're wearing the same color, like, yeah, his man. yellow suit. <laughs> Get that, like, give that yellow Pikmin a raise. Uh, well, I would. Yeah, he's been putting it in work this yeah. game. Back somehow oh my somehow God. dying Hold on. Just like that. Just like that. And just like that, 73% on Mars. This is very doable, without a doubt. Oh, my God. 11 to start is really good, dude. I'm saying. It's oh, not a lot, but like it's you're, you're starting to make a dent. You're was starting the, to crack that helmet. Was that the first instance of pair of uh, side B of bringing you back inwards? Because I'm pretty sure Mars hasn't been getting that hitbox just uh, that every time he's used it. I think it's up to the Zero Suit player to do it, right? They they hold oh, B that, or something no, like yeah, that. Yeah, wrong. I'm pretty sure it's hold their on, choice. Hold oh, hold up though. Yeah, that's a big whip by Mars. Oh God. That yeah, he was me. Oh. cooking. <laughs> the little noodle comes out, man. Noodle boy. <laughs> Here we go. Hold on, Mars. Trying to find his way in. It's so hard against the Buzz. Oh, good air uh -oh. dash by the Buzz. He's uh -oh. getting an air. Oh, Back excuse air. Excuse me. Mars on the hunt right now. Fair, fair. To no. Oh, the Buzz. Oh! 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 Kick. What an incredible play off stage by Mars. Getting the man. He was behind by so much. The Buzz was surely going to lock that game, and he was playing so well. Mars just countered with the offense. All zero suit Samus. Well played by Mars, keeping his streak going in this last weekend, man. It wasn't a fluke, of course. Beating the Buzz, super hard thing to do. Mars does it right here, 3-1. Look at that, man, that was so good. That blue Dude. Pikmin was spooked, man. <laughs> what presence of mind, man. He got right off the edge into another flip jump, into a flip kick, closing it out. Mars absolutely on fire in the last seven days, or give or take. And that trip to SoCal definitely paid off, man. Oh, Let's call it midnight it. yet? Okay, it'll be like eight days soon, but. The thing. Oh, cool. Be like that, man. Yeah. All right. And so like Timor and, like and Daijobu yeah. both repping hard, man. So as the general manager of Late oh, Fitness. He did it. Uh, he did, he did it. Uh, <laughs> Late, no. Yo, Late. The show oh. was really good. Yeah, take your <laughs> take, take your shirt off. I thought you were just going to say that. Okay, anyway. We got yes. Kool-Aid on the uh, LeBlanc Lucina. I dig it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. Blondes have more fun, man. It's a good choice, man. We're going against Light on the Fox. This is going to be a Oh, my God. You're crazy, Kool-Aid. He really is, man. I mean, you guys don't know Kool-Aid. Oh, that when light does it, it all looks true. Like, I'm not sure if it is or not. It, it like, can't be, but at the same time, like, it's light. It's, it's true every time. Both of these guys have very unorthodox play styles. Light in that, he'll never stop running at you and just Ooh. sticking the pressure on. And, oh, what? That doesn't, that's not real. That's the thing. You're going to say that a lot throughout the set. I match. know, so, man. Between both these players, they're just, yep. dude, they're nuts. I believe I once compared Light's Fox to a pyramid scheme. Go on. <laughs> Tell me more. I would, I, would like, I would like to invest. I would like to invest in this one, though. Is he, you know, it's 2019 out here. Is he Fire Festival? Fire uh, <laughs> no, it's Cutco. Yeah, right. What was the energy drink one? I forget. Verve? In excess or something? Yeah, no, that's the know. band. Yeah, it's, it's something with an excess, though. I don't know, man. All I got to say is, uh, Ja Rule, if you're still looking to invest, somebody, uh, light, <laughs> yes, is, light, light. light is a safe bet, man. Can I get Shot. a ham and cheese sandwich? Oh, my Lord. The up smash connects right there. <laughs> Billy McFarland looking into Light's resume <laughs> as a player. 
All right, stay, you stay away from him, Billy. Yo, on the real, if you guys haven't watched it, it's actually pretty Ooh, good. That's a great documentary. Please yeah. go watch it. Yeah, they're both good. There's two of them. That's true. Yeah. Anyway, enough, enough about this, man. Okay. Enough about, enough about the fire festival. We got a fire set going on right now. Light in the driver's seat trying to take off this first stock. Kool-Aid able to sweet spot the ledge. You know, Light's ledge trapping though is so good. It's been A1 since day one. He, he was so good at it in Smash 4, and he's, I mean, just as good as he was in Smash 4. Plus, he likes to go off stage yeah. with Fox, And Fox's so. F-Smash continues to oh be a my great God. tool okay. on the ledge. Oh, that, again, that's not real. But Light clearly showing you that it's possible. I like Light's dash dancing, too. Like, his movement in place, like, he's so twitchy. Like, and he's able to react, yep. so he can do things like just dash into place, run up and just up smash or up tilt, and just illusion in neutral and just make it work against such a high-caliber player like Kool-Aid. No, I like that, though, because he knew Lucina had to come down with the button, oh so just my sneak God, through dude. her. Yeah, this is Shine looking Spartan. bad. Oh, Did you say Shine said, Spark? No, that's the same as the same thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's no, actually right, a Super right. Metroid speedrun tech. It is, That's yes. What it yeah. is, yeah. No, it's an actual uh, Samus. Yeah, know, Sorry, yeah. I meant Shine Spike. I'm not used to saying that. It's been years, obviously. You're still right? over. It's fine. Oh, what? No, I'm good now. You don't got to air this man out on live television. <laughs> anyway, that was a sick. <laughs> shine Spike. There we go. He's so good at it. Like, we were playing friendlies earlier. He doesn't miss them. I would intentionally be like, my only goal is not to get Shine Spiked. He did two of them. I was like, OK. At least I yeah. get all three, you know? That option feels like a lot better, especially in a game where like air dodges are far more committal. Like, I think you can't a, Yes, that is a really like, good point. That makes it I, a huge that makes such a huge difference. I agree. But yeah, you also don't wanna... weirdly I think it like it's just a thing that Light has. It's like one of his special attributes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, you can't you so can't read crazy. It. Okay, what's going on? I picked the wrong, wrong stage. Wrong stage. Or Light's just like giving him a handicap. Or wrong <laughs> After that first game, it's like, okay, you can have this one. Light is oh, so he's giving him two stocks? Oh. Light is so brave for rolling up his sleeves in this situation. And Cooley is uh, trying to eat his shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Anything fun. to fuel those gains, I man. Love, you need calories. <laughs> I love bulking season, and bulking season loves me. That's right, man. Somebody <laughs> get this man some muscle milk. I don't know. He doesn't need it, man. Yeah, no, he clearly He's chilling. Doesn't. He's chilling. Yeah, you know, only at a Smash tournament could you, like, Abandon the context of sitting next to a dude as ripped as Kool Aid and just no. start rolling your sleeves up to flex no. on him after you dunk him in nobody, a video game. Nobody <laughs> else can do that. It's only light, dude. It's not acceptable still. It's just light is doing it. Just because light's doing it, let me yeah. put this out yeah, there. Just because light does it. Look at these babies. Uh, which way did the stream set up? <laughs> that way. I thought I was watching Winter Semis, didn't know I got bonus tickets <laughs> to the gun show. <laughs> anyway. Whoa, what a turnaround for Kool Aid. Just nice and slow and easy. Ooh, he goes for the emergency up B, trying to get here out comes, of that up Here comes 80 damage. You're Jesus, dude. Like, light, it's just like a vortex. You just can't, you can't escape it. And even if you air dodge out, he's going to follow up, man. He's so good like that. He he has a very, very good understanding of this game and like when, when follow-ups work, when they don't, and when to go for what. He's so good at Ooh. it, dude. Ooh. Oh. oh, my God. That's real. Like, that's actually yeah. – that happens. The Sakurai combo lives on strong in 2019, ladies and gentlemen. Counter. Oh, sneaky. You see him go for the shine spike again? Bro, the what's a mangle? Oh. Check out light. Oh, and he skipped the ledge yeah, to probably avoid the forward smash. But you could see the history between these players comes in, right? Absolutely. Where Absolutely. Blade didn't just sit there and try to forward smash the second ledge grab because he knew light was going to skip past it. Yep. But unfortunately, it's always the been doing. He's always been doing that, man. Smash forward. Oh, what is he? He's forward smashing? He's at it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. He showed him. He's like, you know what? I'm going to forward smash you. And Light was like, no, you won't. And he did it. That's the like, pre-workout oh. starting to kick in. It's That's like, right. I got it. That's Two right, of man. the most unconventional players I've ever seen. For, for sure. sure. For sure. Light, Easily. again, it's just because he won't let up. But Kool-Aid, he just picks weird options. He's got this very raw play style. Yeah. Raw is a great way to describe it, actually. I totally agree. Yeah. yeah. Like the yeah. eggs that he eats every morning. That's right. <laughs> like, yeah. While he chases chicken through the streets of Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> A great uh, empty hot grab right oh, there. Oh, my God. Yeah, I swear, like, I think Larry's Fox is obviously amazing, but I think Light has the best up airs in the business when it comes to Fox, man. I, I can't think of anyone who does it better than him. He, like, hasn't missed one yet in this set. Yeah, it's a good move. <laughs> True. All right, man. Pressure coming out from Kool-Aid. See what we can find. Light, too. Like, if we had a statistic of the parries and the percentage or KOs that got out of them, Light would be way uh, in the green here. He's going for it again. Oh, that was so smart from Light, man. This is looking pretty one-sided. Again, the two sets of theirs that I got to commentate in Smash 4 were game five, last hit nail biters, right? But Light just looking to cut above here in ultimate. Maybe he's just had more time at the game. He has, of course, traveled significantly more than Laid, yeah. who has been very much uh, taking a back seat that to, was crazy, to going to Nationals. Dude. Yeah, that was actually yeah, that was that was actually super nice. 
Kool Aid's like the, the textbook example of like small sample size and making a count. Like he doesn't yeah. get the, he doesn't get to yeah. travel very much, but when he does get that opportunity in the limelight, like not only just in singles but in doubles. Doubles, like, especially. I, I think yeah, back like a... when him and Nairo won. Like, he won a national. Yeah. yeah, they won a national together when Kool Aid was still you know unranked. He played his doc. He plays Dr. Mario for real. Yo, shout out, bro. Bring back Chef Pac, man. No, no, no. Chef stop, Pac. stop, 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 stop. Both of you. That's it. That's I don't like Chef Doc. That yeah, that's, <laughs> that's my jam right there. That's good. I'm with Dr. You. Chef. That's like weird. Dr. That's like a Chef weird combination Mario, of two professions that, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. If you mix them up, you're in a lot of trouble, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds like a bad Florida man story. <laughs> and now I just add salt to the syringe <laughs> and a little oh, bit of uh, broccoli. And uh, call me in two weeks. All right. A lot of the. He air dodged already? That's not a good idea. God. Man, and that's, that could be really bad. Light, like, too, the thing is, he just covers so many options, dude. Like, when you're off stage against him, it just feels like it's almost impossible to make it back. Not only that, but on the flip side of the coin, Light is so good at recovering with a character where the best way to beat him is to destroy him when he's trying to recover. As we saw earlier, Max was pointing it out, like, the mix-ups that Light has on his... Oh, man. The no mix-up mix-up, that you're at a red percent, and I'm just going to run up and up smashing. Anyway, what was I saying he, that was he, so smart? He <laughs> makes it He makes it look so easy. Do you know how hard it is to hit a running up smash on Kool-Aid just like that? It's so hard, dude. Like, it's it's crazy. Light is absolutely nuts, <laughs> oh, but just Lord. like that, Kool-Aid tying it up. 0-0, zero, zero, even stocks here. Uh, game three, Kool-Aid trying to stay alive. Light trying to face, I mean, his rival all time, man. Yeah. Light versus Mars, a classic. But Kool-Aid, I mean, he beat both of them at the last regional we had in New England. He beat Light, and then he defeated Mars as well, so. Yeah, yeah these guys are definitely all rivals. I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. It's so, like it, the, the newer generations of Pokemon, where they give you, like, eight of them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> You got oh, Hal and Lily and Gladian and all that. Oh, like. <laughs> look at the option coverage too. Like, why? Oh, oh, okay, man. good call. No jump. That was a see, like right there. Everyone expecting illusion. You, you illusion first, then you fire fox. Light goes. Nah, I'm just gonna fire fox. Like, oh god. Oh, and a little bit of charge for good measure. Light, one of the few players left on Smash Stick. By the way, it's gonna give him those knee jerk reactions with up smash. Close the kills out when you know. Sure, he's foregoing the ability to do like cool turnaround up tilts out of yeah. dash and stuff. <laughs> but he's like, you know what? I don't need that. Yeah, no. I have good enough execution, good enough of a game plan that those little intricacies aren't what I'm looking for. I'm looking to just get things done in my own way and then take stocks. Because that's what Smash is. Yep. It's a game of stocks yeah. no matter how you sure. slice it. Absolutely. Getting the point A to point B as consistently and early as you can. Back air, okay. Ooh, off the wall. That had to be untackable because I haven't seen Light miss a tech in like he, three years. He literally never has in his whole Smash career. <laughs> that <laughs> was untackable from, from the looks of it. But of course, there's some hit lag, some bounce time there. It's a little bit tricky to tech sometimes in Ultimate. I like that run up up tilt from Kool-Aid. It does not find his mark though. Here comes Light. Oh god. Yep, he's done. That's it. The second the wow. second you have to tech against Light, you might as well just put the controller down. It's over, man. It's GG's. And there Turn we go. Up smash on a dime right there from Light. He's so good with that, man. And the new movement options that Ultimate has presented him. Hold on, let's take a look. Let's let's admire this for a second. Second Kool-Aid didn't hit this tech immediately, it's over. Light's gonna react to whatever you yep. do, man. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So Especially like, uh, at the range that he was standing at. Exactly, so. yeah. And, and Ultimate has just provided such a good, like you said, Smash Stick still, so potentially still using that. As he's dashing, you can just smash out of it, man. And the first 3-0 yep. of the night so far, guys. Yeah, that was that was nice, man. I mean, that was dominant from Light. And I'm kind of surprised. I mean, Kool has been playing well today, that's for sure. Making it all the way to winner's side, uh, top eight. But Light just playing a little better. And that's like the thing, you called Light, Blade and Mars, all kind of rivals. Like, they kind of just bounce back and forth. It's kind of just yep, whoever's playing absolutely. better that day, take the set or not. So, well played by Light. Very excited to see him go up against Mars uh, very soon, actually, yep. as we uh, wind our way through this top eight still. Yep. Kind of coming down to, what, top five? Uh, yeah. Top. Yeah, he's just like, mm. So it's going to be it's gonna be Palu against against Rob. Interesting. Uh, yeah, you're not going to. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And Smashville's the starter stage? Interesting. I didn't think we'd get on like a, a smaller stage to start with these two players. What a world we live in, in which Smashville is a surprise pick for game one. <laughs> 2019's wild. Like you take the oh hazards my God. off oh my of God. it and somehow people like it less. I don't know, man. I don't know what is up with that, but either case. Nair, okay, here comes the buzz, stringing them together, looking for the forward air two. Cannot find it, though. I'm curious, like, the inner dynamics of this matchup, because I feel like Palutena on paper will do really well against Rob just because she has like, ooh, you know, great buttons to challenge him in the air. You know what I never noticed is that Rob has a little halo of smoke that pops out below him when he upbees, like when he activates, watch. Yeah, he's like blowing like uh, hookah rings Smoke rings, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, what a show up, bro. <laughs> we get to buzz too intelligently. I don't know if you learned this from Gen Set or if you just know, don't just mash air dodge uh, out of that, you know what I'm saying? You don't mash oh. air dodge out of a... Uh, oh. oh, hold on. Oh, I, I see, yeah. We get it, bro, you babe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, that's cool. 2019, man. 
Ooh. And he does it there too, actually. You can see it on the back end. But either way, both these guys, first half, like you said, Max, so pitiful, pivotal, especially in game one, man. You don't want to go behind immediately. Yeah, you know what was so interesting about those meta scouter stats is that in almost every single game, right, if you took the first stock of that match, generally you would win. Uh -oh. So it almost makes Smash feel like a, a one stock game, right? Like, obviously. Yeah. Throughout no. the course of this best of five, we can see 15 stocks from each player. But really what happens in the earlier parts of everything sets the tone for the rest of the match. And you could see that tone carry through the entire set. DeBuzz still cooking right now. Look how, look how fast DeBuzz mashes out of that down throw, by the way, from Rappi. He's not, he's not letting him have anything for free. Yeah, I've, oh, spin to win, Spin to win, though. It's going to come through strong. Only 46% on Rob, but, I mean, here comes Palu. Six, just like that, 65, man. She, she can rack the damage to him. Yeah, it's like we said, this is where it gets really bad for Rob, especially against a character like Palafana. Uh, He's able to press her advantage so well. And all that disjoint on up air, too. Rob loves to escape disadvantage with neutral air on the uh -huh. way down, but that up air just has so much range. You can either stuff it out early on and use her very high jumps to get up there right. uh, and beat him out early, or you can just wait, counter on the way down, auto reticle, explosive flame, just put stuff in the way that that big old hitbox of neutral air is not going to get around. Good idea with the counter there, too, actually, the buzz. I mean,. There you go. Yeah, I think I think that's gonna be a pretty big tool throughout this whole set. Up air, like you Ooh. said, yeah, dude, it's so powerful too. Not only is it yep. good against good against neutral air, but it comes up on the way up, and it's really powerful, which is really really good against Rob. You gotta beat this neutral air if you want to beat Rob. Let's back. <laughs> I love that like a B to immediate up air has been a thing for years, and people still be getting hit by. <laughs> right. <laughs> It's so this true. It's like literally the oldest trick in the book. They're like, right. nah, he's not going to do it this time. Not this time, not this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, needless to say, the buzz continuing to add on to this lead right now. Rafi having a hard time uh, getting himself back in the thick of things. God. He's just duffing him with the shield, dude. The buzz playing super well right now. The offense. That's Rafi, though, good defensive. I like that. The forward. Oh, God. <laughs> Look how lo the, it lasts for so long is the thing about, about that reflector, man. It stays out. Okay, grab. Here we go. Buzz looking for the back air, can't find it. Trying to find another grab. Here we go. Raffi, though, on the hunt for the second stock at the ledge. See if you can find Nair. Okay. Ooh. Up there? Yeah, almost, almost. Still not enough. Raffi, though, down yeah, to his is. last breath here. No DI cross up either. Okay. Oh, there, oh. there we go. No <laughs> DI in the world is going to save you from that. Spin to win, baby. Take that one. To the bank. 133, though, on the Rob. That's going to be really tough against Palu. But you know what? He's on a good stage to make a comeback. Oh, Ooh. God. I'm very surprised that they're not uh, nick him up the last couple hits there. Right. Yeah, it definitely looked like it was going to. There you go. Okay. Mm, there you go. Okay. Well, valiant effort from Rafi, at least managing to get the buzz down to the last stock. But yep. yeah, it seems good. so rough being a zoner against Paulo. She's got a reflector that doubles as a counter, or really the opposite. That's true. She's wait, got wait two. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I did the math. Okay. <laughs> She's got two great projectiles. Yes. One of which just does not interact with anything in this path. So she, you know, she can skip past the gyro. Pretend you're Mewtwo, right? Right. And you've got a gyro <laughs> on the floor, and you want to throw that shadow ball in. Now, Rob, you yeah. can't. Right, it's gonna right. hit the gyro and stop in its tracks. Both of her but, projectiles, right? Go. Yeah. Go, don't care about gyro. Yeah. You're right. 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 That's, that's a really good point. I feel like maybe it could body block auto reticle, but still, she's auto aiming over it. Yeah. Exactly. Right? And right. explosive flame just appears. Especially because Rob's tall too. She's not gonna be aiming down a lot. So. Yep. But the other thing, too, is, like, not only does she have those things from the long range, but her close range game is way better than Rob's, too. Like, she combos him really hard. She can kill early. Like, she doesn't have a problem killing. Like, Rob does pretty decently against characters that have a hard time killing, for yep. sure. Just racking up the damage. You know, we saw it more in Smash 4 with the rage, the up airs, you know, the beep boops, the classic. But, I mean, it still works. And the spin cycle with the rage is so powerful. And now that, look at the buzz has the wall now. I mean, reflecting. There you go. Dude, reflecting, reflecting the gyro and then just shooting auto reticle. Oh, my God. It looks like torture for Especially because, like, multiple times, like, uh, Rob will usually follow, or Rafi has been following Gyro with the laser, or vice versa, and Reflector stays out for so long that it, it doesn't even matter. Well, if he shoots auto, true, you get the two for one. Yeah, if he shoots the auto reticle, by the way, uh, oh god, he like you said, you get three bursts of it, so it, it cancels out the Gyro, and then the two hit him. It's yeah, crazy good. The buzz like a true Kid Icarus Uprising player, uh, auto reticle will carry him into the promised land. Dude, you know what? I never put two and two together. That's totally why he plays him all the time. <laughs> yeah. Best player in the world at that game, or at least wait, a wait, national wait. champion. So when Kratos is announced as DLC, yeah, he's yeah, definitely yeah. going to play as Kratos, right? Because he was yep. the best uh, PlayStation All-Stars. Oh, God. Exactly. We actually had a long discussion about this last night. It was fantastic. I think he only played Evil Cole, though. And Ooh, a Fat Princess. Oh, and Fat Princess. Cole. Yeah. Okay. Uh, from oh, Fat Cole Princess? from, uh, what is it, Un... On something? No, uh, not 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 that. Whatever it was, whatever game Cole. 
Infamous, yeah, yeah. There I, we go. Oh, okay. Is that I, okay? I don't know anything about that. Put game Sackboy in Smash, cowards. Only time uh, I ever had a Sony system was a PS2 that was basically a Final Fantasy emulator. <laughs> so, uh, and sometimes a DVD player. Yes, dude. Actually, though. <laughs> Nair off the stage is gonna take it for the buzz. <laughs> Nair spins like a DVD. There we go. Bring it right back around town. <laughs> you know the what? PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale World Champion to buzz spinning <laughs> the DVD on you. <laughs> Wow. And Rafi gets that himself. Is, that is such like a 2007 uh, statement. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. Dude, you know, Blu-ray never like caught on, right? People are still using DVDs. <laughs> no, HD DVDs. Yeah, yeah. Those are like 50 gigs, man. That's pretty respectful. <laughs> right. A respectful amount of gigs. I wonder if Rob could read a, an HD DVD. <laughs> oh, maybe. Certainly, He's with like, the way that Nair's working on him, I don't think you so. You know who couldn't read it? Pitt. Ooh. Ooh. He, he, never, never, went out. He, never well learned how to, he never learned how to read it. Anyway. But he knows how to shoot an arrow, which is weird. Uh, if I could choose one skill over the other, no, nah, I choose reading actually. That's, archery is so cool. Yeah. All right, yeah, anyway. well, hold on. But if you can learn how to read, you'll learn how to read an archery book, dude. <laughs> yeah, but does that mean you're gonna be good at it? <laughs> no, no, no. But you can teach. Like I know how to play Smash. I'm awful. Whoa. At it. Anyway, that was um, an odd exchange right there. Jero like elongated ooh, the hitbox of Jero. Ooh, oh wow, dude! If he hit that, that would have been so sick. But instead, to Buzz gonna take the easy route on the punish back air core stock, very perfect. Uh, hold up! Wow, that almost did it. Palutena light, but not light oh enough. Oh my god! Rappy did it double again? dipping. It's so good Can against I get a teleport trip recoveries. The thing about like so, the, the side B from Rob is like powerful, but you get to carry them so close to the blast zone. If you hit it like right at right. the ledge, like Rappy was, that's what makes it so deadly. Oh yeah, okay, Rappy. I think he's gonna know that that one's coming. He's the buzz, dude. Like, oh, just oh, making so the gyro stay active. What does he have for this? No, neutral air not gonna do it. I like the idea for the neutral air. He recognized he couldn't get there in time for a down air, so he just tried to ping the buzz off the wall and surprise him. I don't know if he was anticipating like a higher recovery with serious? the warp. Is this serious? Is this well, Wi-Fi? He's wide open from underneath, so DeBuzz smart to dip low and then jump with the rising Ooh, neutral air. I like that. That was a great mix-up, actually, from Rafi. I mean, he showed the side B so many times, going for the gyro KO, and he gets it. Here we go. He's got to recover, though. Oh, God. Oh. Dunks. Yep, that's a, that's a big dunkarooski. By the way, as we just found out, as I found out a couple days ago, when Palazana does down air, she uses her foot, not the staff. It looks like it's her. No. I, you know, yeah. I read that. No, I read that, too. Hold Look, on, let's on, watch the replay okay, right yeah. now. Slow-mo, slow-mo. And maybe zoom if that's an option. But. I don't care. We don't need it. It's going to zoom in for us, bro. That was the staff, bro. I don't believe it. No, no I, I heard, it, no, I heard listen, it's man. the foot. I heard it's the foot, man. I'm going to frame by frame. Dude, that my, later. Dad, that's my dad crazy. works on Kid Icarus Uprising, like still to this he day. He knows the bug personally. <laughs> <laughs> He's working on the, Yo, the wait, long awaited DLC. On, he still works on Kid, Kid Icarus Uprising? Yeah. Sorry, I wonder if those servers are still up, man. I love that game so much. You know, I heard it might know. The bugs. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so we're going right back to the, to the place of holiness and the, the Kalos Pokemon League here. Yeah, I still don't believe that, just for the record. <laughs> the foot thing? Uh, yeah, right. absolutely not. Fair enough. You guys can tweet I'm sure it's right, but I don't believe it. <laughs> you guys can, so let's see. Things that you don't believe me on. Uh, magic pancakes for <laughs> yep. Alolan Raichu. We, no, it's, not that, it's not that we didn't believe you. We just have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> There's a big difference, dude. They're like, where do the pancakes even factor into this? Oh, using that staff, oh. trying to take a spike there. <laughs> I'm a Palutena down air truther, all right? <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. All right. Man. Anyway, great neutral air there off the stage, and move another move in which she unquestionably uses her staff oh to God. attack. The tech from the buzz though, Kalos Pokemon League exclusive right there, or at least walled stage exclusive. Right. I think that's why the buzz felt so comfortable going for that, even though he's like, if I miss this, it's a free down air for Raffy, but I get the iron to the wall and survive anyway. It's just smart. Wow. Oh wow. That, that almost killed him. Jeez. Off the easy. These guys are playing horse with the techs here. This is this is actually really entertaining. They're both spending so much time off stage. There's a nair. Yep. There we go. Does it all, man. I never, utility, utility. <laughs> I never understand utility. I never understand why Rob's eyes turn into like deep sea like radar when he dies. <laughs> Will it blend? <laughs> the answer is yes. Yeah, clearly it took the stock there at 160. Ooh. Not enough. Okay. Surprising. I think if it flipped him, it would or did it flip him? I don't think it did. Anyway. Nobody knows. Nope. nope. Nobody knows <laughs> Nobody cares. how Polizana does her down there either. <laughs> Can I get a game theory video on this? <laughs> Oh, where is your shield? Oh. It's not there to protect you. To buzz. Gonna drop the stock. Dead even right now. 
I Rafi, would, of course, trailing by two games. I wonder if that just straight up shield poke. Obviously, like that's probably the number one thing. But I wonder if he dropped shield to try to parry it because right, he knew right. it might have shield poke. So yeah, I don't yeah. know, or get out of the way or spot dodge or something. But either way, oh god, that's kind of the weird like game within a game. Like, do I drop shield to get the, right. the parry punish, or do I just yeah. go for you know? Because shields inherently are like a, you know, worse in this game. Yeah. yeah, not as reliable in a lot of ways. I like the buzz playing with the gyro here. Using it as a little line in the sand between the two players at the edge, but Rafi gonna steal it right back. Oh, drops it and it disappears right after. We could have seen that maybe become more of a factor. The Buzz's item control is pretty good. You know what? Something the Buzz does that's so good that I think a lot of players players can learn from is that he'll go in and if he doesn't like what he sees, he just dips out. Like he'll he'll jump at you, jump again, and if on the second jump he doesn't like what he sees, he'll just move back. Right. Like it's so, it's so smart. Sometimes like just because you think it's a good option to move in. Oh, oh, God. oh that was sick. That was so nasty. DMG, are you watching? <laughs> <laughs> DMG to Buzz. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, no, it's happening. Uh, yeah, my sources have just confirmed that DeBuzz is now being what picked was that? up by What was that uh, Twitter account that was like uh, Smash Insider or whatever? Was oh, yeah. Up? That's, <laughs> a, that's the next one, dude. DMT DeBuzz. <laughs> Hold up. If Adam Shocking the masses. That would be the funniest combo video, dude. That one combo <laughs> and then just like a bunch of Olimar up smashes. Yeah, like six it. Pikmin into Runaway and find yeah. enough to smash them out. Oh, that is supposed right. flame was sick though. That was a snipe and a half, dude. Don't be, you know, don't be snoozing on the buzz. You yeah, that move is like a four hit combo, five hit combo. Yeah, okay, yeah, so. Here we go. Oh, DMG. Oh, here we go. <laughs> God. <laughs> Nair Nair up there on Rob. Not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should be plugging, you should be playing, plugging the EMG plays of the week, man. Come yo, on. call burgers. <laughs> yo, burger, yo, burgers rules, I gotta say. Oh. Even if oh, you're, yeah, see, who said that? Which one of you guys was it? That, that the reflector me. stays out for... Yeah, you're yeah. a smart man. No, that was me. All right. <laughs> that was, a clip. That was that definitely was, me. That it stays out for long? That was me 100%. I, Look, I man, don't want to get happened. in the middle oh, of this uh, couple's you dispute. you hate to see that sort of thing happen. Yeah, it was definitely me who said it. Anyway, <laughs> you're sleeping on the couch. 3-0. 3-0. <laughs> what did I walk into, I almost guys? Said, I almost just said 3-0 for Rafi. That was definitely wrong. 3-0 for DeBuzz. Well played. Uh, I like the choice. Uh, Palutena, no reason to switch off like we yeah. said. It seemed like the counterplay was pretty obvious. Like, count, counter slash reflect is really, really good. Stays off for a long time, as I said originally. And also, she's got the combo game off stage. Like, it's just really, really strong play from DeBuzz. Right, Devin, can you get me out of here? Please, please. Go to commercial. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Okay, so anyway, guys, uh, that is going to be just shows nothing. up and ruins all the fun. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. We got another Okay, New late York versus Jen. This is lit. NE versus this NY. Is, this is going to be good. We Again, Palutena from New York trying to take down one of New England's finest. Let's get into it. To the theme, I believe, of Lorekeeper Zinnia. Yeah. From uh, Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. To the theme of the Yankees versus the Red Sox, by the way. Ooh. Ooh. Smart. <laughs> what sport? Classic oh. rivalry here. What? Did you just say what sport? Oh, uh, that's obviously basketball. Yeah. I don't know why yeah. you would even ask such a question. That is arena football. Oh, thank you very much. That was for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here man. you go, folks. Yeah, let's let's do it, man. This is gonna be, you know, this is gonna be a battle in there's big time too. Both these characters use there a ton. Oh, there it goes. Thanks, thanks, Jam, man. I really appreciate that. Using it right as I needed it, but see what Kuli can find on his way down here. Nair again. Nair into forward smash. Not enough though. Perfect DI from Jen. Able to live that one. Man, that just works so reliably in this game. Oh, Ooh. and uh, as soon as it doesn't, yeah, then it doesn't. But either way, great start by both of these players. The percents in the deep red. And there are so many ways that each of these characters can peel a stock off of you, right? Lucina with pretty much every swing she's got, but nothing off a throw. Palutena, she's got that pseudo nest back throw, you know? Right. I'd give her like a, a tune link out of 10 yeah. with her back throw. <laughs> her, her throw, too, it looks so gentle. Like she just kind of tosses you, you know what I mean? She's you know, not like trying to hurt you. She's just like, go over here, please. And like, just throws you. Oh, God. Oh, it's like she's cleaning, you know, like, ah, yeah, I'm just going to exactly, toss yeah. this pillow she's back like, onto she's the bed. She's cleaning up the stocks yeah. is what she's doing. It's like a yep. dancing montage in a Disney movie or something. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Definitely got princess vibes from that animation. <laughs> what an up tilt from Kool-Aid. You see how it covered behind him? That was so good, dude. That yeah. hitbox stays being yeah, very, very good. It's, it yes. Nasty, nasty. I love running up to people and then okay, turn around up tilting in their face to get more combos off it too because it's a late hit. Mm, hey, you guys are geniuses using that huge hitbox to hit people. Don't you play the Lucina. Belmonts? No, no, no. I play as Ken Masters. Hard <laughs> character to play as. Oh, wow. Uh, inputs are so hard for my tiny Smash player brain. <laughs> I know. I can't Tell do a Z. It. I can't paint a little Z on my stick. I know. Or or not not a full circle, but only a quarter of a circle. How am I supposed no, to No, he's that? got half circles, bro. They didn't teach me that in our hey, class. Hey, man, I'm just a commentator. So The thing, too, I love it. He has autocorrect, too, on, on the way he faces, yeah, which is bot, hilarious. Which aim is aimbot, autocorrect, whatever you want. But in either case, 
to go forward air from Kool Aid. I love when Lucina's do that. The turnaround. Oh, oh my God! Let's go! Woo! What a dunk ski, man. Good thing we started paying attention to uh, the match. That's good. <laughs> we go up tilt again. And who do you root for between your carpool and your main? I, know, who, well, uh, I guess Lucina's <laughs> not going to complain the whole ride home if she loses this match. So let's go, Jen. She, she might, dude. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> she, she, <laughs> Lucina definitely looks like the type to like fall asleep in the passenger seat, though. I don't know. Why did he angle that down, do you think? You know what I'm saying? Like, why? He's going to get free. No I, like, idea. forget that you can do that sometimes. That's yeah, you got to go for those headshots, man. <laughs> That's dope. Oh, I don't like that air dodge at all. I'm surprised that Jen let him get away with that one. But either way, here comes Kool-Aid. Trying to get the offense going again. Oh, God. Yeah, that I like that been dangerous. From, yeah, Kool-Aid's smart enough to go for the coverage on the um, warp cancel off the edge. I don't think Jen even landed it, but still, it would have covered it. Even if it went through. Excuse me. Jesus. Nobody heard. Yeah. yeah, nobody heard that. Except, you know, like, the whole internet. <laughs> but it's all good. Ooh, looking for the up smash on the platform. Can't find it. Here's Jen's opportunity to take a side from Kool-Aid. Let's him get back to the ledge. Tries to catch him with an up air. That was so smart, but instead, going to clear up the stock right there. Jen using the old trusty shield, man. I feel like that's been most of his offense, honestly. Back air, dash attack, like, all that stuff, man. You have Kool-Aid, pair of grabs. See what we find now. Ooh, Ooh, there we go. All right, Jen, what do you have for this last stock? You know what Lucina's looking for. Pretty much Ooh. anything in her entire moveset. Yeah. It'll kill you. Whoa, chill with the staff there. Don't go swinging your staff like that so he, recklessly. Kool-Aid does it a lot, dude. He'll, he'll intentionally, like, fade back away and try to ping you into the stage. So even if you hit the tag, dude, you're in a bad situation against yep. Lucina. So, I mean, obviously you want to hit the tag because you don't, you die. But and I do respect that from Jen because that was kind of like running, like, spiraling away from it at the end. You know, something you just got to kind of go for broke and, you know, see what happens. But Final Gambit. That yeah. was the right choice. Exactly. Yeah, no, that was definitely the right choice, 100%. Tyler it was a great idea. If he hit that, we're talking about, wow, Jen, what a clutch player. Game two coming up. How's Kool-Aid going to respond? Just kidding. Actually, Kool-Aid's up game one, so he didn't hit that He didn't hit that staff foot or whatever it is. Somebody got hit with something. Yeah, that's needless to say. Yeah, that is, dude, that is amazing commentary. <laughs> I think this probably applies to almost everybody in Ultimate, but I know Jen's not very fond of this matchup. Yeah. Oh, he's really? He's seen a kind of a, a pain point for him. Yeah, I mean, he, he knows what he's doing. Of course, got, you know, an entire game worth of experience to play the matchup, yeah. but not with Paul Lutena, right? Right. Not that this character has particularly anything very surprising. She's just very solid overall. Yeah. Really dangerous when she hits you, man. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, Lucina just has that range. She's got the sword, man. I mean, that's like the most obvious thing. Uh-oh, hold on. No jump, though. He went for the early dolphin slide. Oh, that's death. That's yeah, he's it, dead. Man. That's it. That's it. All right, well, Kool Aid letting Jen, that yeah. one slip away from him. We're going to see Jen take the lead here. Bit of a different story than the first match. Yeah, so now Kool Aid having to play from behind. Let's see how he responds. Go for a lot of shield breakers, man. I don't that, blame him. He's not really finding him, yeah. I mean, Palutena clearly has a shield. That's it's not a bad that's choice. Super, super Whoa. effective. I've always been an advocate of that move needing to get beaten by Shield Breaker, especially in Ultimate where it actually matters. Then that actually Paul makes Tana a lot of sense. It. That's, dude, yeah. someone, you should be a game designer. Have uh, you ever thought about it? I've... <laughs> okay, <laughs> boy. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, uh, Max has left the building. We'll be seeing him anyway. <laughs> Uh, okay, Perry's the last hit of the explosive flame. I really don't know <laughs> he where he went. Got <laughs> He's gone, bro. All right, there Ooh, we go. Back the back air. air connects. Yeah, scooping away that stock real quick. 97% <laughs> on Kool-Aid. <laughs> <laughs> he hit him right where it hurts, man. Back throw will set up for the edge That's guard. A joke. <laughs> what about it? Anyway, Jen, down tilt into forward air. I mean, he did so well edge guarding with that down tilt against DM. We saw him earlier in the top eight. And again, look at that edge guard, man. Jen, complete monster off stage against Kool-Aid. What's up, Max? <sighs> anyway. <laughs> All right, so here we are. Yeah, so Jen having a, uh, a large lead right now over Kool-Aid. Glad to join you, gentlemen. Wow, Jen doing pretty well in this match, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kool-Aid just trying to swing those dancing blades, maybe hoping for Jen to let his guard down. No such luck. Puts him back in the chopper. Yep, that neutral air, man. Put him in the chopper? Yeah. Like, term, like a no. term, Terminator? <laughs> like the slap chop? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's Vince. <laughs> All right, <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, no jump. What do you have for this? No, he's trying to use the staff to send him to the depths yet again. Ooh, what a recovery from Jen. That was really nice. Don't even, don't even mess with that forward smash if you can. Why gamble it? Why even go close to that? That's Kool-Aid's uh, comeback uh, tool right there. Dancing Blade, not quite enough yet. 
And the reason Kool-Aid's running off and doing that preemptive back air is so he's facing backwards. Right. Know, he, he could just rar, but I guess he just wants to yeah. look cooler while doing yeah, it. Yeah, right. Well, you threaten it too, and I feel like you get like, I don't know, man. It looks cool, you're right. Yeah, I mean, it definitely does. I see Nairo do that all the time with Lucina too. Uh-oh, down throw, what do you have for this? No. Can I directional air dodge in? But Jen, he's all over that. He's seen people use that escape attempt from his setups multiple times. Right. Yeah, the option coverage is just so good with Palutena in situations like that. Back air, though, from Kool-Aid. Not quite enough yet. Looking for another one, too. Trying to pick him into the stage. D Dancing play, getting punished by the jab. Jen really running away with this game, too. Uh, wow. Almost, almost, almost. Yeah, one more of those that's going to fail. He did it. He really did it. That Interception. Nice. Yeah, that's right, man. Great that shot nice. there from Jen. That was really good. That was brave. Yeah. I liked it. Even if you, know you know what? Even, even if he lost that sock, though, like going for that, I, I like the confidence. Yeah, I mean, what really would have happened, right? If he got hit by the shield breaker, just tech it. Either, yeah. Either exactly. tech it or, or if you're like going too fast and you can't, you have a full fresh stock. Like you're, you're feeling fine. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we're seeing Jen make a lot of use of that. It's also how he took the set off the DM. You know, just slipped underneath the neutral B and then popped up and hit him with an aerial of his own. Yep. Very different good, neutral Bs. And good callback, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, slightly, slightly different. <laughs> Thunder Jolt and Shield Breaker, yeah. But yeah, you could see the thought process, though, right? Like you drop low and then. Pop up while off stage. Yep. Very threatening. Cover a lot of different angles. Yep. Neutral air proven to be very good in the early percents and a great game clincher in the late percents. Right. Yeah, it's such a good move overall, man. Also does your taxes for you. Fights yep. the bullies. Yeah, the, the it's bullies. Pretty much right up there with Ike's up air in terms of <laughs> household utility. <laughs> Here's the thing I'll point out. It's clearly past midnight. KK Slider's going. That's true. Yeah. Nice, nice right? <laughs> the last set was at 12. It's like we're done here. Well, props to. Uh, Balance patch for having their switch clocks actually set properly. <laughs> I think my switch there's is one, in like 2013 when it didn't even come out. Yeah, there's, if there's one thing we can take away from uh, this tournament today. The clock is set properly uh, on the stream setup. Anyway, Kool Aid trying to get up a ledge against Jen, proving to be very difficult for all players today. <laughs> no, not a doubt. Play, yeah. <laughs> 100% of games played today. Oh, uh, wait. Yeah, no, nah, you know what? It's 12 18. It's probably the second set of the day. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Welcome yeah, to the good, beginning good of uh, our Sunday broadcast here. <laughs> Down throw. Yes, smart by Jen. Just going to respect. Oh, I love that. I'm stealing that. that was so I good. hate explosive flame, Counter dude. It. Yeah, man. It's a really good So move. good. The invincibility persists even if you're not actually countering yeah, I've actually, and hitting them. You know? I've, I've like never seen someone like get through explosive flame using counter before. That was very interesting. Yeah. I like, wonder if Laid knew that, or if he just kind of banked on it working. Into it. <laughs> Bet it all on black. It's like, yeah, this will probably work. That's right. That's right. Here we go. Jen trying to recover. Upbeat. Tries to ping him into the stage. Can't find it, though. The reach on the forward air. There. OK. Good pressure from Jen. I love the back air, too. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. He's going to tech that. And Kool-Aid trying to double dip right there, but no. Back air sending him off yet again. I like the attempt from Jen because sometimes when you trade with Dolphin Slash, it just drops, it just drops right, her, yeah. yeah. It sucks. I mean, she doesn't need anything different, you know? Like, yeah. That's, that's fine. We'll take those. Ooh, wow. God. How about that? Definitely yeah. take that. The immediate reversal uh, after Jen loses that first stock. So now Kool Aid, once again, having a pretty meaty deficit to make up here. I like the landing up air into the rising up air. I think that actually is a true combo. Man, just showing how landing lag has been cut across the board in this game. Get a lot of really cool combo starters like that now. And pressure tools, too. Of course, so many more things are safe Ooh. on block and a little safer to whiff, too. I don't know about that. I think that looked like a mis-input uh, full hop. I'm trying to look for maybe a short hop on the punish, but... Gonna sneak in there with that roll, but Jen in such a commanding position right now. Two stocks and 50, now only 65%. I don't think he's worried about much. You know, Kool Aid's got to figure out a solution. That counter on the explosive flame was cool, but I mean, it's not oh, going to win you the game. Oh, man. And like, yeah, I didn't think he had a jump, actually, so. Yep. Taking the most important match of the set when they're tied at 1 1. Now, you know, it was basically a best of three at that point, and we're going to see advantage go to Jen. Yeah, the rubber game, very important. Of uh, you know, when you're not up like that. That's right. That's right, Koopa. I hope so. I'm going to get a lot of stuff wrong, apparently. My tracker is looking horrible. 
I'm gonna have to change my name or something. Well, we've all been banned from commentary multiple times throughout this broadcast. So, if anyone is still listening, first of all, thank you. Second of all, I'm sorry. And third of all, enjoy. I hope you've been keeping score. score. I, like how, I, like how you, I like how you apologize second. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's you can't be that absolutely sorry. the secondary concern. All now right, so we're going for the fresh change of clothes, uh, a book out of, or a strategy oh, out yeah, of the book of our home. Uh, this is like. This is like uh, she put on like the fake nose and mustache and the, the glasses, you know what I'm saying? Like she's not blonde anymore, like a whole different character. I'm really like, glad. Yeah, but nobody's tricked, you know what I'm saying? I thought late fits was for fitness, not outfits, but uh, oh, here yeah, I am, proven oh, wrong oh, yet again. Oh, you practice that in the mirror? That was good. Yeah, dude, I, I've been sitting on that one all day. Really? Just like your plant thing, right? Thanks, man. <laughs> yes, that's correct. <laughs> that was actually been weeks. <laughs> I'll oh, admit wait, it. I'm so oh, upset. Oh, God! Oh! Jen, Crushing. Jen off stage, man. I like it. The more I see, and he's getting more confident. I mean, why wouldn't you? I mean, he's gotten so many socks just going off stage, back air, for, down air, you know, with the foot snap. There we go. Let's we'll see how uh, Laid adjusts. Yep. Step one is going to be taking the sock off in some way. I like the dash up oh, forward till oh, there. there. You know, that yep. works. Well, so you know, I, I had to come through for my boy. You know, that's your client, bro. Yeah, that's my man. Uh, you know, I do manage him. If you want to reach out to me, uh, any business inquiries that you have uh, for Kool-Aid, uh, you have to follow me on Twitter. <laughs> follow me first, though. Yeah. You don't have to follow him. That's okay. We got it. We got a deal. But anyway, both these players duking it out, fighting for that center stage spot. That's the thing, though, Max. I mean, we talked about like how Lucina can be a pretty good matchup against Palu, but I feel like she has tools to deal with her at long range and kind of keep her out of that sweet spot sword range. Yeah, absolutely. You can zone her out pretty effectively. And, of course, the shield, dash attack, and back air, that counters what Lucina does best, which is throwing big hitboxes in your face. Palutena has right. the luxury of just being able to ignore them. Only thing is, the frame data war, I'd say, is comfortably in Lucina's favor, yeah. especially on the right. ground. You've got much better oh, buzz. And then also, your, your sword, man, that, she swings that thing quick. For like go. a what, 18 year old? No, she's like 19 to 22, depending on who you ask, uh, what lore you're abiding by. But yeah, I mean, wow. like, she's just swinging it around, right? True. Swanging. <laughs> Swanging. Edge guard opportunity. Kool Aid trying to put some pressure on. Jen trying to end the set right now. I think the last thing you want to do if you're Jen is let Kool Aid take this game. Not only is that bad, uh, obviously, just because dropping games isn't good, but this venue will very much come to life. Kool Aid. Uh, starts winning this game for him. Yeah, he has himself in the driver's seat for the most part. Jen kind of uh, dungeon off in the corner right now. Yes, just going to shield the back air. No reason to try to challenge it. And that's what a lot of people have to train themselves to do against Palutena, right? There's the back air? Yeah, very, very, oh. <laughs> very few other characters in the game have a mechanic like that. But while you may be tempted to swing on someone on their way down while they look vulnerable like that, it does not work against Palutena. You can't even get a trade. See, I'm telling you, man, the venue coming to life a little bit. There aren't many spectators left, but they're definitely cheering. When you got that tech chase, the long tech chase, the fourth man. Oh, this is what I'm talking Whoa. about. You hear them now. You definitely hear them now. Yeah, there's there are not that many people left here because it's late in the day, and they're still, you know, or, audible. Or early in the day, depending uh, on your perspective. True, it's very early it's on true. Sunday. You know, nobody's really, like, that much of a go-getter to come here and watch this match. <laughs> That's Only right. 23 minutes into the day. It's about 12, 30. It's time for my morning run, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm about to go to church right after yeah. this. Let Yog. They just we just went to church, man. True. <laughs> it's very yeah, it's very true. I you know you guys call it church. I always thought it was like it's the Kingdom Hearts intro stage. Yes, oh, that's exactly. Hundred percent. Yes, but that's that, church, dude. so it's still church. It's it? very know, true. Man. Not my it's church, bro. It's stained glass, man. I don't know. My family's right Russian Orthodox. They got that stuff all over the place. Like, it's Pictures fancy. of Sora. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was stained glass. <laughs> stained glass of Sora and Goofy. <laughs> Who made the gigantic stained glass Goofy? Nobody knows. <laughs> he was canonized after saving the world from darkness. <laughs> There you go. Spoilers, come on, man. <laughs> Gorsh, guys. Anyway. Gorsh. <laughs> That'd be a great in-game tag, Gorsh. Anyway, game five situation, Kool-Aid. I think we could find some ingredients nope, nope, here, nope. Sora. Okay. <laughs> that was Max, by the way, in case anyone was wondering. That absolutely was Devin for mine production, all right? I will not tolerate this slander. Here we all go. Right. Game five of an intense, high-level set. Right. There's nothing else to talk about right now. It's just this. Nair to Nair. I told you, man. Like I said it when the set started. It wasn't Koopa this time, I promise. Uh, Nair to Nair is going to be a big thing. Oh, and oh the unspent, wow. On the roll in. It, that was just so you Look at where she's standing. The sword clearly was not there. It's a, It's like a... 
Plot armor. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All Fire Emblem characters have it. That was the plot sword, yeah. though. <laughs> Not only do blondes have more fun, they have more range. Needless to say, <laughs> nice. that backer finds its mark. So Jen evening things up. Not letting that seam roll uh, at all, actually. Oh, three up tilts in a row, and finally going to connect with the back hit. Oh, of course, optimal for the follow-ups. And he should have uh -oh. up tilted again, man, for the culture. Yeah, he really should have. It <laughs> does combo, but oh god, I don't know if it would have worked right, in that tie situation. Game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, he swung. these he guys swung, are dude. ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, smart by Kool Aid, just gonna cut the dancing blade short oh. at the edge, not keep swinging. Oh, but Jen, that's a jump. That's a jump. Managing to take a huge breakaway off it either way. Dude, they're kind of like they're both like they don't want to be outdone off stage. Like they both are like, no, I'm more ridiculous off stage. No, I'm more ridiculous off stage. They keep going for the dumbest stuff. Yeah. They're really trying to prove left and wrong. Yeah. I think that's what's going on here. Like how the Buzz and Raffi are playing chicken with teching, they're playing chicken with edge guarding. It's like, but can you do this? Yeah, it's horse, man. Chicken horse. There we go. Classic game Somewhere. in my neighborhood. <laughs> oh, oh yes, so, that's yeah. gonna work. And even the fair, enough to kill. You gotta be so mindful when Politana's gonna scoop you off the edge with that down tilt. You have to hold out, and it's very counterintuitive because, you know, technically yeah. that's gonna kill you faster oh. against anything else. But Jen, now back in the kitchen here. Oh! 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 oh, man! It doesn't stop. I told you, man, they're both getting more ridiculous off stage. The next thing is to be like, all right, who can SD first, you know? Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna, who, uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die first. No, it's me, it's me. Man. Here we go, Nair. And that's, dude, this stage has been so good for Palus in this top eight. We saw it from the buzz, and now we're seeing it. Oh, And like you said, has the venue's starting to come to life now. They're yeah, starting man. to, you know, get behind, rally behind their boy. That's right. Boston versus New York, man. Always an awesome spectacle. Uh -huh. Whether it's oh, basketball God. or here in Smash Brothers. Uh-oh. Oh, oh that's, that's it. it. No jump. Oh, and Jen going to fall in a dramatic fashion to that unteckable, I believe. I'm pretty sure I saw some red splashies right there on the left side of the stage. What's the technical name? Splashies. Splashies. Yeah. All right, we'll get to see it right Super there. Oh, no, no, no. You I guys think it was going just to the, uh, uh, Splashies and Smash? Smash and Splashies? Yeah. The smash, smash and Splashies. splashies. Yeah. Oh. They drove literally through New Jersey instead of going to Boston. <laughs> okay, hold up, guys. Let me tell you, this is super classic. I mean, the thing is, Mars, we've been talking about, he's like a ball of white hot fire right now in terms of his level up, in terms of his skill. He has never been playing this game better. And Light, though, always seems to be kind of a step ahead of him in terms of ultimate. Like you said, got a big set win on him uh, at Let's Make Moves. But Mars, in region, you know, not on the bigger stages, has been taking sets off of Light as well. You're going to see a lot of parries. You're going to see a lot of high octane play here for sure. And Let's do, get into it. And I do think the curse of the, you know, the overclock curse is sitting pretty with Mars. Yeah. If there's a time to do it, it's now. Like, For sure. it, it'll make his path much, it's still doable, it'll just make his path much harder. So if there's ever time to capitalize on Might. you know, your demons and face them, it's definitely right, right now Might. in the winner's final. Might needs to throw because uh, Mars needs to summon votes. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, do oh, it for the culture, Jesus. man. But this is this is a rivalry not quite as old as time itself. It's really about two years old once yeah. Light really started to come to his own and hit full swing as a player. Right. Mars sitting on top of the New England region for Ooh. years before that. For sure. But yeah, also, sure. there was a time where he was a new face. So now that the playing field is kind of yeah. even between these guys, I feel like Ultimate is the real proving ground. Who is the best in New England? Obviously, the entire question will not be answered Ooh. today. But okay. it's a good start. Mars here trying to get the reach. I mean, that's one thing that Zero Suit has in this matchup. It's kind of the reach, you know what I'm saying? A little bit more range, but God, the punish game from Fox is ridiculous. Oh yeah, turn Ooh. around. Yeah, that's tilt stick, baby. All day. Yeah, very reminiscent of what Light did to Kool-Aid to get here when he got that tech in with the up smash. Good memory. <laughs> I forgot that happened. Still don't remember what I <laughs> ate for breakfast. <laughs> wow. He died. Like, if these are both glass cannon characters, too, like, for sure. But he just died at 80 after hit. That's yeah. crazy. This is definitely going to be a very explosive oh set. Oh, my gosh. What is going on right We're now? two minutes in. Two stocks in. That's, that's crazy, That's man. a stock a minute. I did the math. Just as back and forth <laughs> as it gets. <laughs> All right, man. Yo, Fox. Fox. Ooh, that weak Oh, attack. no. Hold up. Yeah, Mars pressed for answers here. The ledge trap from Light. Yeah, even though that up tilt doesn't hit the ledge anymore, it's still so dangerous, being that it's pretty Mars good is, against. Mars is spinning in his chair. Oh, look at him. His chair is spinning. Yeah, he's a very fidgety why guy. Is, it why seems. is he doing that? I, I don't know. Why Light is? Oh, it's probably a comfort thing. And there we go. Wow, a destructive last stock right there from Light. Does he come out of here? Yeah, yeah. both these characters can die to each other, like pretty much at zero first off, but also at like 70, 80 percent. They're primed and ready to go. Yeah, I expect the pace of this match to be very, very quick. So, 
I mean, if the first game was any indicator, absolutely. If any set, what was Did Light just wing at the you, camera? Can you replay that, please? No, 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 no. That's cursed footage. Like, can you, can you replay it's that like, footage. like several times? <laughs> uh, find out. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, he didn't. No, he didn't. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! Ladies. <laughs> Thank God the sleeves got rolled up. That would have been way too powerful. If y'all need that discount Valentine's Day uh, candy, obviously hit yeah, up one. Belated, yeah. belated Valentine's he's got Day a lot of, He's got a lot left over. <laughs> <laughs> Interest include rolling my sleeves up and mashing face into my opponents. It works with Fox, man. Why not? <laughs> All right, so Battlefield will be the stage Mars, of choice here. Mars, it has been four years. Nobody's rolling into you anymore. It's never <laughs> happening, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's just not going to happen. You know, not in this region, at least. Like, maybe out of region you'll get away with that, but no way, yeah. man. And not against light. See, he really sat there and thought about that. <laughs> no, I don't think he did, man. I think it's just such a natural instinct to him. Hold up. Wow, oh, okay. Catch the up. Excuse the hell out of me. That is still such a strong move, man. Oh, whoa, whoa. Anyway. He's fidgety, man. You ever see the clacking? Yeah, so, yeah, 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 I, yeah, I have. Yeah. He's crazy, I'm man. surprised we can't hear it from here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it's because we have the headphones on, bro. Yeah, these headphones, you know. Oh, jeez. He got kidnapped. Dead. Oh, Mars. Uh, Firing back. Hasn't even been a minute yet, so that's cool. Well, my rice is still cold in the middle. That's how quick those two first two stocks <laughs> vanished. Oh, and foot stooling off of him to get another chance Safety, at landing yeah. safely. Yeah, very smart. Oh, and light rare miss on the neutral air to up smash. And at this point, I think he's just swinging him. Why not? Oh, wall jump. Game. Yep, next game. Oh, no. What? Wait, hold That's on. what Run? I would say. Character? Okay, hold on. I think Such they. How do you switch spots with him? Oh, I love that, dude. The back air. Oh, shoot the laser the wrong way for the fans. Oh, just a little bit off the mark with that down smash there. Light, yep, has to do it that time, no matter what. Okay. Just wow. because that's, of how. That's the crazy thing is that you can charge that forever now. Before exactly. in Smash Four, you had to charge it like at the right time. Yep. Yeah. Now you can just hold it forever. It doesn't matter. You just really use uh, react and release. And Zero Suit Down Smash, correct me if I'm wrong, has very quick charge release time. Yep. Yes. And no, correct. I think that's been in all the games. Well, I know it's been in the previous two games. Pretty sure it's still in this one. But if I'm being real with you guys, I have not played Zero Suit Samus. A single time in, in this Super game? Smash Bros. Ultimate. I played against her. I played Mars second round of the tournament. Mm. <laughs> and you defeated him. be like that. Uh, and I sent him to lose his bracket victory. where he <laughs> somehow bribed the TO to get back into winners. Classic so what Mars. he did was he found an immunity idol. And then he presented it when mm -hmm. to the TO. And he's like, oh, you exactly. Get it. Yeah. The whole tribe was saved. <laughs> this is also a good song. This is a good song. <sighs> All right. So here we go, folks. After a explosive first two games of the set, uh, dude, it was two games in like a total game time of three minutes. Yeah, you if you, if you pick this set to go to the bathroom, you messed up. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's over. And it also indicates that you've probably never seen Mars and Light play before. Because yeah, this, oh this is exactly what to expect. The but only thing that saves it from being blindingly fast is that it's probably going to go to five games. That's very yeah, true. Pretty much, yeah. Well, even then, dude, it's gonna be like five of the fastest games you could ever ask for, basically. Yep. And not only is it like the perfect combination of like character choice, player play style, uh, stubbornness, I would also say plays a factor into it, but yep. also the fact that they know each other so well. You're just gonna see such crazy offense and crazy reach from them. I've said it before, I've said it again, and clearly the person who this quote is attributed to has said it before. Mars's girlfriend has called these two two halves of the same idiot. That's <laughs> shout out to shout, Okami. Yeah, shout out Great to Okami, quote. Man. God, you know, being in a carpool with the two of them, you're gonna lose some brain cells, bro. Like it's just you're gonna learn so much about Smash. You are just gonna be a dumber human being. Yeah. Day. <laughs> Even just hanging out with them in the just, in the best way possible. I mean, of course, nothing but love, of course. But oh god, Ooh, toes. Of, god, that is all confidence right there for Mars. If he whipped that, Light would have got such an enormous punish off of it because he's Light playing Fox. And that's always been Mars's calling card, just going for those like home run leads with boost kick. Right. Yeah, Fox is light, light is Fox. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> that, was, that was poetry, man. Someone give him the, give him the snap. It's like Star Wars, you know, it rhymes. <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. Uh, I hate sand. You know it. You get it. <laughs> Koopa gets it. Anyway, guys, we have probably the best set that you're going to see this evening. And Mars looking like he's about to come out in as what Koopa would call the rubber game. 1-1, one, one, and what Koopa and many others would call the rubber game. That was a It's great. a baseball term, I swear. Yeah. That one I actually know for a fact. That was actually uh, an amazing use of forward air by Mars. Light has been getting a lot of parries off, so he threw out the two-hit forward air, uh, the two-piece to try to catch Light uh, dipping too early. Hold up. I mean, oh! He just reaches so far through the edge with that flip kick, and that's why you see it used. Like, 
so prolifically in that situation. Obviously, it's kind of hard to hit. It's like a skill shot, right? But right. when you do go for it, her leg is like down there, yeah. man. It's, you got reach. Yeah, you can it's hit in the box. shoes. She's got legs for days, man. Back here. And abs now. And Dude, feet. She's shredded. <laughs> she also has eyes. Uh, and a, a gun. Ponytail. And a great personality. You said, you said gun. gun. That's not, that's not it's part gun of personality. Person. She has a gun. <laughs> I know. You're, I, you're not wrong. Well. Yeah, I mean, okay. we were just talking about things that Zero Six Samus has, right? That's true. You're okay. right. You're right. No, you're right. All right. Good back air right there. <laughs> I was going to say. Never mind. Back on course. <laughs> Got two never almost mind. three up airs there. Light fighting for his life right now in this third game. But Mars is just looking so good. The SoCal level up really coming into play. Hey, dude, it's been so big, man. I don't know what else to say about it. He's just playing so well. It's always good to see both these guys playing well. So Light. change back to pajama pants, man. It makes a huge difference. Did he switch? I can't see. Well, now that he's not, he's not wearing pajama pants now, but when he was in Cali, he was. Look at that punish right there. Wow. Turn around up That's going to do it. And I love, like, what was he saying? I think Light's, so I feel like Light's been having trouble with the sound on the setup. Uh, is Mars helping him? What a guy. <laughs> I hate you guys. I hate you guys so much. I hate you guys so much. You guys are idiots. I have no words, dude. You guys are so stupid. Mars just tying Light's shoe right there real quick. I'm not participating in this juvenile humor, just so everyone knows. What's so funny about tying his shoe? You didn't want him to trip. You tell me. You're the one laughing. I just think everything's funny. No, I just looked at Twitter and someone tagged me as something really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you looking at Twitter, bro? Because uh, between games. Come on, give me a break. All right, anyway, so we're moving into the fourth game. Anyway. Man, at the start of this game, like you said, Haz, or maybe it was Koopa. I'm going to give it this one to Koopa. At the start what, you, of the, what is it? <laughs> it was you, but at the start of this yeah. game, Light yeah. was pulling ahead, right? Yep. It's making a, a very solid claim <laughs> sure. for the best in New England, for the right. king of New England, as throne, his tag throne, would suggest. Throne, baby. But is this the Mars saga? Is this the beginning of the Mars saga, It man? should be. It's like I said at the beginning of the set. Uh, it's now or never for, for Mars if he wants the best chance at him to you know, break the curse for himself. And we're gonna go through Yoshi's Island oh, Melee, I believe making his first appearance up the top eight so far. So the crazy thing too is that Mars has been on winner's sides of Overclock before. I know the one that he lost to Wizzy. I'm yeah, pretty sure Wizzy, Wizzy took won, two Wizzy sets. Yeah, losers, yeah, pretty sure he won from, yeah, losers. Was that so. the Lila one or was that the Michigan tournament? It happened it's, again. It's, it's happened pretty, multiple times. It happened times. again oh at Which that Overclock Lila one, yeah. yeah. Isn't okay. that nuts? Yeah, dude, of course you're thinking about Lila, by the way. <laughs> my favorite oh, stage, man. I'm always thinking about it. Wonder if Lila's thinking about you. I miss her. Yo, Valentine's Day is over, Max. You gotta relax. Oh God, that, I love that, that so was, much. That was like if you want to practice parrying, that's what you should. That's a move you should like practice on. It's so slow. A down smash, forward smash, good combo. We're just gonna air. try to take the high road, but Mars saying no way, man. Yeah, the tracing there from Mars was amazing. I mean, obviously he knows boxes recover like the back of his hand pretty well. Yeah, so trying to get down from that top platform right now is light. I like that one. Tracing, I'm stealing that. Ooh. And not attributing it to you when I use it on commentary. I know, man. Ooh. You're probably going to give it to Koopa. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah, Koopa said <laughs> to this To quote the great time. Koopa. I, was, yeah, yeah. I hope you guys Koopa. have been keeping score at home. Koopa had, we'll someone had an awesome quote about Light and Mars. I think it was Koopa. <laughs> uh, yep, right. I'm just a genius. I don't know what to tell That's you guys. Good. No, man, but you know what? This whole SoCal, like, trip and level up for Mars, it reminds me of, like, when the rival beats up the main character at the beginning of the game, and then the main character goes, like, you know, You're to another planet or another town or something. Yeah, training montage. Yeah, yeah, training montage, comes back. And You're calling Mars a protagonist? Gets no, I mean, what yes. I'm saying is Light yes. in his do. world is a protagonist. Mars in his own world is a protagonist. He's probably feeling what I'm talking about right now. Exactly. Mars probably is because you call him protagonist. Light is probably not feeling that. Yeah, but I mean, Light, of course, we've, we've called this guy the main character of the anime so many times with the seemingly plot armor-like saves haven't. he's made from sets. Well, you know, that's why I didn't attribute the quote to you. I gave it to Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go, Light doing a good job bringing this one back. Yeah, continuing to press right now. Dude, the platform pressure from Light is so good. That is going to be confirmed all day. And Taunting feeling himself a little bit. Okay. <laughs> See what effect this has on Mars. I mean, he's got to make this. He's got to take the stop. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big punish. Just kidding. It's just grab. Up B. Wow. Up. That's it, man. And here we go. Last lock situation. Mars I, sitting on. I never noticed that, but in the mini-map, when they're tumbling into the background, they go down on the mini-map. 
Oh, oh like in the Star yeah, Tale? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I never noticed that. I, to be honest, man, I haven't looked at the mini map since E3. Me neither, dude. <laughs> I didn't even look at it then, I'll be honest. It's 2019, he looks at maps. Yeah, right? Yeah. We got a GPS for bro. Come on, yeah. get with the times. Uh oh, he rolls in! Oh, that's not he, even close to doing it. Why did that look so weak? This stage is big, man. Yeah. Far, the bias Can far we talk away. about how big everyone looks on this stage? It's I know. freaking weird. I think, I think everyone looks small, to be honest with you. Well, that's what I meant. Small, yeah, compared to melee, yeah, yeah, everyone's By big, tiny. I meant small, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah but... <laughs> you got me. <laughs> I got Who said that? That was Oh, the forward ball. smash! That was ridiculous! And Mars forced into directional air dodge, but light, I don't think uh, he recognized it. When you see players do that, there's uh, so much. Uh, that could have been it! Uh, the slant! The slant on the stage right there, dude! He was able to get out of the way of that up smash! Yeah, the counter pick coming back to haunt light right there. That could have been think. it. That's my um, gut reaction right there. Either way, Mars still alive. Mars back air, the back end, that's it, does baby. It. I think Light was holding left there, trying to move away. But either case, Mars taking that one down, super clutch stuff. Can we get the where he avoided it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see what happens. No, here. no, 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 not this one. This is this is cool yeah, though. This, this is the this clincher, is a, Devin. That's just a back air. <laughs> a nice one. I was just gonna say that, you son of a gun. Yeah, you guys are hilarious. All right, anyway. I think I'm pretty good. I would never, oh, well, Devin is wearing a shirt Ooh. that says nice back Have you been wearing that this whole time? And the comic font. Uh, no, no, he just switched. Oh, he, yeah. he put it on after that happened. No, it's just an overlay, bro. He's the streamer. Come on. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Can you go back to the light missing the up smash? Uh, I, think it was a, I think it was a down air and air. No, no he can't. Oh, we didn't. We what didn't, do you mean no? Didn't grab it. Didn't grab it. Oh. You got to do these things in real time. One of the only choices that you have. Like, it, like, oh, yeah. like, like, if you if you're gonna choose one last warrior, it's most likely gonna be he's up there, man. Yep. The like, if aliens row. invaded right now, you have to like. I just, had a money match oh, wait, them it, all in a row. <laughs> oh, oh, in Smash, I thought you meant like punch them in the face. I'm like, no, I'm choosing Kool Aid actually. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I'm going. actually gonna take uh, Will Smith and uh, a dog. Yeah, exactly. Nice. nice. Or in this case, uh, Chris Hemsworth and uh, Tessa Thompson. I'm gonna pretend I get all these pop culture references. I'm not going to. That Koopa, was, that no was one knows great. what you're talking about. Yeah, Koopa, your references are amazing. I gotta go, man. <laughs> oh, yours are. So <laughs> we were talking about the Pikmin earlier and how I, to me, it kind of feels a little more difficult to get rid of them. But Lucina's gonna have no problem slashing those things off of her. Yeah. That, that's for sure. This dude. matchup, to my knowledge, was like rough for Olimar, like already, like going back to Smash Four. So. Oh, was it? To my knowledge, because I think back to like Momocon when Nairo was down 2-0 against Myron. And he picked Lucina reverse three Odom, so. He started Paula? No. In Smash 4? Smash oh, 4. oh, you're talking about in Smash 4. Yeah, oh, in my, 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 Yes, my. he was Paula. Just, uh, yeah. Nairo's Paula oh, in Smash 4. Oh, snipe. That was Quite sick, dude. <laughs> good awareness from the buzz. I mean, the tricky thing about that, too, it was obviously, like, a good shot from the buzz, but if he whiffs that, he just threw away a purple Pikmin, which sucks. Like, if he didn't get that kill there, that, that's a bad situation. Nice back air there from Kool Aid. Yeah, being off stage, generally a bad situation <laughs> against Lucina. <laughs> he did the 360. Oh, it, go get him. <laughs> He just, him. he just spun around, dude. Nice. Good job by Kool-Aid there. Tying it up in terms of stocks. The buzz, though. Just going to be chilling a little bit. Kool-Aid trying to take his time and go in. Here we go. A couple up tilts. Up air. Oh, my God. Yep. Racking it That's up. That's the classic, man. The four-piece. Not only that, a dancing blade afterwards for good measure. 51% on the buzz of Omar. That's a lot, dude. He's got to start fearing forward smashing about 20, 25%. So, like, another exchange of neutral, basically. Maybe oh, yeah, one without a doubt. Yeah, now that you can do it straight out of your dash, the down tilt tech oh setup is so good with it. Oh, but the buzz making all that damage appear oh. out of nowhere and a spike too. There goes Lucina down to the crowd. They're gonna put her right back up. One yeah, more was, chance here in this that game. Was, that was absolutely nasty, by the way. Like, what a clutch play by the buzz man. I gotta say, that was a lot of credit to him there. Yeah. It was, Kool Aid was definitely looking like really strong for. I mean, he's still looking really strong IRL, but you know. Strong in terms of that stock. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, the deficit's not so bad, but you're I right. mean, the buzz could win you're the welcome, set, but dude. who's gonna win in the in the arm wrestling match? Let's be real here. Does the buzz get to use both of his hands? <laughs> uh, even still, I got. I don't know. Do anybody want to hit me up for a side bet? Super duper jacked. <laughs> anyway, oh, okay. See, that's what I'm saying though. He forward aired it and he couldn't get rid of the white pick. I'm telling you, man. Like, it just it, to me, it just feels kind of harder to get rid of Pikmin. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know how you get like stats in there or anything, but hopefully probably the soil he's using or something. They're persistent. It's in the soil. In the soil. <laughs> he's using Miracle Grow. <laughs> Sorry, they're, he just motivates them a little bit more. Like, he just gives them a pep talk. He's like, guys, I really need you to hold on here. Oh, <laughs> Ew. Ooh, it worked. Oh, that Ooh, animation nice. looks disgusting. Ooh. Nice, man. Yeah, that up smash, man, definitely one of the best moves in the game. I think it comes out in like frame 11 or 12, something mad, very early. Mad save and combos into itself, all that, yeah. good, all that good nonsense. Yeah, it's crazy. Or you know what? Maybe that's it, it has like 11 frames of end lag or something ridiculous. I've heard uh, I've heard some numbers, but nothing to confirm yet. So I'm going to do the old internet. I've heard some numbers too. 
like 16, 45 is 80. Not bad, not a bad choice. I've heard it, man. Anyway, game two. I, mean, I, got, I got nothing. Number two. <laughs> I, I can't count. So that doesn't mean you can't hear numbers. But anyway, you know here you we got are. It. Pokemon Stadium two. There's another one for you right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good. All right, down throw forward there. The classic. 37 afterwards and racking it up even more. Almost 50. Man, I'm telling you, like Olmar. His damage output is just super ridiculous. Yeah, dude. it's like Crazy. I said, like you blink and you're suddenly at death percent, you know, for right. the lineup he has. Yeah, of course, not without flaw, though. He's got pretty stubby buttons. Other than his Pikmin, the Pikmin in the air and on the ground pretty much all the time. Anytime he attacks with Pikmin, you can just go right through them with attacks. Right. So I feel like, like on paper, like Omar's play style and like the way his characters build, if you were just to describe the way that he plays to people, you'd be like, that sounds almost unbeatable. You know what I mean? Like the way that he ranges out, his range is amazing. Like the way he can zone out, he racks up damage super fast, and his up smash kills super early. Like he just sounds like an incredible character, and he really is too. I mean, he's got to be like I don't know, top ten ish character. Oh yeah, and right? he can recover from pretty much anywhere. Yeah, he's got to toss away his Pikmin, you know, for that. But yeah, either way, I mean, Kool Aid's trying to stay alive in the first stock. One sixty four percent on the Lucina. Ooh, what shield. is going on? Yeah, dude, yeah. shield chicken right there. Did, did, did you not see the, the trailer? You cannot roll multiple times in a row now. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, your old Dodge Decay is going to come in. Dodge Decay? I think I, I think I messed that part of Dodge Ball. Yeah, no, I made okay. it up. That's good. It's mine. I like it. I like yeah. it. Well, it's mine now, so the Dodge Decay yeah. really coming to play. <laughs> is, that when, is that when Vince Vaughn like, lets Globo Gym just like rot? That's as a <laughs> Dodge Decay. I think Koopa said that one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was like Kyle original right there. Kool Aid going way off oh, stage man. there. Able to pick up a yellow Pikmin. The, not quite the target he was looking for, to be honest with you. Yeah, just trying to secure the stock right now with the buzz. Uh, actually hasn't put any room between him and Kool Aid right now, so that's kind of strange. Like to see somebody go like that long without getting any damage on them, right. even though someone's playing Chase. Good use of for forward air, forward air. That uh, is just going to go to Lucina basically every day of the week, unless the buzz like pulls a forward super fast. Okay, Dancing Blade, nah, it doesn't connect all the hits. 150 on Olimar, it's hard to do, man. Forward throw, 160 even harder. And to Buzz, just keeps swinging, man. Absolutely yeah. no fear, even at 158, he's still coming off the edge dude, with an attack. Oh my god, dude. He might get another KO before losing the stock, that's for sure. Yeah, man. Dude, dude, the blue is just threatening, you know what he wants. Yep. There we go, just gonna close it with up tilt. Ooh, and the taunt. Kool-Aid, you are ooh, not in a position where you wanna be you know, enticing the buzz to come smack you even harder. That's uh, true. And he does just that, actually. Yeah, so smacked hard, he did. Yeah, that's right, man. Oh, the buzz, the buzz smacks. <laughs> that's his, his tag is the buzz smash. It should just be uh, the buzz, the buzz ult. smack. Oh, is it ultimate? Yeah, it's the buzz he's had a couple, Oh, it's the buzz smash. He's, oh, when, he's, when he's Palu, it's ultra. That's why, because he does like tilt stick or whatever. Yeah, tilt and smash, right? yeah. yeah. Definitely smash stick with Olimar. <laughs> Dude, yeah, his tilts are garbage. That's the one thing that would be on his character sheet. It's like, uh, you know, they're not, you know, his tilts, you're not going to use them. But his smashes are like tilts anyway. Like, you don't really need it. In either case, Kool Aid having a hard time winning neutral, man. I mean, this is one of the things that Olimar really accelerates. Oh, my at. oh God. God. dude. That shield damage is crazy. Yeah, I was just going to bring up this is a very, like, powerful lineup that the Buzz has uh, out right now. So. And a very powerful lead, too. Especially against a character like Almar, rushing in haphazardly against him is so dangerous. Yeah. He's got he's got the Lakers lineup right now. <laughs> he does the Wario lineup, man. Wario, yeah. Oh God, that almost KO, man. That was crazy. You know, yeah. Wario actually used to be a power forward for the Lakers. I think you're gonna say I think you say Wario is gonna be a, he was a Pikmin at one point. I was like, wow. <laughs> in, in a past that's, life, that's crazy. He, he was an intern with Almar for a while. Probably tried to exploit their labor. Weird times at Nintendo. <laughs> wow, that's messed up, bro. <laughs> I mean, Olimar's doing it, and nobody's nobody's saying anything about it. I feel like he's friends with the Pikmin, though, isn't he? He they're kills, dying. He kills. He kills many of them. Though. You're right. No, you're right. He's an evil man. Ooh. He's working them Did to he death. Taunt? No, I don't think the buzz. He's not a taunter. He's a lot of things. He's not a taunter. That's true. He he lets the game do speaking for him. Hold he lets on. the game taunt for him. That's right. That's right, Koopa. Oh, there we go, that right. up smash. Dancing Blade, man. <laughs> that poor Red Pikmin, did you see his reaction? He's like, whoa, I'm in here. I feel like you're very prone to falling out of uh, Lucina and Krom's Dancing Blades in this game. Roy's and Marth's are, because they have sour spots, a little right. bit more reliable on the linking hits. But man, Ooh, yeah. you hate to see that kind of thing happen. Kool-Aid finally was reestablishing himself a little bit, but just going to fall out and meet his fate there.
So DeBuzz, a game away from earning himself a trip into the Losers Finals against Light. Play against Light, yeah, for sure. He's one game away, like you said. And here's like an interesting thing I was thinking about, too. Obviously, DeBuzz, his two characters got Omar, of course, but also the Palu. He must have watched the way that Jen was playing his Kool Aid. That's kind of like, you know, bracket luck. Like, I believe in it in like a lot of different ways. And that, like, might have been some bracket luck for. The buzz, like he got a free see, five, five game, five game set to study Kool Aid and how he plays against Palu, make it, make an informed decision. You know what I mean? I think he would go Olimar either way, but at the same time, like he got to watch that whole set and be like, okay, figure this out. Yep. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Olimar. It's worked out for two games so far. Yeah, I feel like Lucina's is a good pick against <laughs> both of the buzz's characters, on? but of course, yeah. he's still more familiar with Olimar than Palutena, regardless right. of what he played mostly in the first couple yeah. weeks of the game. You Brawl, know, man. this guy is a born and bred Olimar player. He is, man. You know, like in Brawl too, I'm surprised he didn't play Ice Climbers a little bit too. I feel like they're kind of in his wheelhouse as well. Maybe. You know what I mean? Let's go back in time and make sure it happens. Let's ask him. Yeah, they're less about keep away and more just about like extreme patience for that one opening. Dude, yeah. That I feel like, like the buzz is a patient master, man. Speaking of extreme yeah, yeah. patience, uh, Kool Aid is uh, showing off a lot of that in yeah. the early phase. He was just kind of like standing on the top of the platform, not doing anything. So oh, I'm curious, like, what's going through his mind right now. He's trying to change up the gameplay, man. The first two games, it, whatever he's doing wasn't working, so he's just trying to do something different to buzz, man. God, racking up the damage, taking the KO, only 49% on Olimar. Even though he's a very light character, that's not a whole lot. Oh, God. Oh, and Kool-Aid just swinging for the fences right now. Yeah, wow, DeBuzz, he, he reacted to that, I feel like, because the up smash was so little lag, right. but he just couldn't get there in time. That's yeah. crazy, man. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, if you're an Olimar main, you're going to up smash, and if it doesn't connect, you've got to be, like, training yourself to look for what they're going to do afterwards, because, I mean, you're in a good situation. Yeah. And most Olimar mains probably just looking for that next Another up smash. Another up smash, yes, yeah. exactly. Why not? <laughs> and the cycle just continues forever, you know what I mean? If at first it doesn't succeed, I'll roll and try again. it again. Wow, what a recovery from DeBuzz. You see the little fade away, the little hop above him. That was so smart, dude. Yeah, he's just ever so slightly just out of Kool-Aid range. Yeah, little things like that, I feel like people don't appreciate enough about uh, DeBuzz's gameplay, man. He's super sick. Oh, oh, he's still just trying to get this stock off, yeah. man, at all costs. And it is going to cost him a stock. I feel like Kool-Aid's kind of running out of steam right now. Like, he's going for a lot of these home run options, and he's getting exploited heavily it's for a, it. It's a marathon of a day and a five- Five game set, you know, potentially five game set against the Buzz. The Buzz, like that's what his thing, man. His tournament endurance is ridiculously good. Like he's been playing the long game for a super long time, so yeah, it doesn't seem to phase him at all. You know? But he's the one calling the shots, you know what I mean? He's feeling good. He's loving life right now. Yeah, and of course, the way to beat a character like Olimar, especially in the hands of DeBuzz, is not for these home run options. You want to take base yeah, hits no. over yep. and over and over again until you can yeah. finally get the score going. Which is so hard to do, though. That's exactly why DeBuzz does the strategy. He's so good at it. Dude. Oh, yeah. In the long game, I'm always most likely going to bet money on DeBuzz. For sure. He's, he's a very good bet. Back throw here. DeBuzz trying to seal out the set, trying to make it a quick 3-0. Move on and try to take on uh, Young Light, who's waiting uh, in the Losers Finals. Down smash. Wow. Man, just imagine playing three games straight against the buzz and like the frustration it must cause. Yeah. Man, these walls are so good. He's making me approach because I don't want these Pikmin latching on to me, but every time he does, or I do, he has an answer for it. Yeah, and there it goes. Man. Yeah, that was a yeah, man. Set right there. And albeit a, you know, kind of a deflating loss right there for Kool-Aid, a quick 3-0 at the hands of the buzz. Kool-Aid had a good day though, man. I think he was the four seed. I think the top yep. four uh, fell right into place where they should. So Kool-Aid getting fourth. And then the combination of Light, Mars, and DeBuzz getting top three uh, is exactly how it was seeded. I think top seed, I think DeBuzz was number one, actually. But they did that mostly so they'd separate Mars and Light in the bracket. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Not Xan. It's my banner picture, actually. Me and Kataro. That's like a... With your shades? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a classic. It is a classic, man. I gotta say. Anyway, Light versus DeBuzz. Oh, God. The venue is coming to life as well. Oh, they... You know what? New England can't be happy about how that last set went. That's for sure. Oh, you see him spot dodge that up smash right afterwards? Light is always like thinking at least two steps ahead. Like he's like, I'm gonna illusion. If he gets shield, I'm gonna spot dodge. I'm gonna illusion. If it hits, I'm gonna up there. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's, he's just got like it's like a spider web in his brain to like all these different options. But uh, that hamster wheel's running real fast. It reminds me of the Charlie work episode of Sunny. It's like, you know, he's all over here yes. managing like a <laughs> yes. hundred different things, yes. but to everybody else, it's like, what is, what is this guy doing? <laughs> yes, that is hundred percent that is that is light uh, in meme format, hundred <laughs> percent. Light though. Having a good time finding his way in, booting this Pikmin out of his way. Look at him, too. Jump around the platforms. He's trying to get Olimar to move in close to him before he makes an option right here. Hold on. Okay. Look for a panic option there with the back air. Didn't find anything, though. 
Yeah, Light's whole game plan here is going to be to smother the buzz, not give them the time to start the smash attacks as quick as they may be for such long moves. Yeah. If you're right on top of somebody with box, very few things can contest that frame data. And right. then you can just either hop over or run through and ignore all the Pikmin other than the purple one. That one you're actually going to have to stop and respect. But I think that's just lights. What? Whoa. Whoa. What, what did I he say about what did I say about him being so far ahead? He's like, you know what? I'm gonna throw out the shine and like see what happens. Like if it hits him, cool. If it doesn't, I can reflect the Pikmin back at him and freaking kill him. That was nuts, dude. I feel like <laughs> what, back air to shine, dude. That's only a pressure string in melee. Yeah, you right? know, it's been two whole games yeah, yeah. since we've seen that work. I out. feel like every time Shine like fulfills its intended purpose, Sakurai is just like good. You know, like <laughs> yes, excellent. They <laughs> didn't pleases. use it to edge guard. Yeah, this pleases plant. <laughs> Yo, he still uses it to uh, edge guard though. He yeah, I know uh, he does. Uh, He's light, yeah. Sakurai's very ambivalent on light. He's like, uh, you know, like hot and cold. Hot and yeah. Cold. yeah. <laughs> He's gonna send him a very strongly worded email after this tournament. <laughs> oh, man. Light behind a little bit, but I mean. It's not a big deal. Fox. Yeah, it's, it's something that Fox can't make up easily. Like, you just did. And Omar's super light, too, so whatever. <laughs> oh, and he's just looking for these openings, but to buzz. So good with the R button, man. This yeah, guy, he's, master he's, of defense. Nice. I like that light, it, like, on occasion. Obviously, mostly he's holding. Oh, oh was, come on. That was How many steps ahead was that? That was ill advised. <laughs> Negative four, dude. <laughs> Took two steps back. He got the minus block in Mario Party. Yeah, that's right. Definitely landed on a red space right there. <laughs> at the mercy of the buzz. And we're going to see the buzz just throw Ooh. all of his Pikmin, actually. And zero and him hanging on the edge there. Light, rec matter. Light recognized that it was the poisonous Pikmin on his head, too. So what he did is he up aired, and, his, and Fox is up air so fast that he also had time to throw out a back air and kick the buzz afterwards. It was, dude, like, that's just, that's just crazy. Yeah, the micromanaging when having to deal with, like, Pikmin and Olimar is absolutely un. Precedent. That's right. Yo, light I know, though, I know, I know. sticking it to him, these neutral airs to up tilts. Blender. Loving the pressure, and this is something Almar struggles with. He's got a slow grab, it's a tether, so you're going to see a lot of extra startup frames right. on it. And I like how he's also just throwing hitboxes out constantly so he can trade or rather clank Ooh. through and continue beating the Pikmin moves when Almar throws them. <laughs> Ooh. That red Pikmin got roasted, but that up air, nice to us popping off a little bit. He knew. Fat purple Pikmin man came through just in clutch time up air towards the top of the stage. Yeah. You know, Fox, I mean, we keep talking about how Olimar isn't that heavy, but Fox definitely doesn't need him, then. Yeah, man. Yeah, I think they have pretty comparable weights, actually. You reach him for the Kuragane it's right funny, now. Because yeah. <laughs> also, like, Olimar's, like, what, the size of a quarter or something? Yeah, like, yeah canonically. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say quarter. in real life, but that doesn't matter. Well, you know, we're in video game real <laughs> life. Yeah, yeah, okay, exactly. canonically. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yes. There you go. I picked the roundabout, the scenic route. What was that? Did you see that, Devin? From, from light? Can we get that on loop? Uh, yeah, just for the rest of the tournament. Like yeah. the matches actually aren't. We can hear <laughs> we can hear the matches. That's it though. You'll just do radio commentary. That's how it works. All yeah. right, and I think uh, the Buzz is throwing some Pikmin. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a gunless shot. I think. Sounds like the fire of blasters. <laughs> oh yeah, there's definitely carrots being thrown. Are they carrots or onions? Uh, they're they're like neither. They're actually their, their ship, own thing. Their ships are called onions, aren't they? That, that's, that's yeah, their ships are called onions. He named them Pikmin because in his home planet, there's a brand of carrots called Pick Pick Carrots that he reminded ah. they, they remind him of. Yeah. Omar's an idiot. I've played like <laughs> 30 minutes of Pikmin, but that's all the lore I've got for you. Pikmin's fun if you're into that type of like game. <laughs> it's all I get. It's, you know, I don't get. <laughs> all right. So, fighting for center stage here. Dubois is just going to slip right into the lead. And counting as the Pikmin won't get off a light. Also, another interesting thing, when they have, uh, when you have Pikmin latch onto your opponent, each of their moves is going to incur additional hit lag. Right. So it actually becomes easier to react to and counterplay their options. They also stay out longer too, don't they? So it's like, using an air and it's hitting a big That's, thing. Yeah, yeah. It's linger. yeah, yeah, yeah. It extends oh, oh. the hitbox and the animation. So right. it's kind of a double-edged sword, but if exactly. you're able to just keep an eye on them and watch for it, yeah, it can make things a little bit more dangerous for your opponent. Yeah, man. And of course, yourself as well. So I find himself on the board early once again. Continuing to add on to this lead right now. Let's see if the how the buzz counters. The illusion, pinned him on the platform, couldn't get any follow-up. It makes me so mad that like, he still finds a way to get away with that. Like they the took illusion? That, yeah. Dude, not only that, but the buzz smacked him really hard for game one. He's like, you know what? I'm going to do it again. 
There's so, absolutely no fear in Light's blood. Right, no. If he, if he feels good about a read, he's going to go for it. You're, abs you're absolutely right. Yeah. yeah. Fear, wasn't programmed fear, does that not, way. fear does not exist. And it shouldn't. Like, if you're playing a character like Fox, it just it works out really well. You just see him jumping three times into Buzz's face. To Buzz is like the, the Daigo of Smash, right? You don't jump at yeah. the Buzz. He will anti air you. He'll do that up smash, flash kick, you know? <laughs> but Light over here just hopping around. Yeah, like you said, fearless. Yeah, like he's on the playground or something. <laughs> and playing now, with sticks he found in the woods or something. Yeah. <laughs> the Buzz, though, about to put one through his eye if he doesn't adjust the game plan. Game one looked pretty that's good a, for him. That's why Olimar wears a helmet, man. I get poked in the eye. <laughs> Yo, did you see that post with the, the safety goggles? How the guy, like, the little saw blade thing that's stuck in. Ah, uh, like, yeah. Thank God that guy was wearing goggles, man. I would not have wanted to see that on Reddit if it turned out otherwise. <laughs> but yeah, the Buzz, man, making sure to always generally uh, be careful get, get until he gets up smashed. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, great, good uh, offensive option by Light. Let's see what he's got here now. Wow. Too. Oh, man. That pick, that blue pick was hard body. Jesus. Ah, and the laser's just not the play, man. Pikmin able no. to tank a lot of hits like that with their bodies. Of course, you have to do a certain amount of damage to get rid of them. And, you know, the laser's doing 1, 2% each. Oh, my God. That was so sad. So Light reflected the white Pikmin. It flew so fast. The Buzz tried to whistle it back, and it couldn't come back. <laughs> it was gone. <laughs> That is so sad, it's dude. It's free now. That is so sad. No, it's, yeah, it's super, it's super <laughs> he free, He gave him dude. a sock. It has wings, though. <laughs> All right. Oh, my God. Basically dude. dead even right now. What do you have for this light? You need to put yourself on the board. Oh, I like that. The early fares, but DeBuzz going to attack it. He's aware of this. Continue to oh, press right now. Fighting his way down. And kind of akin to the last game, uh, Light's just having a hard time getting out from uh, above the buzz. And Light content to sit on the platform. He knows that he's so dangerously close to this Nair to up smash territory. Just a couple more damage on the buzz should probably do it. Or maybe even now. Yeah, Soft Nair probably does like six or seven. I could see that killing Olimar with this amount of rage, but I don't know. Yeah, 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 it looks yeah. like Light is very clearly only looking for one thing, and it's disgusting. Oh, oh never mind. There's another say. one. I was going to say. I can't believe he went for that, man. That was like, are you kidding? He gambled not only a game and a victory on that, but game two when he's down 0-1. He just did it. Yep. Yeah, he you bet, know what? He bet the farm. Come out on top. That was that was such a good little mind game he played with the Buzz, right? He's sitting on this platform, yes. clearly throwing out these nares, making the Buzz think, all right, you know what? I just can't get close enough for this neutral air to connect on me because then I'm, I'm going to die to an up smash, right? And after running that process over and over again. And seeing the buzz back up to avoid the nair, he's like, all right, it's time. Oh, zoop. Yeah, he lulled him into that false sense of security and ripped the rug right out from under him. Yeah. So. It's like we, I mean, we jokingly called, you know, uh, Light one half of a whole idiot earlier, but he's very, he was very calculated in that. <laughs> Yo, you have to be. I don't care if your play style is, like, reckless and super aggressive. Like, when you play against the buzz, you can't just do that. It's impossible. Yeah. Like, I mean, or you can. No, no, you, I mean, no, but if you look yeah, at yeah, all, yeah, you know what I'm course. saying, like, the, like yeah. throughout, like, Light saw an opening there, or he had conditioned a buzz over, like, those last 15 seconds of fake jumping in, jumping the platform, yeah. fake jumping in, jumping back. He didn't just side B, like, at the first opportunity he thought it might work. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, he, he, he definitely conditioned him into rolling back like that. Exactly. That was very smart. Yeah, exactly. That's if, if these guys were martial artists, the buzz would probably be judo, you know, like a defensive, say, like, turn them on yourself, light, drunk and Jean-Claude Dan Van Damme. Okay, all right, yeah, there we go. Light but, uh, is Steven Seagal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, who did we say he looked like and when he did the podcast that one time? Nothing, bro. What? I don't remember, dude. I really don't you remember. You probably do, and you are you know, you just don't want to say it on stream. No, I absolutely don't remember. I, said I, it on, I, I already I, said it on stream. I, I, forget what the guy, I forget what the guy's name is, too. It's going to kill me. Who remembers? Is there, like, a, a UFC fighter or something you're talking about that looks like Light? Or like yeah, it's uh, Conor McGregor. Oh, yeah. uh, yes, uh, yes, dude. Yes. Why didn't I think of it sooner? He's a dead ringer for him. All right. <laughs> So here we go. Smashville 1-1. One, one. I'm loving the flow of this set so far. Yeah, no, sure, without a doubt. Flow is a great word for it. So let's see if the smaller stage makes a difference here for the buzz. Ooh, the up smash out of shield. The buzz so ready for that. And of course, due to the shortcut they added for up smash out of shield in this game, you don't even have to jump cancel it. Just flick that little yellow stick up, baby. And you can see the buzz, of course, as indicated by his tag, is using smash stick for this. <laughs> Tilt stick's a Politana exclusive. Oh, yeah. oh. charge on it too, but the wrong Pikmin. Instead of charging that, he should have switched to the purple one first. Yeah, you know whistle the F smash, that would have done it. That would have been dope too. 
It's just, I, I mean, and that's why people call Olimar like a big, big brain character. You really have to pay attention to that. You can't just like, on the fl that's the buzz. You know what I mean? Like one of the biggest, bra biggest brain players we have. And yeah. He didn't get that correct. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, resource management's a, a huge factor. Something you know? else. It's like yeah. playing an RTS, man. Like, Sorry. yeah, you've got the little yellow, uh, oh, uh, red, uh, hey. red pointer to show that's you. Like, <laughs> Smash four knockback. <laughs> he's floated there forever, and then suddenly he's gone. That's true, man. That's so silly, every yeah. smash before this you're, one. You're right, though. The indicator arrow is a big thing. But in the heat of the moment, when he was rolling behind lights, uh, smash, it's hard to keep track of that stuff, you know? Well, what I'm saying is it's always the same color as your player port, or it's always red, one of those two. But it's hard to see yeah, which yeah. one it's on, you know no, what I'm I saying? Agree, Especially yeah. when you just rolled, all your Pikmin are like kind of bunched up together. I mean, on the real, man, maybe they should patch that to just be like the color of the Pikmin itself. It's, you know it's easy when it's just one Pikmin. I'll oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's, that's right. I can keep track of my Pikmin with maybe. a single Pikmin Imagine as well. Imagine it just nerve where they just give, you can only pull one Pikmin at a time. Oh, but they make the colored indicator so mm. you know which one they, it is. They keep giving them less in every game. Remember in Brawl when it was six? Yeah, yeah. and they were random order, so like. Yeah. Well, it was random based on where you pulled them, though. It was like. Six, yeah, six, environments yeah, had environments something to do with it. Yeah. That's weird. That, yeah, dude. Brawl's a wild time. Either case, though, Light trying to take this first stock off to Buzz. The Buzz being evasive as ever. Oh, God. I oh. can't believe. Oh, no. Yeah. Not Whoa. the risk you're looking to take. Yeah. And that actually yeah. had some range to it, man. Yeah, the Buzz nice. able to poke through the stage from quite far away. And I believe that they get the red splash. Yeah, so. the red splash is going to be red No techies. No <laughs> techies. Splashies, no techies. That's, no uh, safeties. That's, that's the Buzz's uh, play style, actually. Yeah. Or my favorite seasonal anime. <laughs> Wait, what? I got to go. Anyway. Yeah, so the buzz up kind of big right now. Light going to have to uh, play this one pretty close to the vest. And it's difficult to smother a, a character slash player who's pretty committed to just walling you out, right? Yeah, yeah man. And with this kind of lead, Light just has to make so many right guesses over and over and over again. And we're not going to see some miracle illusion come into play and save the princess all in one go. You know, he's got to really figure this out methodically and that's not you know not that light's not good at that right not that he's, he's bad at that but that's not what his play style is founded on. right yeah you know the crazy thing is too is like i really god what is going on i think what he, <laughs> he wants a stage spike Dead. oh spikies that's, dude that's the big thing is like to buzz he'll get the lead and then he'll hang up by the ledge kind of force light to try to make a play off stage and he spiked him twice for it dude he's just baiting him out there 100 percent it's super yep. smart because yep. he knows Light can't help himself. Like Light, he's like, I see a target. I'm gonna go out and get yeah. it. Yeah, and that's exactly what uh, the Buzz wants, man. That like for sure. And he knew he was down too. Yeah, exactly. So Light felt like he had to make a play. Light is an aggressive player. It makes perfect sense. He felt like he was gonna hit the Buzz off stage, which I don't blame him. Like Light's really good off stage. It makes sense. But he missed those two, and he got spiked full times for it. Alrighty, so the Buzz, one game away from a trip to Grand Finals. Light. Uh, you know, gonna have to put these next couple games on his back if he. Uh, oh God. This is a big stage, man. I don't know. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting uh, counter pick here. I personally wouldn't want to give um, all of this much room to work with, especially not the buzz, man. Oh God, was that that was a poison one as well? I believe so. Yes. Yeah, it, did, it was doing a lot. Couldn't see it was up the blast zone, but good parry on the S match right there, though. Yeah, that yeah. seems to be exactly where the buzz would excel, right? Wide open stage, but. Got those extra platforms just to save your skin if you do get put in the corner. Right. Plus, he's a, a player who sometimes willingly corners himself, right? So to give him extra outs is so dangerous because yep. he's found his way out of that situation so many times. That's a good way to put him So a quick lead right now for the buzz here in this game four. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get the uh, New England rivalry run back in winners. It's not looking good right now, that's for sure. The Buzz has not only the stock lead, but the percentage lead and lights off stage. Oh, God. Wow. Hugging the wall, though, man. I mean, he it, Light has excellent angles. Maybe it some really of the best does. some of the best in Ultimate, if not the best flat out. Yeah, and in a game where they're much more limited than, like, in Melee, where you have so many yeah. options, basically right. one for every degree on your control stick. But in this game, not so much. You see how the Pikmin just ate the lasers, by the way, on that up throw? That's kind of nuts. Yeah, that was really smart. Yeah, body blocking, man. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a second. <laughs> Two purples in hand, no longer. Okay, there we go. The Pikmin and the Buzz are gonna die all in one shot right there. Yeah, yeah but look at this. Like Light has to make this comeback, and he's got to make his way all the way across the stage and not get hit by the Buzz. It's just really hard. I don't know, man. This counter pick seems looking kind of questionable right now. 
harkening back to Smash. Look at this. Like, he's just running away again. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he gave, White gave him these options, and DeBuzz is, he's no dummy, that's for sure. He's definitely going to take full advantage of what is given to him. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Ooh. Now, if you want to think about the last game, Light would have a way out of this with Fair Footstool. Yeah. Uh, but do you see this? Of DMG to Buzz? Do you see this? <laughs> Yo, uh, it's real. DMG! The prophecy. The prophecy. Okay, Light going to find his way in there. Oh, but Ooh. the super armor. Okay. I gonna need some dramatic zoom ins, some cut crosses, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yep, going on the, the two down tilts back to back. Some lo fi hip hop music or something. Yeah, I'm already opening yeah. Premiere Pro right now, bro. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Devin, get on that, please. Did you, did you clip that down tilt string? DMG, did you really? DMG, the buzz. <laughs> Well, yeah, this that, could that's, be that's, it. That be the set. Oh, nope. Oh. oh so light, he's yeah, living, but for how long? Wow, the outer hit. Not enough to do it. And the buzz still wow. swinging. Still just desperately trying to close shout, the door on the light. light. Shout out to light, man. He's a survivor. He's not going to give up. Okay. <laughs> that's the end of the road for light and, and for yeah, Survivor by yeah. Destiny's Child. Yes. Thank you very much. Great song, by the way. Beer all night. <laughs> Yo, karaoke after this, boys? Yo, I'm oh. down. What's your karaoke song of choice? Hold on, hold on, DMG. That's a great question. Down tilt, now. down tilt, <laughs> forward air, down tilt, forward air. <laughs> it was two moves, bro, the whole time. And I wish if he got that down tilt in the down air, that would have been super sick. That would have been the best Olimar combo ever seen. And what I found really impressive is that in both clinching games, the buzz running away with those two, just proving that he just has the durability and the stamina. Yeah, uh, yeah, just, that's he's true. just a little bit extra in the tank when he needed it the most. And emphasis so. on the running away. Ayo. <laughs> No, know. didn't this have the, this is one with the slopes, no? No, it's oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, we're going to the line. Oh, sorry. All have slopes. sorry, I'm looking at the counter. Sorry, I'm looking at the counter pick thing. We, we, no, went, we went to Yoshi's melee. This is Yoshi's giant tooth. Correct. Yoshi's what? Yeah, Hangman coined that. And when it's in the winter form, it's called Yoshi's giant tooth. Because okay. it just looks like a tooth. I don't think Yoshi even has teeth, so. He definitely doesn't. <laughs> his teeth are in the same place his brain is. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Non existent? And his tax returns, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, grand finals coming up for you guys, folks. Mara sitting in winner side, Gravity to Buzz sitting in the loser side. So, I yeah. mean, the, will the curse live on? I think that's the big story yeah, here, right? To Buzz, sure. one of the best in the world, top five. With I think only one singular PGR season was he not top five. So the, the whole really? game, we'll call him top five. Yeah, he he was six. sixth one time. Yeah, so never falling out of top six versus Mars, a player who never broke the top ten threshold, but has been able to take yeah. sets on so many top players, top ten players, yeah. many, many times. Just taking three sets <laughs> off of the guy who's forecasted to be, you know, pretty much the front runner for number one in this yeah, game yeah. right oh, now, yeah. right up there for with Tweak. Sure. For sure. So I think both of these guys have a lot to prove. Mars saying, you know what? My level up has been real. I've been hitting the grind. And I'm, I'm way more serious about this game than I was just at the end of Smash 4. You know, the fire is Ooh. real. But to Buzz, he's coming for <laughs> that, that angle of like, Ooh. you know what? I'm not just one of the best anymore, but I want to be the best. Yes, sir. So all eight people left in the venue are cheering very loudly for Mars. And I think about three of them are Okami. True. <laughs> and then three of them are us. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there's not many people left. Lights here, I guess. <laughs> Devin. We can count. Oh, to Buzz. I mean, can Light honestly want it? either of these guys to win at this point? Yeah, he, no, of course he, he wants Mars yeah, to win. Yeah. yeah. Nobody's a bad sport, of course. Just because you lost somebody doesn't mean you're going to, you know. Forward throw. Mix up. Here we go. So Mars right now. Uh, what? I was going to say, Mars looking. <laughs> I was gonna, my bad. Go, go on, bro. I was, was going to say, Mars <laughs> looking fresh after sitting down for a couple of games. That's always something yeah. you got to fear about when somebody's you know, tearing through losers and you're sitting in winter side of grands is that you're sitting kind of, you can sit kind of cold you're not sure if someone can act oh out of a break oh my god did that you was, see that, that i nutty. wish the second hit connected so bad we'd be saying dmg mars actually mars is there. he was yeah he was yeah, he was i don't know if he like he's still he's still cool with them i don't know yeah. if he's, like official, but. he's still in the in the discord probably there we go folks back air finds respite oh and then he's asking is that all wait who else taunted didn't light daunt to buzz yeah it seems ill-advised dude it's yeah. like some players, like you taunt them, they get tilted and start running at you. I think the buzz just bunkers down harder. He's like, okay, whatever. Like, I was like, okay, you oh think my you're God. slick? What is this? This is some some grade A uh, confidence uh, that oh, resonating from all. Oh. Ooh, nice try from the buzz right there. I like the swing around. Just barely out of the way. Ooh, well, I'm I surprised like that, he didn't yeah. down there. I'm surprised he didn't down there right there. Mars, That's I mean, true. Yeah, go for the the. Take him with you. Only, only because he does it a lot. But I mean, obviously, if you whip the down air, you give the buzz so much to work with. Instead, I mean, Mars. Wow. I kind of like that he didn't go for the down air. Like, if you miss it, you're just giving. Okay. Bye, light. Huh? Nah. I can't hear you. Frostbite. Yes, I'll be there, man. 
Yes. I will win Frostbite, so that's cool. I'll see you at Xeno or something. So the, the reason I like that Mars didn't go for a down right there is he trusted and had confidence in the rest of his gameplay. He's like, you know what? I don't need to go for a cheesy kill right here on the buzz. I can out I can keep out playing him, I can get a, I can get like a cleaner, safer KO, and he did, man. That was super yeah. nice. So And so if he missed it, he would not have that stock of a safety net to play with, right? It's a buzz, by the way, very clever recovery. Ooh, he switched dip down with the the flight, you know, could have gotten out of the way of potential down air. So I, yes, I like sir. that. Like you said, he's betting on his own ability to close it out, man, honestly. I like it. I like it, man. No, it makes a lot of sense. Oh. And so we got the character switch going to Palutena. Yeah, so he played he one played game of Palutena in the... Maybe Palutena. <laughs> Max, 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 come on, but <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no. So Palutena made one appearance so far in the top eight against Mars. Yeah. Uh, for the buzz, and it, it lost one game. It was very close, though. I'm kind of surprised he switched off Palo after that game, but either way... And it was also on Pokemon Stadium, I believe. Yes. So. Yeah, I, I like the pick so far. It's been working out. You've got some more up close oh, options. Oh. You got better buttons. You got some kill power. But that said, Allmark does do fairly well against Zerosu on, on paper, at least you know from what I would sure. theorize. But it has not worked out this, for the buzz. This is a problem, man. Yeah. Nair, yeah. Nair is just to be tough, obviously. Yeah, Palutena definitely has like some of the best buttons to combat Zerosu like air to air. Just yeah, you just scoop her up. Yeah, exactly. It's good work. That's a good way to put it. Marzo trying to find some offense. I think that was what he did last game is he started forward airing like a ton, planted in the ground too. Oh, oh. oh I love it. That was a really nice try because he wanted to aim towards the right blast zone way closer. Smart. Just tough Ooh. to execute. Can she angle her up smash or F smash up? Looks like it, man. It looks like yeah, it. Yeah, it does look like you can angle it in this game. I'm pretty sure you can. That's crazy. But oh yeah, I think I remember Mars talking about that. Well, either way, yeah. I think I just saw him do it too, so that's cool. I think I saw an angled down one earlier too. Down smash, and there smash. we go. That's going to be the straight one. But no, not enough. Maybe just a few more frames of charging could have paid off for him. Either way, Mars going to have to dig a bit deeper to take the stock off. Looking for that up throw kill. And that's just enough to do it. 140 when he got the grab. Definitely, man. I mean, she's definitely a different zero suit. She doesn't have that ladder combo. But man, that was a really nice throw KO. I mean, when when was the last time you could have ever said that in Smash 4? I don't think it's ever happened. Yeah, they definitely took the all or nothing out of zero suit. They just made her like a much more polished and like well-rounded character yeah. than we all thought. Yeah, from all or nothing to something. Yeah, they <laughs> gave her the side B, being able to kill and also being able to combo. Up throw KOs, yep, absolutely. Forward air, way better this Ooh. time. You see Mars going for a lot of these landing fair ones. Yeah. And I haven't seen exactly what the follow-up is after it. He, he tried to do down tilt on the last stock there. Didn't work out, but I'm sure he's got something. There's a reason he's going for that so much. Yep. So the buzz coming out uh, on the better end of that stock exchange, though. Stock exchange with Hazmat. Shout out totally. to stock exchange, man. Shout out to stock exchange. It's a realist. A B, though. Good catch up on Mars. Only 95%, but that back air is going to seal it up. Mm -hmm. now, this is looking a lot like the first time they play this matchup. Oh, they just ran into each other for a minute there. <laughs> Get out of my way, man. <laughs> Shout out to that awkward, like, yeah. you know, can't run through your opponent uh, thing. Wow, that was a great attempt on the explosive flame right there. Mars basically shot right into that perfect direction, but comes yeah. to Buzz. The Buzz doing a great job just covering Mars' landing right wow, now. Wow, what a grab. Are you serious? That was sick. When holding the down smash there, of course, due to the extended charge time, got a little bit more liberty to take. With when you start that up, not going to work out for him there. Ooh, and crossing right through him. Yes, going to throw the back air right through the spot dodge. And the buzz putting himself on the board. 1-1 one, one in the first set of grand finals here. Are we going to a second one? So Who knows? Inter interesting Maybe. situation because I know, like, the counterpick situation after the Palutena was that Mars left Town and City open, and then they went there and DeBuzz went Olimar and Town and City instead. So I wonder if we're going to see something similar. No, it's going to be Yoshi's Island Brawl again? Again. Yeah. Interesting. So the set appearing for the first and the second time in quick succession. <laughs> Mars must really like Yoshi. He kept it up his sleeve this whole time. <laughs> All day he's like, I cannot wait to get the grands and pull out the double <laughs> Yoshi's Island bro. He's been thinking about this for like a week. Yeah. And yeah, Mars is getting audited this year for free. <laughs> All right. Zare to up smash to fair. Okay, somebody stop this man. Why is he so good on the stage? I don't know, man. I feel like none of that even had to do with the stage. Yeah, seriously. It's just, and it's a funny thing because we were just talking about how like how hard it was for Light to get in on DeBuzz. Mars is finding his way in like pretty consistently, I'd say. Definitely more consistently than Light was in that last set, which is kind of crazy. Also, probably got something to do with the fact that he has longer limbs, longer range, well, yeah. a whip at his disposal. Whereas Fox has always got to fight with his body first. Fox is so fast, and so is Light. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But also, also Light was fighting against Olimar. Let's not forget that. 
Another very key difference, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we kinda, no, we know kinda, it's 1.30 a.m. We kind of all slept on that yeah, one. Yeah, one is an animal and <laughs> one is a spin. <laughs> I'm not, not going to lie. I definitely thought about saying it, but I was like, no, nah, i got to go with something else. Because that's <laughs> too obvious, that. right? I appreciate that. There we nice. go. Good call out, man. That whip definitely going to catch neutral. Get up, jump up the ledge, too. <laughs> very good very good choice by Marza. Getting the first stock. Max, what do they say about the first stock? It's very important. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, good, important. it's good to take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You win 60% of the time all the time. I think it was actually considerably more than that, too. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. 60? More than 60? Yeah, definitely more than 60% of a, a win rate that's, for that's taking wild, the first stock. That's a wild statistic. You know what statistic I'd like to see? What is the percentage of, like, USD? What's the percent chance you're going to lose? Like, how, how have you affected your odds? Oh, that's, like, that's, that's, yeah. that, that's, like, an interesting... Obviously, like, there's a lot of different variables there. Yeah, there's but, so much context that goes into Right, like, right. if you're at 800% USD, yeah. that's yeah. very different than <laughs> SDing at zero. Hashtag and if you have a two-stock lead in USD. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag right. has stats. That's right, dude. Has stats. They got to make a return, dude. I'm about to have one right here. Mars down smash. So that's a has stat. I'm going to bed, man. That's it. Side beat. That is so strong, but just barely not enough to get rid of Palutena there. 108% clinging to life. And what does she have? Oh, okay. A back air to the face of Zero Suit Samus. Backers up B. Backers oh up B. Oh, oh, oh. Mars getting silly off the side of the stage right there. Looking yeah. at that back air. If that connected. Oh, boy. That's a stock. Yep. Up B. There we go. A three stock to one lead right now for Mars. Is he going to do it? Is he going to three stock to Buzz? Maybe. That's the storyline oh. I'm painting right now. <laughs> See the fear to Buzz stuck in shield. Even the slow grab of Zero Suit Samus. Oh! oh! All right. All right. There you go. You're right. He was saving it. You know what? In a three to one lead, I like that. Yeah, in for a two sure. two to one sure. lead, I like the patience. He was right. in the disadvantage. He's going to have to try to recover. The thing I liked about like the Buzz using the explosive flame right there, the explosive flame didn't connect, but it put Mars in a real terrible position uh, all the way down there. And I mean, if Mars wasn't a psychopath thinking of the down air right there, <laughs> like that that was crazy. None of us saw that coming. Yeah. Also, sure. I don't know if you guys have realized it, but Mars has utilized the wall jump almost every time with his yeah. recovery here. So. Yeah, man. yeah, somebody's got to check the trunk of Mars' car. I'm sure there's like some zip ties and, and duct tape in there. <laughs> Something, you know, like some, some Dennis Reynolds stuff in there. <laughs> Guy's an absolute psychopath. Oh, no. Okay, he's good. No, yep, he's good. Yeah, Zero Suit Samus can uh, do Cirque du Soleil in the air. So. Wow, throwing the counter. That's how you know DeBuzz is pressed for answers right now. No. Yeah, yeah. I think he might have been scared of like a, a little neutral be a paralyzer. I don't know, man. He's looking for something. Oh, I like the empty hop, and he pops right back in there with the double fair. Fair one. There oh. we go. I knew there was something off of it. I'm very disappointed that didn't kill because that would have made oh, a how about great that? highlight reel. Take. That freeze frame is so sick, by the way. It I really love that. Is. Her, her flip kick is so nice looking. Some of the freeze frames in this game are absolutely hilarious. Yeah, I love the dramatic finish, man. Except when it lies to me and yeah. it makes me miss a tech that That's I could have been <laughs> safe. Yeah. I'm a fan of Zelda's because she does like a JoJo's pose in the air when she or when she does like Pharaoh's wind or something like that. It's hilarious. That's great. Or any, or anything when Isabel gets killed, she just has like this deadpan expression. Nah, on her face. the best death animation is definitely DK with his eyeballs <laughs> bulging oh, yeah, <laughs> his head, bro. That is definitely <laughs> whoever Carol was trailer. like whoever yeah whoever was like let's add that to DK is a genius. They deserve at least five dollars of every copy of this game sold. All right, here we go, folks. The two one lead right now is Mars going to break the curse. It's looking like it. Man. He's looking good for sure, but we're back to Olimar, so I don't know if that's a good or bad thing for him. DeBuzz obviously dropped the set in winner's bracket with this character. Switch back to Palutena. Realize, Jeez. you know what, man? I'm still just not able to get the job done. Let me go back to what I know best. Mars's empty hop grabs have been so good and consistent. Like, and that just really, you know, gotta give him a lot of credit for the pressure he's putting on DeBuzz's shield, you know, in that case, because DeBuzz is so good, you know, at catching any of your offensive habits and punishing them. Unfortunately for him, like this Mars is mixing it up so well right now. Yeah, man, without a doubt. But the Buzz does find himself in the early lead right now, so let's see. Uh and it is Town City and Olivar, by the way. That is a that is a pattern now, officially confirmed. Yeah, I think he just likes the big stage, even though yeah, the maybe. new high ceiling doesn't let him get those early up smash KOs. Oh, but a forward smash will certainly suffice. There we go, DeBuzz taking the first stock. Looking to bring this at least to a game five, if not a second set. Yeah, that was an amazing uh, start off by DeBuzz. And he's still going, man. 52% on Mars already. That's a crazy thing, too, is like, I got to give DeBuzz so much credit in the world for playing. Uh, Co-maining characters is really hard to switch between them on the fly in the middle of a set, playing against a top top player like Mars. Like It's just really, really hard to do that, especially the two characters he plays. Palu obviously has like more cookie cutter stuff, but playing Olimar obviously takes a lot of uh, mental uh, resources to do. So to be able to do that, plus another character, a lot of respect for the buzzman. Yeah, man, without a doubt. Back Ooh. here. Oh, nice. Good use of the whistle. Oh, jeez. Throw oh, the geez. purple oh, pickman. Yes, a grab with 
only the white, so gonna get minimal damage and knockback. That blue Pikmin is lurking there, and I feel like there's a KO coming if he gets a grab. Somebody's getting KO pretty soon. Somebody's getting tickled pretty soon, yeah. too. <laughs> what? I hope it's... <laughs> Mars is up smash. There we go, the French, French tickler. Thank God. Le tickle de France. I thought you were talking about real life, bro. <laughs> no, nah, that's, a, that's a, a sub goal. <laughs> as long as it's not me, man. No, I'm I right. can't deal. Yeah, anyway. So the buzz is up kind of big right now. Oh, yeah. To say the least, dude. Now, like, said this with Mars last game. Is the buzz about the three stock Mars? <laughs> nope. Nope. There you go. There you go. There's your answer, man. You didn't have to wait very long. Shake as your own hand. That, that was beautiful. As I, as I did with Mars last game, I mean, he went for that down air almost immediately after I asked that question. So, nope. Didn't happen. <laughs> no three stock so far in this top eight. Well, in this, uh, sorry, in this grand finals. Astrodomus in the building. Astrodomus, I like that. Wow. Ooh, the up smash just not enough, but this is still looking like to buzz's game to take. Yeah, Ooh, I like that. That angled up yeah. four tilt. That was so clean. smart. Yeah. It's just it's just knowing your character one on one. That's a tiny character, Olimar. It's so hard to combo. So if you if you angle that up tilt or the four tilt up, you know what you're doing, bro. Mars continuing to fight right now, but the Buzz has a powerful lineup on deck right now. You think the Buzz wants to go for the kill or what? Oh god, he just stuffed that purple Pikmin out. He just yeah. stomped it. It takes so much damage. That was a down smash and a forward tilt right. to get rid of it. Uh, oh, wait a second! Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I Is think this we curse saw. real? This is very possible right now. Yeah, the Buzz looking for a grab, can't find it. Mars. Get, oh, I didn't like. I didn't like that. That's what I'm gonna say. That's my Learning analysis. Learning with death right now. Oh, oh and she gives him her number. There we go. The buzz taking it to game five. That was perfect because the buzz whipped the yellow forward air, and then he got the purple forward air right immediately after and swung it away. Connected it right there, stealing game four away from Mars. Mars, though, I mean, dude, he put himself in a really good position to win that last game for sure. Taking that last stock. The buzz kind of had a little bit of a forced SD. I'd say yep. at, the, at the end there. So it wasn't like 100%. Like he didn't just jump off and die. Mars is definitely asserting pressure. Oh, here we go. There you go. This, this song is good. I still like Damn. the other one better, I'll say. I don't care, bro. And I got to say, I'm really like impressed with the body language of Mars right now. Because like, like in the past, uh, like when he's down, he kind of he wears his emotions a lot. Mars? Like, yeah. He yeah. Should, like he, It's very clear when he's like frustrated with what's going on. But the body yes. language very poised right now. Controlled, yeah. And here we go to the theme of Dual Zone. Welcome to game it's, five, it's folks. It's time to do the down smash. Uh, it's time to <laughs> eat 64% off the buzz in 10 seconds. How about 80, actually? Never mind, even more. Oh, man. And if we go to a set two, that's going to take so much wind out of Mars' sails. Thinks, yeah, man. Thinking about the curse in the back of his mind, you know, I haven't won an overclock yet. Is there some kind of higher power something keeping wrong me, me away from it? <laughs> yeah, right? Like, being up 2-1, coming to winners. Not you, Mars. Yeah, man, these things are real. Like. Yeah. DTG's still yeah, trying yeah. to break theirs. It's been like three years. All right, hold on. Mars getting in there all of a sudden. Oh, God. And this is just the way the match goes. I mean, Zero Suit is such a powerhouse. You can just KO. So, like, if she's eating a lot of damage from Olimar, it's all right. She with, needs to win neutral a couple times, but she's ready to KO. But, mm. man, the buzz cycling through the Pikmin again, getting to the purple one. We needed the power, and he got Whoa! it. Whoa! The baits. Yeah, that was a great. The, the buzz, meet the baits. Okay. <laughs> I, you know what? That's pretty good. Yeah. It's 1.30 in the morning, man. I don't have much left in the yeah. tank. I'm digging was, deep, uh, too, bro. Mars's favorite actor, uh, Jason Bateman. <laughs> favorite player from Long Island? Jason Bates. There we go. Ah. Oh, shout out to Santa. Stock taker 69. <laughs> My dude. All right. Here we go. Mars still able to recover from this position, but every single Pikmin that latches onto him just makes it harder and harder. Yeah, this is where DeBuzz shines the most. He's got 130%. He's big chill with Olimar. He's ready to get a KO right here, too. He's going to get that purple. Yeah, if that was purple, that was it. He's got the purple oh. one ready. Nope. Now it's switching. Here you can go. just see that full screen dash attack. You know, that's the sign of desperation from Mars. He needs to peel the stock off and then do a ton of work to be back in this. Of course, Zero Suit's got some oh, options man. to kill you at zero, but nothing that can compare to a two stock lead from an Olimar, especially since she has to wait so long to hit him with these back airs, right? Have to make so many bold plays to even get a grab yeah. with their slow frame data. There Ooh, we go. That's a good start. That smash connects, so that is the first step in climbing the mountain right now for Mars. If he wants to finish this out in one set. I mean, obviously Zero Suit has so many good comeback you know, tools as well. Oh, look already, at all that damage, a white latch and a blue throw. Yeah, it, it's definitely looking rough right now for Mars. All right, man, next set.
Sorry, Mars. I love you, man. Yeah, we might have to hit it's the just, fast forward. Look, the bus on this. hasn't gotten touched on a second stock, dude. It's just so hard, dude. There we go. Stands right up wow. into the yellow forward smash. Takes a KO, and that's going to be Mars. Knocked into the loser's bracket for the first Ooh, time. Ooh, DeBuzz, a little fist bump right there. I like it. I like when DeBuzz is, is playing confident. It's cool, man. Same, same. And like I said, he's cycling through two characters, and I feel like that's so stressful because when you play two characters and there's so many different stages and rules and, and stuff, there's a lot to keep track of A and B. Like, if you like, if he goes Palu and loses, he, he could be kicking himself like, damn, I should have gone Olmar. I knew it. Like, I shouldn't have gone Palu on this stage or that stage under these circumstances, but... Buzz playing confident as ever. Took a game five set right there over Mars, resetting the bracket here in Grands. And now we are on to officially the final set of the night for sure. So strap in, ladies and gentlemen. It is 1.37 in the morning here in Boston. We are here to finish out the set. You guys want to talk about tournament endurance? Let's see what these guys have left in the tank. You know the gaslight just came on for both of them. Buzz versus Mars, a classic. You got aggression against control. Yeah, man. Cancel Sunday brunch because we're in it for the long roll, boys. Here we go, Pokemon Stadium to the classic starter stage in Smash Ultimate. Everyone seems to favor this, and generally doesn't seem to favor any characters too heavily. You got yeah. the mixture of flat ground and platforms, everyone wins. This is also the first time we've seen, I think, the Buzz go Olimar on this stage against yeah, Mars. Yeah, he definitely likes Palu on this stage, it makes sense. We, we've seen what he does with Nair and like her combo game with the platform, so. I feel like Mars does such a good job utilizing the platforms against Olimar too. Like, wait, look how he jumps, he retreats to them. Kind of saw Kool-Aid you know, try to emulate that same strategy, uh, but Mars has a little more like a bursty movement option with Zero Suit, so he's able to make good use of it. Also, I really like the way Mars angles his shield upwards. You can see him do it all the time against the Buzz. Tries to kind of, the Buzz tries to go for like headshots, you know, try to poke through the shield. Mars, you know, he's always he's always thinking, man. So if you can do something, Mars is going to try it, you know? Mars he's is taking so much damage while doing his movement with a white Pikmin latched onto him, man. It really hurts. I also got to say, I'm impressed with the Buzz fighting air to air with Zero Suit Samus, calling out the neutral airs with the forward airs. Yeah. yeah, another move that you have to wait before swinging, just because it'll go over Olimar's head if you don't. And yep. obviously, just to do it as safely as possible, you want to do it close to the ground. The Buzz really capitalizing on that attribute of his character. Oh, Ooh. God, nice. And Mars Whoa. trying everything in the books right now to get rid of the Buzz here. The cross stage boost kick, no way is that going to take care of him yet. Trying to find a respite right now with uh, a killing blow. Gets the parry, but not in a position to really get anything good out of it. DeBuzz really showing the power of center stage here, too. Like, the way that he's forcing Mars, like, you can only use one platform, and he just racks up so much damage on him. Like, watch. Never mind. Mars just cuts right through it. Doesn't matter. I said it before, I'll say it again. Not a good matchup for Zero Suit Samus. Just hitting this character is a huge chore, also because of how narrow a lot of her hitboxes are. Yeah. It's really difficult to shake the Pikmin off of you once they're latched. Oh god, this is gonna be a lot of damage. The purple or the white one going to work right there. Four throw, no follow up either. Good DI from the buzz. Yeah, misses the grab again. That's gonna be another uh, you know big punish out on the part of the buzz. Can't even get the second hit of bear if you catch oh, no. my ground level with the first. Ooh, okay, there you go. Up air into back here. Good little secret from Mars. He needs to take this. Uh, you know, here's the thing though. If he takes the second stock relatively soon, he's in a decent position because this place, will, again, will blow up for him 100%. Yeah, being down by 70, not the end of the world, but every no, no, single no, hit yeah. the Buzz gets before and, losing the stock is and just that's, money. And that's the thing. is yeah, like, man. Olimar, I don't care how bad your Olimar is, you can hit side B and you can rack up damage on anybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so my nephew could do that. Right, exactly. Exactly. So if you put Koopa's nephew at the controls, <laughs> no, he'll, but that's, probably, he'll probably that's, SD3, like, it's, it's one of the things, like, why right. DeBuzz is such a good player. Like, he understands how to press his advantage mentally against Mars right now. He's racking up. Even if it's only, like, Pikmin don't do a lot of damage when they latch onto you. Oh, <laughs> no, that thing is strong, man. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Yeah, the, blue, the blue chuck. All right, so DeBuzz coming out on top there. And it's been kind of the same pattern for the last, like, two games, guys, where... You know, the first stock is relatively close, the buzz edges it out, and then uh, it's just snowballs from Mars. He's just not able to rebound. Yeah. You know, kind of a big zero suit Samus problem in general. Like, once the lead kind of starts to slip away from her, she doesn't have a great kit to kind of, like, mount comebacks like that, especially yeah. with the, the tools she has to work with now. Yeah. Another banger, by the way. Yeah, that's a good one. These guys I, are really pandering to the this, Max Ketchum audience. Yeah, <laughs> this soundtrack slaps, man. Oh, I like that. All right, Dev. DJ Devin on the ones and twos. The buzz is a blue controller cord, by the way. I like DeBuzz's controller sick, by the way. It looks like he has blue buttons. Come on, I don't like any of those. I love that song, man. 
And I hope we get to hear it. I'm oh, pretty sure okay. we will. Yeah. Ike? It's yeah, here Ike it comes, clock. finally. It is, it, it, is Ike, it is Ike o'clock, as you said. 1.40 in the morning. It's apparently Ike o'clock. Real yeah. Ike hours. <laughs> oh, boy. Ike hitting with you with the yo, you up text right now, so. We're going to find out, man. This is going to be completely different. Uh, yeah, I do got to say, if there's ever a time to do it, it's now. You know what I mean? You know, it's interesting, too, because Mars did go Ike against Leo's Wolf a lot, which is interesting because Leo, uh, I'd say, probably is the best Ike in the world. So if anyone knows that matchup, Leo does, or knows how to fight against Ike, Leo does. So Mars going Ike is definitely a confidence pick right here, I would say. Yeah, it's like we said, like, Swords being kind of Olimar's bane of existence. So Yeah, you get to challenge those Pikmin yeah. even more easily. Obviously, every attack in the game will just go through them still. But having the luxury of a disjoint is great. Still think this is a, a rough matchup. Olimar's so good at keep away. Ike, not the fastest Ooh. character out there, but the when he hits you, it hurts. Yeah, exactly. It's a big speed. It's going to be a speed difference. It's, that's like the real thing here. Zero Suit, as we pointed out many times, very quick, very nimble. Ike, not so much. Although it makes up for it with a disjointed hitbox. So. Right. And the thing is, like, not only Mars is going to have to adapt to that. Obviously, DeBuzz is going to as well. Like, Mars has to get... Oh, God. The, Ooh, the linger. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, using the using the Pikmin, extending the hitbox, uh, the amount of frames it's out, man. It's very good. And if DeBuzz had just been a little bit more careful, he could have capitalized on that. Maybe gone over him, just hit him with an area. Dude, what if he whistled it? That would have been oh, a, that truly go. G stuff. I would have said whistle while you work. We're, like, on the said. fourth image of the brain picture right there. <laughs> <laughs> out of how many? Yeah, like six. Five, six. Yeah, yeah. Six, yeah, six is good. I, I would say five, but yeah, yeah, you're right. Six is good. <laughs> Did they make text that small where you can read the meme? Like, my I God. mean, he is Olimar, so That's true. it's got to be pretty tiny font. Gets himself on the board, though, so. I mean, Olimar is just all brain. Look at this guy. You know, we were <laughs> talking about Pichu. I don't know. We got his nose in there, too. <laughs> no, there's just more brain. It's all <laughs> His brain just leaks into his yeah. nose. Is that what That's why it's are? pink. Yeah. Ew. That's okay, that, uh, let's <laughs> move on. Um... <laughs> Okay. Uh, that's where we see? draw the line. Yeah, boogers. Okay. Right, fair right. <laughs> oh man, and this is the struggle of this matchup in action. Ike just beginning this chase down. It's a pretty linear game that he's playing, right? Not that Mars is not playing to the character's ability or anything. It's just that Ike's game plan is simple. You know what it is. Zero Suit, a much more dynamic character. You can see her go for some crazy stuff, you know, use the speed to kind of blind you, get you lost in the mix. Oh, hey oh, oh, yeah. You're not going above that. No way. DeBuzz would have had to rise all the way up outside of the stage, you know, away from the edge, then flow over. But that would have given Mars time to just release and maybe punish him anyway. No, uh, but there we go. DeBuzz rebounds right away. So, so far the change to Ike has, uh, you know, worked out for the most part. Yeah, I'd say so for sure. And I mean, we, get, we gave the buzz a lot of... Uh, this is what I'm talking about. It's so hard to get rid of the Pikmin, dude. How did yeah. that not work? Like, you have to target where they are on your body. So it was so on his hard, head, though. you have to yeah. hit it with up tilt. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't just Ike up tilt in front of the buzz. Like, it's, exactly. It's, it's, yeah, exactly. Garbage, that's, that's, garbage. That's, that's the good. dynamic you play. Hey, so right. much damage just by way of neutral air here. Obviously, that's the Ike classic, but still. Yeah, the crowd understands how important this game, too, is. You don't really don't want to see Mars go down 0-2 right now if you're, if you're in his corner. No, without a doubt. Uh, DeBuzz playing lights out right now, though. He is off stage. Is Mars going to go for something crazy here? It's a thing. Like, spiking DeBuzz is so hard, dude. His recovery is so nice. The finesse he puts on it, a little bit of, like, a float away, a little float in. Speed up, seat down. Oh! oh wait, what? The ending oh. hit in the back hit DeBuzz in the front. That is a wacky hitbox if I've ever seen one. That was wacky doodle. Oh, dude. he is... Uh, schmoovin', as the kids say nowadays. Oh, Those guys, Mars is swinging his life right now. Swinging, <laughs> swinging. God, that Pikmin just did a lot of good work for the. Oh Jesus! See, why not just up smash, bro? I mean, nice. Oh God, oh. Mars! You can tell he's hungry for the kill. The buzz <gasps> just wants to keep Ike at bay at this point. Any punish oh. with up smash? That work might be out. it, and it is. The buzz popped through. off right there too. He knew, man. Yeah, he, he knows. Anyone knows the percentages. It is, it is the buzz. Now we see a much more defeated look in Mars's face here, as opposed to when he went to Game Five in the first set. Obviously, he doesn't have those two on the board right now. Yep. But he's been pushed to his limit. The buzz taking this almost, making a clean sweep in the second set. Right. We'll see if there's anything left for Mars. Is he going to go back to the zero suit? Is Ike the X factor he wants here? Yeah. Who do you think is the like worst? It. Who's the worst character you can choose against the buzz? 
Hands uh, that's, that's King DDD. One. No, I said I said Incineroar. Incineroar. Yeah, that sounds one, yeah. awful. That sounds like a, like maybe the worst Smash Brothers experience you could have. What about Little Mac? Even well, at that, least you're fast. Yeah, yeah. Even, even then, like yeah, you can run at least. Like you're not recovering, but like uh, Incineroar's not recovering either. So like yeah, you don't have true. anything else that he's got. Oh, All right, that Pikmin guy. I don't know though. what that yellow Pikmin did to Mars and his family, but jeez, <laughs> <laughs> got the mafioso style. <laughs> he owed him some money or something. Yeah, man. Swimming with the fishes. That yellow Pikmin <laughs> came up to me while I was playing friendlies and demanded it. Demanded the setup for, for a money match. match. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus! All right, Mars swinging for the fences right now. He's definitely going for some 1.30 in oh the morning type reads right now. Yeah, but DeBuzz well, not the guy to fatigue over Cause, time. Because it's 1.45. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Uh, oh, yeah. I will be seeing myself out. <laughs> yep. Anyway. Here we go, man. Ooh. The Pikmin right. sounds so happy to be thrown right at Ike. You know what I'm saying? Like, wee, wee. Yeah, yeah. Just get, dude, then Ragnall <laughs> so comes through and just, to, just totally slices them in half. Dude. So the Pikmin are sadists. No, they're masochists. <laughs> yeah, I give up. I'm done. <laughs> masochists, you like getting hit. Sadists, you like hitting them. Okay, here we go. What's a Seder again? Uh, <laughs> Passover dinner. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Anyway. Man. Needless to say, the buzz coming out on top in that first uh, stock right there. This tournament. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, the oh buzz. no. DMG, DMG to buzz. That was nasty. That was a zero to death, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and then Mars just killed him. That's cool. DMG Mars. DMG Mars. Back in it. This is a DMG team kill, actually, is what it is. <laughs> One stock left. You hate to see that happen. Yeah, man. So Mars still continuing to fight right now. Uh, has himself the lead uh, for the time being. At least in percent on this stock. But still down by a full stock. Oh, that pressure from underneath the up air is so scary. It this is. is Mars's last chance here. We need to see him go as crazy as he can. Oh, man, just outside of that neutral air to up air and neutral air to back air KO range. Oh, oh and he lets his shield go. That's going to be the buzz. Your overclocked ultimate number one champion. The yep. fourth in the series, or fifth in the series. And also, Mars still just unable to take it home. Number one seed right there, he did amazing. Oh, God, is he taught, is, dude, he's like Incineroar in real life. Did you see him waving yeah, it on? He's bringing it, man. <laughs> a valiant. I love this to Buzz. Heal the Buzz, man. I love it. Let's go. Yeah. I love it, baby. Yeah, man. I'm a huge fan. Congrats <laughs> to the Buzz. For real, congrats to the Buzz. No. It is 1.48 in the morning. You know the crazy tournament endurance that it takes to bring you to this point? You have to be able to buckle in. And from losers, too. Let's keep that in yep. mind. Like This yep. is not a clear path to winners. Like He had to... Get revenge on Mars twice. Like this, that is really like something to admire right there. And the Buzz, very well played by him. He's gonna walk home with not only the title but a fat get, stack. Get out of here! I didn't even have to look. I know it's you. Get out of the <laughs> shop, man. <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. So let's look at the Buzz's loser runs. He had to beat uh, Raffy. Kool Aid. Kool Aid. Light and Mars twice. So. Easy. Yeah. yeah. That's Absolutely. Another day at the office for DeBuzz. Yeah, he went through the ringer for this one, and that is why he's one of the best in the business. You could yeah, see man. the adaptations he made throughout the set, too, right? And I think sticking to Almar the whole time was great because in set one, he wasted three games on Palu, went down 2 1. He's like, all right, you know what? Clearly, this is not working. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, you have to be able to tell yourself that, right? Like the yeah, character. You got to be real with yourself, man. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna drown. Even after losing uh, the first set with Olimar and Palutena, of course, but mostly with Olimar, uh, just buckling down and saying, you know what, even though I'd lost already with this pick, I have enough confidence in it. I've got years of experience and research yep. with this character. <laughs> so I'm just going to, you know, bet it all on black, try to take it home. And he did just that. So yeah. congratulations to the Buzz, Overclocked Ultimate Champion. Yeah. And you hate to see that thing sort of happen to Mars, man. Like you said, the, the, place, the, the yeah. weight of that curse is heavy. Um, but still an impressive performance. Like second place, nothing to scoff at. He, without he, a doubt. Uh, Mars defeated, you know, just in top eight alone. He beat the Buzz in a five-game set, and then he beat Light. So I mean, that's really good, man. I mean, Light and the Buzz, two of the best players in the world. Mars really making a name for himself. Not only, I mean, this week has been great for him. We talked about MSM uh, defeating Leo twice, actually, at a weekly, but it's still, you know, still MK Leo. So. Yeah, and you know what? This is the part in the anime where after the guy comes back from the whole training arc, he beats the rival, but there's a new big villain, that's right? right? Yeah. And that's the next obstacle. It's cheering, though. We get a new oh, opening, yeah, right? a new ending. Right. It's great. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, well I think we're going to sign off. On the real, yeah, it's like a million o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Thank you for sticking with us. We had a lot of fun. Uh, we were being very silly, and I hope you guys, you know, didn't hate yeah, it too we, much. We don't, we don't get to do this very often. Yeah. So I hope True. you guys enjoyed the change of pace. It was refreshing. You guys are great. I hope you guys had a great time. So have yourselves a wonderful night, and uh, we'll be seeing you. Take care.
That was cool. The highlights are